Buddy, and welcome back to the broadcast. I am Luis Venezia sitting here with Simon Coles. You are tuned in to the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro QS 5000 coming to you from Barbados. On store today, we're going to kick things off with the men's round of 96, remaining three heats. That's 14 through 16. Then we're going to move right on into the round of 64, heats 1 through 16. That's going to bring us right up to about 4 o'clock this afternoon. We do have a slight bump up in the swell today. High tide is sometime around 1 o'clock. Waves are currently in the 3 to 4 foot range with a lot more energy. I'm going to send it off to my colleague Simon Coles for the official forecast for the day. Right, good morning, everyone. Um, today we do have um, a report coming in for uh, oceanography and meteorological local guy who has determined today the swell is up between uh, five to six feet. The period is better, and we no longer have that trending east swell today is a more predominant north swell, but there is a mixed east swell in the water. So what this means to the surfers is that we are going to have more consistent waves, and we're probably going to have some bigger waves, but the wave itself will actually be a more powerful wave on the reef. We'll be looking for it to increase during the course of the day and possibly at high tide. We're going to be seeing definitely a few of the larger sets of the day. So overall, this is a much better forecast than yesterday. It's an improvement in the swell by about one to two feet. And it's an improvement in the direction of the swell. As you're noticing, guys are actually being able to pick up waves much deeper as the swell is now moving up the point and the swell is running all the way down the reef properly. So. So I would like to first say Henrietta Wave is the, per, is the group that has provided us with this intel and is trying to give us an update every single day. We just want to give them a shout out. This is um, a lot of work being done. There's actually a physical buoy that we planted. Okay. And um, this, we'll be trying to give you the update every morning. All right. Thank you very much, Simon. So, coming up in the first seat, we got Jose Lopez paired up with Ocean Giddens, Tommy Lason, Caleb Rapson. Action is going to start in about five minutes. So, we're going to send it off to the booth right now for some highlights of yesterday's proceedings, and we'll be right back with the start. Welcome back to the Caribbean's Jam Bob Super Bowl, the 2024 BTMI Barbados Surf Pro, presented by Diamonds International, is off to the races, with every heat more valuable than ever. Men's QS action kicked off opening day with competition set to run March 18th to the 24th. Check it all out. We're going to be getting underway in just under a minute, just under a minute before the start of an action-packed day for you. Thank you very much, Niall Thomas, for that highlight reel. As you all saw, some good surfing yesterday. The waves were a little bit on the slow side at points and times, but these surfers are well accustomed to grindy waves. They can pretty much surf anything, anywhere, anytime. As you look on your screen, you see this heat lineup right here. Jose Lopez in red from Venezuela. Ocean Giddens in blue from Barbados. Tommy Lason in white, also from Barbados. And rounding out the top four, Caleb Rapson from Barbados. So three Barbadian surfers in this one heat paired up against 
the Venezuelan. The free surfers, paddle in. Don't wait. Paddle in, guys. Come on. That 10 minutes is like a wave. Please paddle in. Thirty seconds to start. I want to say a big shout out and thank you to Teddy Allen, Penniette Wave, for that official forecast, bringing it all the way to you from Portugal. He's out there measuring the Nazarene. All right, servers in the next seat, the, the first seat, please stand by. Servers in the first seat, stand by. All right, here we go, we're counting it in. 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. And we are underway, day number two. BTMI Barbados Surf Pro QS 5000. Presented by Diamonds International, brought to you by Surf Promotions Barbados. I want to welcome everyone to the broadcast to get things started today. We're going to see surfers in, in red, Venezuela, Jose Lopez, Ocean Guineas in blue, Tommy Lason in white, and Caleb Rapson in green. We got a full day of surfing on store for you today. Here we go, service putting themselves in position. Definitely got a different looking ocean out there today. It's a little bigger, a little more energy in the water. We predominantly have a three to four foot east swell in the water and a small underlying north swell. So some of the waves are gonna bend off the reef and that would be the east swell. And if they catch up with the north swells, it will bowl up on the reef. So some local knowledge out there, three Barbadian surfers in the water. Testing one, two. All right, we're on 25 minute heats today. Waiting for the surfer to draw first blood. Down to 22 minutes and 40 seconds. And this heat number one, <clears throat> looking down into this draw, into the round of 64, and it is gonna be some barn burning heats today. Coming up in heat number 15 of this round of 96. Hagen Johnson, Sebastian Mendez, Braden Birch, and Charlie Martin. Here we go, red, he's gonna draw first blood. Jose Lopez from Venezuela, coming out onto the open face, wrapping cut back. He's gonna get a little inside bowl section to work with, finishes it off strong, pushes out the fins. All right, he's gonna like that. So the judges are gonna set the scale for the day with that first wave. He had nice rhythm, nice flow on that wave. Wouldn't say that he attacked it too hard. But here we go, looking at this replay. So the first turn kind of gets hung up a little bit, but composes himself. Wrapping cut back, and he's just going to set up this inside. Nice finishing maneuver. Just pushes out the fins. 
It's going to probably come into that mid range. And here we go, Green, Caleb Rapson from Barbados going up in the lip, upside down. Another vertical hit, but can't hang on, goes out the back. So this is Ocean Giddens from Barbados. Drops the wallet, pushes out the fins, smashes the north section, slides across the coping, out onto the open face. So three of the four surfers with waves under their belt now. So that leaves Tommy Lason on the outside in priority by himself. 16-year-old youngster from Barbados. And we'll watch this replay of Green as he comes off the bottom and goes right up in the lip. That was a pretty solid turn, huh, Simon? Uh, definitely, Caleb is a, a very solid, on his feet kind of surfer, and he's, he's very consistent. Um, are breaking down the replay here of Ocean. Ocean starts off with a setup carve here in the back of the power source. Does a huge layback snap. And he gets to the north end section, he slams that, comes around. He's able to do some setup work and he makes the connection for the inside. So we, this heat is well on the way. Got some good, good action starting here. And you're seeing better performance as the waves are better quality today. A little more power. The guys are going to have a little more speed. You're going to see a little more critical surfing today. Yeah, that's right, Sam. You can definitely see the difference in the ocean already. It actually started yesterday evening just before sunset. So we do have a couple of waves around the island. Waves on the east coast, waves on the south coast, and there is a quite a hefty swell on the south coast right now. So that seems to be wrapping around, which doesn't usually happen. So the scores are dropping for red and green and blue. Blue looking like he's going to get the better of this exchange. All right, first of red, 4.5. First of blue, 5.83. And first of green, 5.0. So early going. Red, your first wave was a 4.5. 4.5 for red. So with 18 minutes, 30 seconds remaining, Surfer in blue will take the lead with just one wave ridden, 583. He gets the better of the exchange on that opening round. Surfer in green will hold the second position for now. And Surfer in white just waiting to open his account, Tommy Lason. He's a seasoned competitor, winning multiple events up and down the East Coast. We're going to see Tommy coming up a little later on this week in the juniors, the junior pro. Surfer in white putting himself in position. He's going to pull the trigger, use his priority. Here we go. Tommy Lason up and riding. Throws up the first turn. Out onto the open face. Big turn. Oh, and he just can't hang on. And on the outside, red. That was a major turn by Tommy. So red with the air reverse. He's going to stick with this one. And he can't quite hang on, but it did have a little inside to it. So we'll see where that reverse goes. But Tommy showing some flair on that turn. That was a big risky maneuver. We watch this replay 
as he first turns, sets up this, he's eyeing that north section, just throws it up. He could have just controlled his arms a little better. He may have been able to stick that, and we just see the reverse there by Lopez and Red. Back to live action, Green, Kata Brapson. This little check turn, catches a rail on that little rib, working its way across the face of that wave, and he can't hang on, he goes down. So last of red, four, five, three. So red, you go to first, blue drops to second. Green, waiting on a score for you. It's gonna be inconsequential, and I'm sure it's gonna be a throwaway by the end of this heat. We all know what Caleb can do. So just that little lip line floater, and then he catches the rail and goes down. All right, last of green, 2.5, so green goes to second. 15 minutes, 10 seconds remaining, coming up in the next heat. In red, Hagen Johnson. In blue, Sebastian Mendez. In white, Braden Birch. And in green, Charlie Martin. So the old veteran against the young dudes. All right, blue is gonna pull the trigger. Big wrapping turn up in the pocket, working it out onto the open face. He's got some wave ahead of him. Throws out the fins. Ocean Giddens from Barbados. Let him hear you guys. Come on, this is a local boy. And he still ain't done. Tagging it all the way to the inside. Yeah, going, going back through the replay here, Ocean really just picked up a good wave. There was a bit of a tussle with priority there, and he managed to come out with a probably a keeper score here. So Ocean trying to do all the hard, hard work on the outside and going all the way through milking this wave and tagging it to the end. Red, your last wave was a 4.53, 453 on that air reverse. You're currently in first, but I have a wave for blue to drop, so that will change. All right, so waiting on those scores for white Ocean Giddens, but there was a paddling interference white on blue. Paddling interference was called white on blue. White will lose half of his second wave. So the priority is white, green, red. All right, here we go. On the outside, white up and out. So he gives away priority. Blue's gonna pick up the corner on a big wave, way overhead. And we're gonna stick with green on the outside. Kid up wraps him big, first turn up in the lip, out onto the open face. Does this one have a north section to it? It looks like it does. He's gonna get something on the inside. Here he goes, bangs it again, working it all the way to the inside. Another wrapping cutback is gonna to look to set up this finishing move, throws it up, completes the maneuver. So blue did go on that last wave that white took off and kicked out on. He got on the corner, but we're gonna stick with green. What did you see there, Simon? All right, breaking this down, local knowledge coming in play. Our two local boys picking up the two set waves. Caleb, great outside first turn, great north snap. He's throwing lots of water. He's making the setup work in between look good and a great finish. 
Yeah, really served that way well, found his rhythm. That's Caleb Rapson right there on your screen, boy from Barbados. Interesting to see those sets turning up now and you're seeing the surfing to match it. So still waiting on the previous of blue. He picked off the corner of the wave that white kicked out on. I don't think he did much. I'm not sure he was following green. So previous of blue, six two seven. Previous of blue, last of blue, one six seven. Waiting for green. One more score to drop. I'll give you the full rundown. Your last wave, Ocean, was a six two seven. Six two seven. Last of green. 587 last of green 587 so situation in the water blue first you have a 627 and a 583 green is second you have a 587 and a 5 red is third with a 433 and a 4.5 and white is fourth with a 2.5 and a 0.23 Nine minutes, 45 seconds remaining. Service in the next seat. You should be checked in and ready to go. So we're going to have two more heats on this round of 96. And then we're going to go right into the round of 64. And here we go, red up and riding. Throwing it up in the lit. Oh, big free fall drop. A little bit more of an easterly wave, so that wave just hits the reef and bends out. So no North Peak involved on that wave. Here we go, Simon. How was that first turn? All right. Lopez is uh, pick, doing some good surfing this heat but he picked kind of the wrong wave that didn't have the corner for him, so I offered him only one big first hit. He capitalized on that, but there was not much else, so he had to get back out there. This is where knowing this wave makes all the difference in what you're picking and what scores you can get out of it. Eight, eight minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Now here we go, your heat leader, Ocean Giddens, up and riding. He's sitting on a 627 and a 583, and he catches a rail. Somehow manages to hang on. But that wave's gonna run away from him. That really is gonna hinder his scoring potential. And he kicks out the back knowing that. Red giving that one a look. Last of red, last of red, 3.9. Red, you're still in third position looking for a 6.34. Breaking down the replay here of Ocean. Ocean picked up a little in-betweener. He was able to do a big layback gouge, but he got hung up for a little bit. Wave split in half, but he took the low road. He made the connection. Big one set up roundhouse. That's all she wrote. Don't think that'll be a keeper score at the end of this one. Yeah, no, you know, he's sitting on a 583 and a 627, and you know, it's, it's, it was wise serving for him to kick out, you know, the, the first maneuver of any wave is the most important maneuver, and if you kind of fumble with it, it, you know, and you're sitting on, you know, a six and a high five, you're not going to bet at that score. You just kick out, reset, go back out on the outside, look for a better one that gets you a better score than one of your top two, you know?
All right, coming up on the six minute mark. Situation in water, blue first, green second, red third and white fourth. Here we go, white with priority. He's gonna look at this one, it's a nice looking wave. Tommy Lacey is gonna have to get some legs. Is he gonna get around this first section? Kind of gets hung up a little bit. He's still, no, he's just not gonna get there, just a little bit. Yeah, breaking that one down, Tommy found himself on a, on a sort of set wave, but it was a little too deep, unable to come around that, that corner. Um, it actually was, had great scoring potential in that wave, so he's gonna have to get himself back out the back and get back in rotation for priority and get himself on another wave. Five, five minutes and 14 seconds remaining. All right, so the last of white, just 0.57, but if he was just two more feet further down the line, it really could have opened up for him and given him a good score. You know, he's a youngster. He's got a long career ahead of him. Very, very, very talented surfer. So surfers in the next heat, you guys are free to paddle out. Just please stay down in the channel. We want to give everybody equal opportunity out there. It gets very confusing up here in the judges tower with the priority when there's too many colors in the lineup. So please stay down in the channel. I'm, a, I'm gonna break that down for y'all to understand as an analysis. Soup bowl is actually a deep water wave that comes and hits the shelf and there is a channel that splits. All right, we're gonna check that as we go white up and right and Tommy Layson throws it up vertical in the lip. This is a nice looking North Peak on it and he kicks out. So get, getting back to Lewis's comment about staying in the channel, guys, that channel, which is usually where we paddle out from, is a clear path to the wave. and not hindering any of the surfing surfers in the current heat riding waves. So on a big day, sometimes that can actually close out, but on a day like today, this is the perfect size and Super Bowl is really fun. You can just stay there and it doesn't even take you two minutes to get back to the lineup from there. Yeah, Simon, you're absolutely correct. I mean, remember one day we went out there, it was a hurricane swell, the waves were like gigantic. And uh, I think Xander was only like seven years old and he wanted to go out and it was just like seven year old don't realize how big it is anyway we'll get back to that as soon as we see what these servers are going to do so where you know just off to the left here you could actually sit there and watch the waves and we paddled out and we sat right there in the channel and just watched barrel after barrel after barrel after barrel and he looked at me and he said dad i want one of those and I mean, I wouldn't have even gone out there. And he convinced me to push him in on one of the shouldery waves off in the corner that was about, you know, overhead for me. And he surfed it and that's where everything started from him, really. I mean, he, he just was fearless. All right, priority change, red, blue. Priority change, red, blue, green. So Green with third priority, he's going to go. Throws up the first turn, up in the lip. It's a hung up a little bit behind that rib, but still manages to get around it, and he's not done yet. He went from first priority to third, and then snuck that one under. So on the outside now, red, Jose Lopez. He goes up and out, so priority will shift to the surfer in blue, your current heat leader. But Rapson's gonna get a wave here, and we're gonna see where this is gonna go. Next, next seat, blue, paddle back, please, thank you. So priority goes to the surfer in blue, he is the heat leader. 
With one minute remaining, this is where you want to be as we watch this replay of Green. Uh, breaking this down, Kayla picked up a late takeoff, was a little late to that first section, but hooked it under the lip, a bit late to the North Peak, but he was able to tag it just under the lip. How to do some little pumping to get around that in the section, but he was able to finish with one more hit. Local knowledge here to get, even if he's a little behind, he was still able to make that whole wave and connect all the dots. Yeah, it was a good read by him, and this is the wave of red. So just that one top turn, he recognizes that there's nothing else on that wave, and he goes out the back. 25 seconds remaining as we're back to live action. Last of green coming in at 4.6. Servers in the next heat. Hold your positions, guys. Hold your positions. You're too far already. Server in green. Paddle back to the pack, please. No. Uh, that ends the heat. This wave will count. So surfers in the next heat, please stand by. As Red makes his way to the beach, we're going to drop the score and see if that will put him into an advancing position. But right now, the two Barbadian surfers are on their way to the round of 64. So surfers in the next heat, stand by. Well, as we watch this replay, this last wave going to come in. Nice wrapping cutback. Wave not offering too much, a bit of a smaller wave. Another nice wrapping cutback. Nice forming technique, but no real major maneuvers at all on that wave. Coming in at a 4.13, so not enough. So official results moving forward into the round of 64. Surfer in blue, Ocean Giddens, and also surfer in green, Caleb Rapson. So we're going to cut to a quick commercial break, and we're going to get heat number 15 underway. Momentarily, please stand by. Introducing the crown of light. It's the only 90 faceted modern dome shaped diamond with 24 bezel facets on the crown, giving it arguably three times more sparkle than any other diamond cut out there. This is Crown of Light. All right, back to live action. We've got this heat underway. Coming up in this heat, we have Hagen Johnson in red, Sebastian Mendez in blue, Braden Birch in white, and Charlie Martin in green. 25 minutes on store. Immediately following the next heat, we're going straight into the round of 96. BTMI Barbados Surf Pro QS 5000. Presented by Diamonds International, brought to you by Surf Promotion Barbados. The surfer in red, scratching to get in position. Hagen Johnson cannot get into it. A little inside set wave rolling up onto the reef. No takers on that one either. I think what we're seeing today now is a high tide around 10.09 a.m., if I'm correct. So we're gonna actually going to see a little pulse right about now. All right, here we go. Blue up and riding. Sebastian Mendez just manages two little top turns, and then he is goes down and out. So taking a look at this replay, this a couple little lip line floaters. And back to live action, White working his way. And this is Red Hagen Johnson. Couple little top turns on the outside. I'm sure we'll get the replay. Lot first of blue, 267. First of blue, 267. So priority shifts to the surfer in green, sitting on the outside by himself as all three surfers now in this heat have a wave. So, yeah, so the, re the replay here of red, 
he picked up kind of a mid a mid-sized wave not quite the right direction but he made it work good top turn some fell in the work he was able to connect the dots it's a slightly smaller wave although he got to the inside it's going to be a i don't think this is going to be a keeper score at the end of it the guys are going to have to sit out the back and be a bit more patient yeah that wave earned him a 5.0 so hagen johnson with a 5.0 he goes to the lead as blue up and right and on the outside he goes down hard All right, 21 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Server's in the next heat. You should be thinking about checking in. In red, Anthony Finnegan. In w blue, William Heddleson. In white, Brad Ettinger. And in green, Mason O'Toole. Are you sure? Still got plenty of time left. You will be coming up next. That will be the final heat of the round of 96. Then we're gonna go straight to the top guns in the round of 64, and boy, oh boy, do we have some stacked heats on it coming up. Coming up in that round, we're gonna be seeing the likes of Tyler Watanabe, Tyler Gunter, Josh Burke, John Mel, Ryan Huckabee, Taj Limblad, Dimitri Polis. I mean, there's just so much talent here in Barbados right now. All right, here we go, live action, green, up and right in. Charlie Martin throwing up the first turn, hangs on, out onto the open face, nice wrapping down carve. And as he works his way onto the inside, we're gonna watch this replay and then we'll get to this white wave because he just smashed the outside turn. That's what the judges wanna see. He's gonna work this one all the way to the inside. Finishes strong, surfer in blue, uh, sorry, in white, Braden Birch. So wait for that score to come in for green and also for white. So here we go, Simon, this first turn from green, how was that? Breaking down Charlie Martin's first turn, he ditched the fins out the back, nearly punched the nose under, pulled it off. Uh, did a big, big round house cut back. We're now seeing, we're coming up to high tide and we're seeing the peak probably in the swell today. So they're seeing, a lot of sets in the five six foot region and he, yeah and here's that replay of white so nice top turn first turn on the outside he's just going to work it all the way to the inside look to finish strong the series of cutbacks wave not really offering too much for him but he did get a strong finishing turn yeah, those were two well surf waves and they are quality set waves uh, back to live action, surfer in red, Hagen Johnson. He goes out the back trying to get back out before the surfer in white. And so the surfer in blue, Sebastian Mendez did have the third wave of the set. Not sure if they're going to... All right, here we go. This is the surfer in blue. Sebastian Mendez goes up in the lip. Nice top turn right there on that north section. So that north section is uh, so much, it's two waves converging at one right there. And let me tell you, when you get smashed by it, you know where you're at. <laughs> so breaking down this replay here, Red gets a good outside hit, gets some, a second carve in. That wave doesn't run all the way through, so he's out of there. We're actually seeing quality waves turn up on the reef today, so you're gonna see some quality surfing. It's gonna be a lot more High performance surfing. Okay, so scores trickling in. Last of green, 6.3. Last of white, 5.5. Last of red, 267. 
And I just need one more score for blue. And I will break down the situation for you. 17 minutes, 25 seconds remaining. Last of green, 6.33. Last of red, sorry, last of blue, 417. All right, so we're gonna cut to the glass while we wait for the rest of these scores to come in. For the winner of the last heat, Ocean Giddens. with the winner of the first heat of the day for this BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International, our, one of our local heroes, Ocean Gittens. How are you today? I'm good. I'm happy to be here. Stoked for the waves, stoked for everything. Yeah, waves are looking a little bit more consistent this morning. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than yesterday. A lot more waves coming through, not as slow. It's really good. I can't complain. Well, no complaints then. And how was it surfing against your your friends down here, the other Bajans in the water? Actually, it felt like a normal contest. felt like I was at home surfing a BSA, so it wasn't too much stress like the other events. So it was pretty easy for me, you know, just surfing against my friends. All right, well, that's good, you know, confidence and feeling um, good in the water. And can we talk about that laid back? Yeah, those laid back. So clearly it's the money turn right now. So I'm going to keep that one on the ice and just only let it out in the heat. So. Just look out for that one. All right, we're all looking out for it. I did secure your position for this one. So feeling confident for the next heat then? Yes, please. I'm feeling super confident. I'm just going to keep taking it one step at a time and keep going. All right, sounds good. We're loving it. Nice to see you by the glass. And you want to say a little something for, you know, everybody that's watching? I know you're at home, but... Yes, please. Shout out to all my family and definitely shout out to all my sponsors because if not for them, I wouldn't be here. So thank you. All right, man. Thank you so much. Nice seeing you. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> And we're going to cut back to live action. So as you see there on your screen, Sebastian Mendez, the nice outside maneuver will get you that replay, catch you up. And you see the heat winner of the last heat, Ocean Giddens, with a 12.102 wave heat total. Fifteen minutes remaining. So here's the replay of blue. So one nice top turn. Couple of cutbacks, he's looking for that inside section. Just eyeing it up. And it doesn't really cooperate and he goes out the back. So just that one maneuver. Sebastian seems to have a very um, good backhand. He seems to get his board up there quite vertically. He does a lot of fitting work as well. Okay, so last of blue, 367 puts blue into second. Red, you dropped a third. You now require a 2.8. And green, you still require that 1.4. Time remaining is 13, 30 minutes and 50 seconds. Um, priorities with green, second priorities with red, third priorities with white. All right, 12 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. 
Situation in the water, red, white in first position, sitting on a 5.5 and a 3.7. Blue currently in second, sitting on a 4.17 and a 3.63. Red is in third with a five, looking to back up that five right now. He just has a 2.67. He requires a 2.8 to move into an advancing position and green with the single highest heat score in the heat with a 6.33, 12 minutes remaining, so plenty of time. So judges have really rewarded, um, I think it was Charlie Martin, which is green for that outside spectacular hit where he actually got the fins out on a critical, critical maneuver on a set wave. Um, the judges were really liking that. One of the um, beautiful part of the conditions today is there's no rip in the actual lineup. You're going to see a little ribs out there, but usually you can actually get quite a bit of a rip running through here. But the swell is not quite big enough, so the guys don't have to fight against a rip in the actual lineup. And that should be the trend throughout the day. Okay, we're down to 10 minutes now. Priority still with green. Second priority is with red. Third priority is with white. Fourth priority is with blue. Surfers are just waiting for the waves to turn out. We have a little bit of a lull in the action. Okay, you can actually see some um, few little lanes approaching here. Doesn't look like a set just yet, but we're seeing some lanes way up inside, almost in high rock. Let's see if it transcends down to Super Bowl. One or two of these are gonna swing through. This is one of the bigger waves in the morning, up in high rock. Uh, we have a rider on the inside, blue, up and out. This set didn't actually graduate down to Super Bowl. It was more of a high rock set, but let's see one of them is going to swing down below, and oh, we're seeing one turn up here now. Fowler Green is up. This is Charlie, Charlie Martin. Doing some setup work. Big, lovely sweeping carve there on the North Bowl. Another lovely round house cut back. Trademark good surfing, a snap in the pocket. And, and hit, hit in the rip. Charlie? Yeah, Charlie's such a clinical surfer, huh? Sitting Char on a 6.33. Charlie is showing the experience there. Yeah, yeah. Breaking it down, Charlie picked this wave out wide on the reef, had to start off with a roundhouse cut back and a little check turn, redirecting to the pocket. Waiting for the North Bowl and really wrapped a lovely turn there. Charlie is a seasoned veteran at this stage. He's a very fit guy and a very smart competitor. Absolutely, that North section, he didn't make no bones about it. 
So his last wave coming in at a 5.0 for that effort. So server and green go straight to first. First place, last wave coming in at a 5.0. Server and white, you drop the second. Blue, you are third. You require a 5.04. And live action, Hagen Johnson banging the first turn. Is he going to get enough legs to get around this? Yes, he does. Cutting it back on that north section, waiting for it to wall up. Hit the reef the right way, just giving him a little slash turn. Trying to find some better rhythm on this wave, Hagen Johnson. He's currently sitting on a five, but his throwaway is a two, six, seven, and I'm gonna risk the bet he's gonna get rid of that two, six, seven, Simon. So he's looking for a small score, as you can see on your screen. And on the outside, blue, up and right, and Sebastian Mendez. Uh, he's a little behind that last turn, but makes up for it as he works it all the way to the inside. Nice vertical drifts that pushes out the fins out the back on about a knee-high wave. <laughs> Two very well-ridden waves. So here we go, Simon. What about this right, this red? Red starts off with a great first turn. He gets another hit. Wave kind of slows down, but he has to do a little fill-in work to connect the dots for the inside low road. He's waiting for it. Now it gets going again. He gets one snap. Keeps going, gets another little hit. He's throwing some water. He's now in the rip now and finish it with one bang on the end. All right, last of blue was a 4-3-7 on this wave. So this wave on your screen earns him a 4-3-7. He's still in fourth position, still requiring a 5-0-3. Last of red, 4.4, sends red to second. White, you now require a 3.9. So green first, red second, white third. White requiring a 3.9 and blue. Your last wave coming in at a 4.37, you require a 5.03. Five minutes, 12 seconds remaining. Servers in the next heat, you are just about free to paddle out. Please stay down in the channel. Coming up in that heat, we're gonna see Anthony Fillingham, William Heddleston, Brett Edinger, and Mason O'Toole. So Surfer and Green eyeing up this Lovely looking wave. Here we go, Charlie Martin banging it first, up in the lip, out onto the open shoulder. Ooh. Oh, he just comes unglued, but he had so much wave ahead of him. That potentially could have been the first accident score we've seen for the event as he really got busy on that first turn. That's what the judges want to see. Charlie takes off here, Faze does a huge vert hit and tries to do a huge layback gouge. He was, this was, uh, I think, his victory lap. Surfer up and red. Oh, the replay. None of us even saw that wave. We missed that. <laughs> we missed that one. All right, here we go. Back to live action. White up and riding. Braden Birch. He's looking for a mid-range score. Currently in third position. Trying to manufacture something. Three minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Okay. Priorities with blue. Second priority is with red. Breaking down the replay here of white. Gets a mid-size, we have a decent first carve and a second check snap. He's really on his north ball here, just trying to link the connection. He didn't quite make it, but he got two outside turns done. Yeah, he really didn't you know, try to manufacture that score. Last of white, two, four, three, not enough. So white, you still, re you still require a 3.90. Two minutes, 55 seconds remaining. Situation in the water, green first, red second. White, you are third, requiring a 3.90. And blue, you are fourth, requiring a 5.03. So blue with priority, two minutes, 42 seconds remaining. 
and he's looking for a mid-range score of a five. He is sitting on a 4.37 and a 4.17, so he just needs, he knows what kind of wave he's looking for. He just needs to surf it a little bit more aggressively than he surfed those two fours, and he should get that score. So right now with the wave priority is shaping up, Reg looks like he's gonna pull the trigger on this. He's trying to better a 4.4, make that requirement a little steeper for green, for blue. And he's got a good looking wave, nice first turn up in the lip, wrapping cut back, setting up this inside. Yeah, so blue giving up priority on the outside with just a quick up and out. So he now is gonna go to third priority. And here we go, when you're in rhythm, you're in rhythm. Green, big, long floater as we watch this replay of red. Yeah, Red really getting his best wave of the heat. There's Hayden John from the USA, and he really made that wave pay. He weighed the whole heat to get a good one. Yep. So this is the big floater from Charlie. Ch Charlie showing his maturity here, waiting for the sets, not pulling the trigger in into smaller waves. So here we go, back to live action. Blue up and right in Sebastian Mendez. Nice top turn out onto the open face, cutting it back. He's got a north section ahead of him, throws it up again. Two more maneuvers. He's looking at the judges tower. Here we go. Sebastian Mendez trying to finish this strong, pushes out the fins, and he's done with that with 45 seconds remaining. So we're gonna have to see what red is gonna drop here because blue. So last of red, 5-1-0. So that ups the requirement ever so slightly for blue, but blue has a wave coming back to live action. We see white up and riding. With 20 seconds remaining. Servers in the next heat, hold your positions guys. And counting this one in, in five, four, three, two, one. All right, servers in the next seat, hold your positions. Last of blue, Require, he, he needs a 5.20, not enough. So red stays in third. Sorry, red stays in second, blue is in third. So advancing out of that heat in green, Charlie Martin taking the win and Hagen Johnson coming in second. You two will be seated into the round of 64 coming up a little later. Service in the next heat, stand by. While we get this heat underway, we're gonna take a short break for a commercial break and we'll be right back. Introducing the crown of light. It's the only 90-faceted modern dome-shaped diamond with 24 bezel facets on the crown, giving it arguably three times more sparkle than any other diamond cut out there. This is Crown of Light. All right, back to live action. Coming up in this heat, we're gonna have surfer in red, Anthony Fillingham from Costa Rica. In blue, William Heddleson. In white, Brad Ettinger. And in green, Mason O'Toole. Here we go, William Heddleson up and riding. Comes unstuck and goes down.
All right, here we go, White, Brad Ettinger up and riding on his backhand, throwing up the first turn, pushing out the fins, out onto the open face. And working his way all the way to the inside. Nice series of maneuvers. Showing some flair on that wave, and he goes out the back. Yeah, break, breaking down the replay here. Starts off with a lovely hook under the lip. And he tags the end section, wrapping it all the way down. He, that was a lot of work done on a mid-sized wave, so that's um, Brad Edinger from the USA. I think he'll be rewarded for some clean, decent surfing there. Our breaking down blues replay. This is William from the USA. Doing some filling work through the midsection, dug a little real so not a fully complete ride. Green. All right, back to live action. This is Mason O'Toole. Didn't really catch up with that one, so we'll have to see the replay on that. So the judges got some work to do. Three, four waves surfed in that exchange. Okay. So this is the replay of Green, Mason O'Toole. Just a little check turn at the top. Kind of a little late to that second hit. That was more of a quality turn. Another floater maneuver. Yeah, that just going to come in a mid-range score. So, so, so last, last of white, 5-3-3. Last of green, 3-1-7. Last of blue, 2.5. So 21 minutes, 50 seconds remaining. White goes to the lead, followed by blue in second. Server in green is in third, sitting on a 3.1, just requiring a .66 to advance. And the surfer in red, Anthony Fillingham, from Costa Rica, yet to open his account, but he is sitting on the outside with priority. You are tuned in to the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro QS5000, presented by Diamonds International. I'm Louis Venezia sitting alongside Simon Coles. What do you think about today's action so far, Simon? I'm, I'm very happy to see the improvement in the conditions. I think we're looking at maybe a foot or two bigger today. And the energy just seems to be hitting the reef a lot better. Um, sets are taking a little while, but I'm seeing quality surfing done now. You know, the guys aren't struggling and doing a whole bunch of hopping. This is seamless transitions. Guys are not hurting for speed at all, so conditions and the surfing has gone up a notch today. So here we go, live action, blue, William Hedison, nice quality turn up in the lip, out onto the open face, he's got a North Peak ahead of him. The wave just kind of gone fat with him and broke in two and ran away. So William currently sitting in second position, he's gonna look to ditch either a 2.5 or a 1.3. I think the score is gonna come in somewhere right around that. So while we're waiting for these scores, we're gonna cut to the glass and head down to Amaya with Charlie Martin taking the win in the last heat. Here we are with the winner of heat number 15 of this round two of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International. How are you, Charlie? I'm good, thanks. So waves a little bigger today? Yeah, it's a little bigger, a little north, some good waves and uh, yeah, bigger, so more fun, yeah. Yeah, you're looking solid over there. Some big outside turns, money turns. Yeah, I was trying to like control the heat and get the good one. So I waited for the big set and then I got a second wave, the five to back it up. I fall on the, on the third wave. I could have get a big score, but I'm getting my, uh, my wax under my feet and uh, I'm feeling good. I was a little sick, so I'm getting better every day. So I'm stoked. Well, that's good. So third round also today. How are you feeling about that? How are you going to prepare for the next round? Uh, I'm going to rest a little bit and uh, watch Lewis eat because we're staying together. And I don't know, maybe go home and come back or just stay the day. And we'll see. I'm having a good time here, so all good. Fully local at this point, right? You've been almost, coming here almost. for so long. I'm moving in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving in. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you want to say something for your friends and family in Guadeloupe? They're watching? Uh, merci à tous ceux qui regardent. Et quand uh, ça va continuer, on lâche pas. Allez, bonne chance merci. pour la prochaine. Ciao. <laughs> All right, thank you, Amaya uh, and Charlie Martin. So while we were on that break, we saw Anthony Fillingham showing some class. Really nice rhythm. If we can 
pull up that replay of Red's last wave. Show the folks at home what he did. The judges are looking at the replay, so I'm looking at this one again. So here we go. This is Surfer and Red. Anthony Fillingham coming out onto the open face. Nice big wrapping cutback. Another nice wrapping cutback. Working it all the way onto the open face. Showing some flair on that wave with just two cutbacks. But he's got a lot of talent. This is a replay of White. Also, while we were on that break, Brad Ettinger, he just a top turn. He goes out the back. So first of red, 4-3-3. Last of white, 2-4-7. Last previous of blue, 3.43. So red, white first. Blue, you are second. Red, you are third with a 4-3-3. You require a 1.6. And green, you are fourth with a 317 requiring a 277. 13 minutes, sorry, 17 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Breaking down that, that replay of what we just saw from Red, suffer from Costa Rica. Um, we saw two, two quality rail turns and really throwing some water. And that's kind of the way that football can be served, and it defines. Good surfing, you see a surfer hold as well from the duration of a turn. A lot more water is thrown and it's a very impressive to the eye and soup is the canvas that you can really hook your turns here and hold in your reel. Like that surfing I saw. Yeah, you're hitting the nail on the head, Simon. It's all about that outside quality maneuver. As we saw Charlie Martin in the last heat attack that outside section, getting a six and a five. 583 and surfing it well, but it all starts on that outside maneuver as we see one of the bigger sets roll through the lineup today. When I woke up this morning and I stepped out the gallery and looked out at the water, I was so surprised and I looked at Jim and I said, is it like this? And he says, oh, there's bigger sets than that. I was so happy and here we go. Filling them at fourth priority, throws it up in the lip, out onto the open face. Nice little whitewater hack. Sticking with it. He eyeing something up on the inside. Pushes out the fins. Can he get around this section? Nice finishing maneuver. This is the surfer from Costa Rica as he disappears behind the tree. Nice finishing maneuver. So he's looking to put his backup score on the board. But I think this might even be better than the first score and he was in fourth priority on that wave it just popped up right in front of him as you look at the replay what did you see here Symes? oh a lovely outside first turn throwing a lot of water he's able to hold as well with a clean wrap the wave slows down a little bit so he has to do some fill-in work he's staying with the power source and then he starts to unload drifts the fins there for a little bit comes around the inside chatter he still get it gets a, a hit in he waits patiently and then he gets a glass tag at the end. This is probably the best way of the heat so far. This young man can surf and he seems to understand the soup bowl. All right, last of red, 4.7. So red goes to first. White, you drop to second. Blue, you are now in third. You require a 4.3. And green, you are fourth. You require a 4.6. So Green with priority, he's gonna eye this one up. Mason O'Toole out onto the open face, wrapping cut back. Another wrapping cut back. This wave's gonna line up for him a little bit on the inside, tries to go for a little bit more quality maneuver, gets a little hung up, still manages to complete the maneuver. So he's looking to back up that 317. You can see on the screen what he requires to advance. All right, going back through the replay here of green. Gets a light outside first carve. A second real carve. He's able to hit that north section. 
all, all the time this, this writer is linking his turns together, he seems to be just a, a, a smidge either out of timing. But he's manufactured a pretty well surfed wave there. Yeah, he dropped a 3.63 green, 3.63. So that puts you in third. You require a 4.1. And Blue, you are in fourth. You require a 4.3. So Blue sitting on the outside with priority, followed by White. Thirteen minutes, ten seconds remaining. We are in heat number sixteen in the round of ninety-six. We're going to go back into round of sixty-four immediately following this heat. Coming up in that first heat, we're going to see Tara Watanabe, Manuel Selman, Sam Coffey, and Louis Saint John from Barbados. That is a barn burner of a heat right there. I can tell you. I hear Lewis was outside, out Brandon's yesterday after he advanced through the round of 112 and also 96, absolutely killing it. I've, I've been holding back, not talking about Lewis on the microphone at all, but yeah, he had some choice words for me yesterday, even I told him to go home and rest. <laughs> <laughs> he is a seasoned veteran, seasoned competitor, great kid, he's a lawyer now, he probably attacks this wave backside better than anybody I've ever seen out here. He just does not hold back. Yes. It's easy to attack suit ball on your backhand going up in the lip, but it's not so easy to attack suit ball in a barrel. And that's what he is known for, like him well, and John O'Reese. One thing I would say about Lewis and John is he's probably the best backside bottom turner in the business at suit ball. Oh, definitely. He, um, on a bottom turn is the setup of, or the mark of good surfing. Lewis has a very deep, long, drawn out bottom turn, and it translates to what happens at the top of the lip. He just annihilates the top of the lip. He's gotten a bit bigger. He's got some power behind him, but Lewis has always been technically a very good surfer, so we're hoping that he can keep, keep it going here. To have a vision in the mix. All right, coming up on the 11 minutes and 15 seconds. Situation in the water is red in first, blue is in, sorry, white is in second. Green third and blue fourth. Priority order sits with blue, white, red, green. Just want to make a big shout out to everybody tuned in. Thank you very much for watching. You are tuned in to the Barbados Sur Pro. BTMI Barbados Sur Pro presented by Diamonds International. I'm Louis Venezia paired up with Simon Coles today. Having a lot of fun on here. So blue with higher priority, white gives way. Here we go, William Edison, nice top turn. Working it out onto the open face, cutting it back, setting up this inside North Peak. Is it gonna cooperate for him? Looks like it will. He's going to get something on the inside. A little check turn off the top. Going up in the lit. Trying to finish this wave strong. And he goes out the back. So that was William Heddleson. Big shout out to his dad, Brett. I know you're tuned in. Welcome to the broadcast. As we look at this replay, what did you see there, Symes? I love this first turn, and he's able to actually really sink his back footing through some water, and that's what the judges are looking for, a powerful turn. He has to do a little setup work. He takes the lower road. This, this kid is actually a, pretty, a very good surfer because he makes check turns look like major maneuvers. So this is a, a competitor here. Yeah, he's, he's a strong kid. Good surfer. So we can see what scores are going to be dropping here. So... On your screens. So last of blue, four, two, three. So that's not enough to put you in advancing position, William, but it does cut your requirement down to a 3.5. So blue, you go to third, you require a 3.5. Your last wave was a four, two, three.
trying to analyze that that score for that wave. Like maybe the, maybe the judges are looking for slightly bigger, more critical maneuvers, which the sets will probably give you at least two outside maneuvers and bring that score right up into the good or excellent range. Yeah, yeah for sure, Simon. That's what we were talking about earlier, is that first outside maneuver. And the, the servers that can figure out where to do that maneuver are the ones that are getting the scores going up into fives and sixes. It's, it's pretty important out here. Um, that's exactly what they're looking for, and the ones that do it are getting the scores. We've seen servers on the outside jockeying for position. Green, he has priority. He's going to take this one, use his priority, comes out onto the open face, little wrapping cut back. Right. That's a perfect example of that outside maneuver. So if he would have jammed that outside maneuver, he's already looking at a score in the 4 to 4.5 range, and he links some more turns together, and he's going to get the score. So you see on your screen what he's requiring. We're going to see where the judges go with it, but my gut feeling tells me it's going to be somewhere around what he's been dropping, maybe even lower. It's that first maneuver right there that should have been more critical, more risky. You know, risk equals reward in the game of surfing. The more you risk it, the bigger the reward. Last of blue, 283, does not go into your score line. So last of blue, 283. Seven minutes, five seconds remaining. All right, just a quick reminder, competitors and spectators, we do have breakfast available for sale under the main tent from Zaccio's. Just get your breakfast under the main tent from Zaccio's. I think they'll be here for at least another hour. That will be under the main tent by the food and beverage stall. Thank you very much. Six minutes, 35 seconds remaining. Situation remains the same. Surfer in red, Anthony Fillingham in first position with second priority and using it on a nice looking wave. Worked hard to get around. Oh, big turn. This boy was here last year and really came as an unknown and did not, definitely didn't leave here as an unknown. I was just telling Simon, he reminds me a lot of Joe Chanko, just arrived on the scene and live action blue, William Hellison on the outside, big wow. turn. That's more like it. another big turn, floats the section, looking to get out in front of it, he does. This could be the beginning of that pulse we're seeing. Here we go, William Hellison working it all the way to the inside, another nice blow, blow tail. And he's done out the back. That first quality maneuver on the outside is what it's all about. I want to see the replays of that. OK, replaying last of red, lovely set wave. Surfer, surfer from Costa Rica starts off with a lovely real wrap and then lays it down in the pocket, full gouge. Yeah, that was a money turn, Simon. I'm thinking that this is going to be the mo probably the best score of the heat so far. He has to do some filling work on the inside, but he finishes so strong. Server from Costa Rica, lucky like a local. Last of blue. Surfer gets two large outside hits. Does a little filling work, but I'm thinking this is going to be his best score of the heat so far. I might not be the judge, but I think these are our, might end up being our two. Advancing surfers due to the last two scores are about to log in here. All right, last of red, 617. Last of blue, 7.0. Blue, you go to first. Red drops to second. White, you are third. White, you now require a 5.5. And green, you are fourth, requiring a 724. So like I said all along, Simon, it's all about that outside maneuver, that first maneuver on the outside. As we turn into live action, Mason O'Toole went a little bit harder on that first turn and unfortunately just comes unstuck. So here we go. William Haddleson dropping a 7.0 going from fourth to first. Judges really ate up that two, two maneuver outside combo. Um, we're seeing some hefty scores here being awarded for the outside surfing. Two hits, 
throwing buckets. I just ate that up. Yeah, and, and, and you know, when you, when you really get picky and really analyze it, the first turn, he kind of got a little stuck on it and powered out through it, but he went straight into a bottom turn and went straight back up into the lip. And that combination of major maneuvers is where 90% of that score came from. Well surfed wave. There we go, green up and right, and once again, going a little bit harder on that first turn. Oh, and Finnick, can he hang on? Yes, he does. Mason O'Toole patting the cat, trying to get back out in front, but showing a little more effort. Yep, risk equals reward. So that last previous exchange, you, you saw Surfer in red taking the first wave of the set and Surfer in blue taking the second. As we look at this replay, of green. So you see, he just gets a little more aggressive on that first maneuver and then tries to push out the fins. A lay it back on the north section. Yeah, unfortunately, he couldn't ride out in front of it. Uh, breaking down the last of Red's replay, one big outside wrap. He didn't see anything in front of him. Wave kind of went out to see, so he got out the back. This, um, this heat, there you can see the trend between surfer and blue and red are definitely in, seem to be in rhythm with the sets. Um, and the other two servers seem to be scrambling just to get whatever they can. Yeah, you know, it's sometimes it just works out that way. You just get into this rhythm and it, and it all stems from having a positive vibe on the wave. And, you know, it was one of our, our local servers had a, you know, mishap in his heat and, you know, he's trying to impress some people and he's got a long career ahead of him. But I went to him and I said, you have to be able to reset and when you know you start a heat and you're in a rhythm and you're going good, you continue to get better throughout the heat. But if you make a mistake early, you seem to go the other direction. You need to be able to forget that and put it behind you and then surf your wave and then get on. And he looked at me and he just said, yes, thank you. And he understood exactly what he said. And that's, you know, that's what a competitor is. And you know, they, they take that advice and they, break it up however they want, but let me tell you, server in white, Brad Ettinger, he just made no meat of that wave just now. Well, well, he's been sitting for quite some time waiting for a wave, and he hasn't quite been in rhythm with the sets, but this this gentleman serves very well, like he's a beautiful style, and he coils up off the bottom, and he, when, he, when he hits the lip, he's throwing some water, so I'm thinking this will be a, one of his best scores that he heat so far. There we go, green up and riding. He's out there just having fun. Nice down carved in the pocket. Working his way to the inside. This is live action, but we'll look to get that replay of white. With 20 seconds remaining. Here we go, this is the replay of white. Go ahead, Symes. First little top. Then he gets going here, he's right behind the section. It's the third tap on the outside. And this is where all the money is, big, big hit. So that's Brad Edinger for the USA, and surfer in white, and he finishes strong. All right, so blue was up before the horn, so red and blue catching the wave right on the buzzer. We're on hold next heat, we're on hold, we're waiting for some scores to drop. So we got a scores to drop for red, white, and blue. So service in the next seat, please stand by. This is the replay of blue. All right, service in the next seat. We're on a short hold. Please stand by. We got some scores to drop.
All right, servers in the next seat, please stand by. We are still reviewing replays. We want to make sure we get this 100% correct. A lot of points on offer at this event. There's a lot of implications with this event being a 5,000. These servers are, are battling for 5,000 points and their chance to get onto the Challenger Series. Every All right, everything is in now. So last of red, 5.6, sends red to first. Blue, you dropped to second. Your last wave did not factor in. White, your last score coming in. You required a 5.9. Your last score comes in at a 5.23, not enough. So situation, red first, blue second. So Anthony and William will be advancing into the round of 96 coming up later on today. Servers in the next heat, please stand by. We're going to cut to a short commercial break. We'll be right back with the opening heat of the round of 64. Stay tuned. to live action. You are tuned in to the BTMI Bar Beta Surf Pro QS5000. Presented by Diamonds International and brought to you by Surf Promotions Barbados. We're gonna get started in this round of 64 heat number one. Coming up in this heat in red, Tara Watanabe in blue, Manuel Salmon in white, Sam Coffey. And in green, Barbados' very own Louis St. John battling his way all the way from the round of 112. 23 minutes, 50 seconds remaining in this opening heat. We got some serious surfing on store for you coming up in this opening round. So from here on out, it could be finals all the way through to the end of this event. So the surfer in red, Taro Watanabe, comfortably sitting in second position on the rankings. And here we go, blue, Manuel Salmon, up and riding. So Taro, placing a, having a good year this year, looking to get on to the Challenger Series, coming up. So while we wait for the score for blue to drop, we're gonna cut to the glass with Amaya, with Anthony Fillingham, winner of the last heat. Here we are with the winner of heat number 16, round two of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International, Anthony Fillingham. How are you today? Well, I'm feeling great. Happy to be back in this paradise for sure. <laughs> this is one of my favorite places on tour and just uh, every day here it keeps getting better. That's good to hear. Uh, you had a really good, um, a really good run last year. What how was your mindset coming up to this event? Um, after being here last year, I uh, really realized how much I love this wave and and really how it likes to, I like how it suits my surfing. 
And I think um, I've been looking forward ever since last year when I lost in round of 16. What I've been looking forward is for this first heat of this event this year. And um, well, no, just extremely um, honored to be here with all the boys and sharing energies with different countries. And yeah, no, it's like a little family here. And yeah, I'm staying with one of my best mates and another mate from Brazil. I'm super excited. Everybody's making heats, so let's keep it going. Yeah, you do look very comf comfortable over there um, at the bowl. Um, it does suit your surfing. Been releasing some power turns on the outside, so you're looking good. Um, you want to say a little something for friends and family back in Costa Rica, maybe? Sí, eh, todos en casa. Saludos, este, a mi papá, mi mamá, mi novia, todos mis amigos que me están viendo. Pura vida y no. Vamos adelante. Este, viva Costa Rica y viva Barbados. <laughs> Pura vida. All right, thank you so much, man. Good luck for the next round. Thank you. <laughs>
I did say that we will see Anthony in the round of 32, but that was actually the last heat of the round of 96. So we will actually see him again today in the round of 64. There we go, yeah, blue, blue up and right in Salmon. Throws a reverse on the left, and that's all she wrote. He goes out the back. You're playing blue. Blue is able to get one air reverse on the left. Smaller wave. Quality maneuver, though. We'll have to see how to do it. The judges actually deemed that. That was quite a difficult maneuver. I don't think I'll go into them to talk to. Judges are kind of looking for bigger ways to outside maneuvers and connecting all the way to the inside. All right, here we go. Server is putting themselves into position. Sam Coffey goes on the first one. Then White, big turn on the outside. So that will put Lewis St. John in green with priority. And here he goes. He's going to use his priority on the outside as we're going to follow green. Sorry, we're going to follow White. So here we go. Lewis St. John. Live action, two big major maneuvers on the outside. Can he hang on? Taro's up. Taro Watanabe on the third set. Wave of the set. Working his way all the way down to the inside. Oops. And then, well, Salmon gets priority on the outside. So but no takers, but this wave of green. So, so breaking down the last exchange, Lewis was able to, well, firstly, we, we start off with coffee surfer and white from America, lovely outside rail turn, displacing a lot of water, and a second rail turn. Coffee actually did link the inside, made the inside connection, and was able to finish strong. So that was the first of that exchange. There was Second was Lewis St. John on a lovely looking set wave. Big outside vertical hit. Lewis had to do one big hit on the inside again there. He kind of lost his footing there, so I don't know if the judges are going to deem this complete or not. So Lewis was just two outs outside maneuvers. And then the third wave of this exchange was Taro. A bit of a foamy wave, a frothy wave, but it offered him two outside carving maneuvers. A setup snap with an end hit. So uh, Taro actually putting together four maneuvers there on a frothy wave. And yeah, this was Salmon. He, he got into the mix too. So this is a fine burner of the heat. Waiting for some scores to drop. Last of white, six, six, seven. So we're waiting for red, blue, and green. Previous of blue, 3.2. That was the previous of blue. Last of green, 3.9. So waiting on last of blue, 5.9. 
and Green up and right in Lewis St. John. And he goes out the back. And White on the outside. Big wrapping cutback. Working it way onto the open face. Another wrapping cutback. Fully on the rail. Showing some flair on this wave. Sam Coffey. Oh, and he just goes down. So can't quite hang on to that finishing maneuver. So last of Blue, 5.9. So Blue, you go to first. But still waiting on another wave for White. A wave for Red. And also a wave for Green, but Green is just going to be an offer. He was pretty much up and out. So you watch the replay. And he just pearls the board there on that finishing maneuver. Yeah, that was a, a nice exchange here. This, this heat has a lot of quality surfers in it, and there's good surfing going down here. What's going to separate everyone is quality of maneuver on the quality set wave. And surfers been able to actually link or land their maneuvers cleanly and can't be any doubt in the judge's mind if you rode out of something. Lewis could have been onto a great score, but I think he threw it away by not hang, riding out cleanly. Yeah. It was unfortunate he got hung up in that white water. It, that could have been potentially one of the first excellent ways we've seen. Really smashed those two turns. So last of red, five, six, seven. Last of white, four, two, zero. So white first. White, you have a 6.67 six, and a 4.2. Red, you are second. You have a 5.6 and a 4.8. Blue, you are third. You have a 5.9 and a 3.2. You require a 4.5 to move into advancing position. And green, you are fourth. You have a 3.9 and a 1.8. You require a 6.6. .6. Nine minutes, 50 seconds remaining. This is heat number one in the round of 64. Well, this, this, this round, I'm starting to see some big names come out. And the surfing is reflective of um, the round we're in. We're seeing a lot of good surfing here now today. Take a look out the back there. There's some. All right, surfer in red, Tara Watanabe with priority. He's gonna give. He's gonna give this away. No takers. I think we're seeing a little, a little tactics coming into play here right now. Priority: red, green, white, blue. And red using priority up and riding. Uh, he gets gobbled up by that North Peak. Yep. Coming up in the next heat, we're going to see Tyler Gunter in red, Kai Kushner in blue, Reed Platinus in white, and Gabriel Vargas in green. White, your last wave was a 4.2. You are in first. Last of red coming in at a 2.9 does not factor in. Priority is with green. Second priority is with white. Third priority is with blue. So going back to that exchange, we had um, Otaro. He was unable to ride out of that north section, so I don't think that will be a score going into his top two. And Subo is actually showing you some power that you, you actually have to be bang on with your timing. In terms of the section, you can't be too late. The wave will snatch and bully, pull you down.
Big shout out to all of our sponsors, the BTMI, Diamonds International, TDC, Slam, Y103, Infra Rentals, Zakio's Restaurant, General Distributors, Lloyd T, Sumbum, Chickmont Foods, Eco Skywater, Mount Gay, and Remy Martin, and St. Luke's Clothing. As we look onto the outside, Louis St. John in green using his priority, going up vertical, pushing out the fins on that first maneuver. That's what the judges are looking for. That major maneuver on the outside. Unfortunately, the wave is going to roll off to him. He's got to wait for that inside section, offering no north peak. And he goes out the back. Also yep. want to remind everybody, all your food and beverage needs are on sale under the main tent. As we look and see what St. John needs. Think, think Lewis breaking down the replay here. Lewis might have pulled the trigger on, with his priority on maybe a softer wave than he could have maybe have waited a bit longer, but Lewis is under pressure now. Under five minutes, he's needing to get busy and get a score on the board. He had to do some fill-in work here. He was only get, allowed to get maybe one or two more small check snaps. So Lewis with a mid-sized wave, but a lovely outside maneuver. Scores coming in. All right, last of blue, sorry, last of green, 4-3-0. Green, you now require a 6.2. Uh, we're looking at red way up the point. Taro Watanabe floats the first section out onto the open face. He's behind the peak, and that's all that's going to rate. That wave runs away from him. Some of those waves from way up inside there earlier this morning were actually lining up, and we were, they were able to make it through. As we watch this replay, just kind of a little floater on that first section. He is currently ranked number two on the North American qualifying series. So breaking down that, Tyrell took a wave from actually so, so deep. He was almost behind the sections, but he was still able to get two quality maneuvers done in a critical part of the wave. This guy is confident, not many. International people know actually how to link those sections from so deep, but Taro's no stranger to soup bowl and, you know, four to five foot waves today. This is a, a cake walk for him. And that last score coming in at a 4-3-7, so that won't factor into his score line, still currently in second position. Surfer in third, still requiring a 4.5, and Surfer in green, still in fourth, requiring a 6-2-0. Last of green, 4-3-0, Lewis, 4-3-0, you need a 6.2. Three minutes, 35 seconds remaining. Priority order, white, blue, green, red. White, blue, green, red. Coming up on the three minute mark. Servers in the next seat, please stay down in the channel. Not every set is eventuating on the reef in the perfect spot. That was a kind of an easterly wave from up inside. The guys would stick a snip at it and let it go. We still have a mixture swell in the water today, but this is definitely a better mix than the mix we had yesterday, and it's definitely a foot or two bigger. Right. Just coming up on the two minute mark, two minutes, five seconds remaining. Situation remains the same, white, red, blue. Blue requiring a 4.5 and green requiring a 
All right, as the ocean starts to move, they see it so I can say it. They're putting themselves in position. Only thing is, if it's going to hit the reef the right way, but 45 seconds remaining. Surfers in the next heat. Just hold your positions, guys. Surfers in the next heat. Thirty seconds remaining. Servers in the next heat. You guys, you're really getting into the lineup. You gotta stop. Thank you. All right, blue. Priority change. Blue goes to fourth priority. Ten seconds. Here we go. Counting this one in. In three, two, one. That ends the heat. So with no waves being ridden, situation remains the same. White going to fourth, first, red in second. So white and red will advance into the round of 32. Servers in the next heat, please stand by. We're on a short hold, please stand by. We're gonna be right back with heat number two of the round of 64. Stay tuned. to live action you are tuned into the btmi barbados surf pro qs 5000 presented by diamonds international here we go who's going to draw first blood coming up in this heat in red we have tyler gunter in blue kai kushner in white reed platinus and in green gabriel vargas so surfers jockeying for position green has the upper hand decides not to go Lou, Lou, just to um, give you all a little insight, Kai has been, Kai Kushner has been coming here quite some time now, and he's been putting in some major time at Super Bowl. That's even, right. Even the other course, Kai is no stranger, so he really is uh, almost like a mini local now at this stage. I think he stays with Ruth Gooden and quite yeah. often. Yeah, he's very clinical, very technical server. Uh, made it quite far a couple of years ago in this the same event taking down some big names has a bright future ahead of him so Kushner currently ranked 20th on the North American tour if he can potentially win this event, he might be able to leapfrog his way into the top 10 and get on the challenger. <laughs> What's interesting to see is how deep the guys are pushing themselves. And the wave is still coming down at the bottom of the, uh, no takers yet, but today is such a different transition from yesterday where you're seeing some actual real lanes approaching. Yeah, the forecast is still pretty up in the air. Potentially could be getting a new swell Friday, late Thursday into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We'll have to see how that shapes up. We generally get north swells from whatever cold fronts move through Florida and whatever low pressure systems move like off of North Carolina into New York. All depends on how long they stay in the water before they jet up and up into Nova Scotia. The longer they stay in the water, the longer the swell gets pushed. As you can see this wave, Kai Kushner up and riding, way up inside, floats the first section, 
Goes up in the lip on the second section, ditches the fins and goes down. And here we go, Surfer and Green gonna snip this one out, but Blue might turn on this one. He looks at it, he knows, yep, here he goes. Kai Kushner on the inside. This is a north section. And it doesn't offer much, but it was worth looking at. They got those inside runners got potential to just line up and roll off the reef. He's been coming here long enough to know that. And green up and out the back. We're seeing a lot of jockeying going on and a lot of different um, swells coming into the lineup. We're seeing sets out the back from up inside, down inside. Guys are very active trying to reposition in this lineup now. And we're looking out the back. We're looking at a major set wave here. So we're looking at see if we have any takers here. Actually, this one kind of went a bit wide on the reef. All right, here we go. We're watching Red, Tyler Gunter, on his backhand. Coming off the bottom, up in the lip, working his way out onto the open face. Tyler's also been coming here since he was about 10, so he knows this wave well. Big shout out to Larry, his dad. I know you're watching. Welcome to the broadcast. Banging the last maneuver off the lip and on the outside, surfer in white. Reed Platinus. Big off the lip, another one out onto the open face. And on the outside, Blue with another smash. So we cut to Blue, this is his second turn. Oh, and he just digs a rail and goes down. So while we're waiting for those scores to drop, we're gonna send it to the glass with the winner of the last heat, Sam Coffey. Score is dropping. All right, well, I guess they're not ready. So we're gonna follow these replays right through. That was Reed from Canada? Yeah. Reed seems to be uh, getting a good read on Super Bowl and he's understanding. And I remember yesterday he was starting to connect the dots on a few waves and today he started off doing the exact same thing. All right, they should be ready down on the glass. So take it away, Maya. Here we are with Sam Coffey, who won the first heat of that uh, round three bar BTMI Barbados Surf Pro, presented by Diamonds International. How are you? Feeling good, yeah. Feels good to get another heat win and make it through the next round. A little slow start of the heat for you. How did you manage to keep your head cool through that? Yeah, it was uh, about 10 minutes before I got my first wave, but no one else really had much, so it kind of was easy to stay calm and just wait for a good one. And I got lucky, got a good, got a six or something like that first wave. So yeah, felt good. Yeah, that was a good first wave. Throw a few buckets here and there. You looking comfortable at, at Subal? Yeah, yeah, I like, I love this wave. Uh, I come from Santa Cruz, land of rights, so it feels good to go right. Um, yeah, it, it's it's hard not to like warm water and a, a right point with three other people out. All right, um, so might be it for the day. How are you gonna prepare for the next round? What are you gonna do for the rest of the day? I'm gonna go sit in some AC, it's hot here, uh, eat some food, kind of watch some of the guys surf, and yeah, cheer them on, just relax. All right, sounds good, that's a good plan. It does get hot later on. You wanna say a little something for your friends and family up in Santa Cruz? Yeah, hi to my mom, dad, brother, love you guys, uh, all the friends watching, uh, thanks to the sponsors. Uh, IPD, West Peak, my dad for the magic boards. Um, yeah, thank you guys. All right, good luck for the next one, man. Thank you. Thank you. All right, back to live action. So while we were on that short break, scores trickled in. Score for red coming in at 633, and score for blue coming in at 317. Score for white coming in at 783. So situation in the water, white first, red second. 
Blue is third. Blue requires a 317. And green is fourth, requiring a 5.6. Okay, breaking this one down. Everyone's kind of got a first ride underneath their belts, and now they're, everyone's repositioning the lineup, and priority is established. Uh, we have a flurry of waves coming here again. Let's see if we have any takers. All right, White up and riding in fourth priority. Just looking to back up that 783. Reed Platinus out onto the open face, throws it up vertical for the second time. Breaking on last of white. There's a little white water rolling. He's a little late to it. Gets a lovely vertical hit there. Throwing lots of water. Takes his time. Sets up on another hit. Wrong house cutty. And that's all she wrote. So three turns. But I think the judges will reward the two. The outside work done. All right, here we go. Green. Gabriel Vargas. Big slashing cutback. Out onto the open face, bangs the north section. Has some more wave to work with. He's gonna, gonna line up on the inside. He's looking to get into the mix. Drops the wallet, picks it up, smashes the last turn, ditches the fins. So he found some rhythm on that wave. So some nice front side hacks off the top. We're gonna look at this replay. Okay, green. Look. Large first snap on a second. He's really pushing hard on the back foot there, so he's throwing some water. Little check snap, he set up for the inside, and boom. Again, this, this surfer is a back foot heavy, heavy surfer. He has a wide stance, and it's very functional at Super Bowl, so he's connected to quite a few dots there. And that is Vargas. Gabriel Vargas from for Peru. It's amazing to see how many nations are actually here, and this you can see this this guy is a good surfer. Waiting for your score, White. All right, just drops 4.83 for White. 4.83 on your last effort. All right, server at blue, sitting with priority. He sees what's going on on the outside. Thirteen minutes, fifty seconds remaining. Last of green, four point six. So green, you now require a one point seven four. All these heats we're seeing so far. All right, live action, green up and riding with 13 minutes remaining. Gabriel Vargas from Peru out onto the open face. Nice big hack off the top on that first maneuver. And he just goes out the back. Boy got legs like Tom Carroll. Breaking that one down, Lou. This is a very strong surfer, but he is picking inside waves. And this only gave him two opportunities, although he the surfing is fantastic, he's doing. It's only allowing two turns. So he's gonna need to probably put himself on some bigger quality waves with more wall if he's looking for a better score. Okay, last of green, three, five, seven. So that puts green to second. Red, you drop to third. You now require 1.8. And blue, you are fourth. You now require a five.
All right, here we go. Blue giving this one a paddle. Can he get in? Kushner with priority. He gets up and riding. He's a little behind it. That was a nice looking way, but he doesn't get started until the inside. Oh, two solid turns on the inside. You can see the technique that boy has. Breaking down the replay of this, Kai is very late to this. He barely gets to his feet. Has to come around the outside section, so he's missed the first part of this wave, but boom, first move is lovely. And the second turn, upside down, so still two quality maneuvers. Yeah, back to live action, read up and out. So we'll see where that score for Blue goes. He really smashed those two inside turns, two major maneuvers back to back. Green, you're currently in second, but things are going to change. So let me just get these other two scores in, and we'll see where we're going. Waiting for a score for blue, and it's going to be an O for for white, so that's not going to factor in. Last of blue, 5.5, so blue goes to second. Green, you drop to third. You now require a four. And red, you are fourth. You now require a 2.3. So there you go, Simon. 5.5 for two turns on the inside. But if he would have been able to link an outside turn. I was um, interested to see how that score was in coming up. Judges giving it. So live action, green up and riding. Gabriel Vargas floats the first section and can't hang on to that north peak. He gets gobbled up. So even though Kai missed the outside section and had to come all the way around it and do all the work on the inside, yeah. he still was able to get 5.5. 5.5 on that, which is a, a, a good score. It's above average. So Kushner showing that given two, two small window of opportunity, can still put the damage done quick. Yeah, that score would have rivaled the Beth of the Heat if he could have had an outside maneuver. Uh, two solid turns. Unfortunately, missed the whole outside section of that wave just because he got in a little bit late. He's currently ranked 20th position on the North American rankings. There we go, blue up and right in Kushner. Working out onto the open face, throws up the first turn. And he goes out the back. He was currently in fourth priority, so really didn't. Oh, sorry, he was in third priority. Blue Kushner um, snatching at anything right now. Tight the clock is winding down. He only has one score, and he, he really needs to back that up. So even that would have improved the situation. But he, he'll be looking for a to post a decent score on the board. Yeah, still plenty of time. Seven minutes, 55 seconds remaining. Surfer in red, holding priority. Gunter, he requires a 2.34, sitting in fourth position. All right, here we go. Blue, sneaking one under priority. Throws it up in the lip. He's looking to just better a mid-range score. And he goes out the back. Six minutes, 50 seconds remaining. 
Kushner's so smart. He's taken off even on an insider here. Critical surfing. Nearly punches the nose there. Gets upside down, able to throw some water. Yeah, he's just trying to keep in rhythm. You know, he's sitting in a very low priority, fourth priority. 3.03. So here we go, Red. Tyler is looking to back up that 633. Goes up vertical on the first turn, out onto the open face. Nice down carve back into the power source. Cutting it back, waiting for this one to stand up on the inside. Going up vertical one more time. And finishes strong. So he's going to get his back up. And now White on the outside with six minutes. He is the current heat leader. Throwing buckets of sprays, a big boy. And he goes down. This opens the door now, and the power he's gonna. Sh yeah, we're gonna wait for this score for Red. Breaking out Red, gotten her huge first turn beyond 12 o'clock. Se second turn is beautiful as well, throwing lots of water. Redirect to the pocket, and bang, he gets the last maneuver. Nearly comes unstuck, but he hangs on there just for a top to finish. So I'm looking for a good score for Tyler Gutner from the USA. Next wave is white. This is Reed from Canada. He's a big boy and he's throwing some water. He came unstuck on his on the north section, but lovely outside maneuver for him. Yeah, so this is gonna flip-flop this whole entire heat once this score for red comes in. All right, last of red, 6.63. So red goes to first, white drops to second, white drops to second. Uh, blue, you are third. You now require a 7.17. And green, you're fourth. You now require an 8.0. Four minutes, 25 seconds remaining. So Tyler Gunter currently sitting in 12th in the rankings. So he's looking to get up into that top 10, keep his campaign alive. His two best results are two fifth place finishes at Virginia Beach and the WRV. And here we go, servers putting themselves into position Green with priority is going to pull the trigger. Here we go. Gabriel Vargas on a nice looking runner. Big down carve in the pocket, out onto the open face, floats the section, gets a little hung up, and he goes out the back. So with three minutes, 30 seconds remaining, priority shifts to the surfer in blue, followed by white, then red. As we look at this replay. Breaking on the replay here. Lovely outside first turn for Green. And he, he gets just a little white water foam playing this water. This wave sadly went out to sea, so he was hard to get out. But that's probably one of the bigger waves he's got for the heat. But one outside quality maneuver. So Gabriel Vargas winning scores. Scores are coming in the more than the three height mid three range. Yeah, drops a 3.57, does not factor in. So Green on the inside. Blows the fin, spins it around, completes the maneuver. He's going to wait for it to wall up. Decides, no, I didn't like that, and I'm going to get out. Two minutes remaining. Surfer in blue gives that one a look. Doesn't like the looks of it. It was a wise decision.
One minute, 45 seconds remaining. Surfer in red, sitting in first position with a 6-6-3 and a 6-3-3. All right, here we go, Blue is gonna use priority. Goes up on the first turn on the outside, working it out onto the open face, another big turn. Waiting for it to stand up. He's gonna wrap this one around, cutting it back. Working it all the way to the inside. Kai Kushner. Trying to finish strong. He did have a big outside maneuver. All right, breaking this one. Breaking down the last exchange here. We had Vargas actually go, going left, surfer in green, gets one big maneuver, then a second snap, left Peter away from him, so that didn't offer him much. So on the same way, we had Kai Kushner in blue, USA. Big first turn, and a second hit. He was a little behind the section here. He had to do some, just getting around it, fill in, some fill-in work. And the inside section, we to get one backside hit, and another snap. And yeah, back to live action, Gunters. Looking to answer back. He is currently in the lead. We're counting this one in in three, two, one. And that ends the heat. So servers in the next heat, please stand by. We have some scores to drop. Please stand by. So breaking on the back, the back end of that heat, we, went, we have some scores to come in to see if any situation changes there. We went down to the last minute where we had two surfers, three surfers actually, riding waves. So let's see what the judges coming in at, if any flip-flop changes in the final position there. We're on a short hold, surfers. Hold your positions, we're on a short hold. We are just trying to get some scores in. So on the replay, we have, we have Taylor from USA, and this wasn't really going to be a factor into his top two. I think he's just making his way into the beach. All right, we're still waiting for a couple scores for white and also red. Red's going to not factor in. White also doesn't look like it's going to factor in. Right, last of white, 413, so last of blue. Requires a 717, drops a 540, not enough, so situation remains the same. Red first, white second. Servers in the next seat, please stand by. We are going to cut to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with heat number three, round of 64. Introducing the crown of light. It's the only 90-faceted modern dome-shaped diamond with 24 bezel facets on the crown, giving it arguably three times more sparkle than any other diamond cut out there. This is Crown of Light. All right, back to live action. We are here in heat number three, round of 64. Coming up in this heat, we have Joshua Burke from Barbados in the red jersey. James Swarkowski in the blue jersey. Quade Ferrian in the white jersey. And Cole McCaffrey in the green jersey. This heat just got underway. No waves have been ridden so far. Local boy Joshua Burke. He is currently sitting in 11th position on QS rankings. Yeah, breaking that one down, that one name down for us, he would be licking his chops, waiting for the first good score to come through here for him. Josh That's right. Uh, I'm James Warkowski has also got an outside chance. He's sitting in 21st position. So last year we did see surfers come all the way from back there. Did very well in the event and leapfrogged a whole bunch of people to get in. 
and ended up getting on to the Challenger Series. As you see the competitors on your screen, Jacob Berg, James Wierkowski, Quaid Farian, and Cole McCaffrey. This is heat number three, round of 64. It's Joshua Burke, not, ja not Jacob. Jacob is the younger brother of Josh. 23 minutes remaining. You are tuned in to the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro QS 5000. We're also going to be having a Live Like Xander Jr. Pro coming up later on in the week. That event is in memory of Xander Venezia. We've been doing these events for 12 years. Every year I say it, we always look to bring bigger and better events to Barbados. We started out with a Junior Pro 12 years ago, then we added it into a 1000 QS, upped it to 3000. We are now at 5000, and we are going to end up with a Challenger Series event, eventually a CT event. I was honored last year, I got a letter from the top of the top of the top at the WSL offering us the opportunity to host the World Junior Championships this year. We had to decline that, it was just too close to this event. And they wanted to center the whole event around Xander and his legacy and his message that has been sent out and very touching. And I know some of those people are tuned in and watching and thank you very much for the opportunity, we will make it happen. Actually, that's a goal. I just put something in my head. I can have a WSL, every event WSL does, I wanna have here. How's that? 1,000, 3,000, 5,000, Challenger, CT, Junior, Junior World Championships, you name it, I'm gonna do it. Joshua Burke, local boy, up and right, and flicks it out, first turn. Working his way to the inside. He doesn't recognize anything he likes. He's going to stick with it, just trying to keep the score rolling, and he's going to go out the back. So let him hear it. Joshua Burke from Barbados. All right. Waiting for the replay to come back there. Joshua opening his campaign. He got a mid sized wave here. Lovely first snap, throwing some water. And that second turn has a little spin drift. This wave kind of split away from him. So he would have been a bit frustrated here, hoping that he'd, it would reform. So he's probably a little disappointed, but he's going to stick with it just to, you know, extract whatever little extra scoring potential he has. But we'll see. There are better waves out there. We'll see if that will be a keeper in the end for Josh. I think he's stuck with that wave just to, you know, get back out and to get in a better position, hoping that North Peak will, will pop up in front of him, you know. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Uh, almost there. See what I mean? He's right there in that position. If the camera can just tighten up, please. Tighten up on the lineup. Third priority, green. All right, last of red, 483. Red dropping a 483 on his opener. So while we're waiting, we are going to cut to the glass for the winner of the last heat, Tyler Gunter. Take it away, Amaya. Here we are with the winner of Heat 2 of this third round of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International, surfer from the U.S., Tyler Gettner. How are you today? I'm doing good. Um, had a fun heat, a couple waves. It was a bit slow, but stoked to be in Barbados and surfing some heats. A couple waves, as you just said. It was literally two. How did it affect your mindset throughout the heat? Uh, not too bad. I mean, my first wave was decent, and I knew... I just needed to get one more, so I kind of just south my priority until I saw the wave that I wanted, and yeah, luckily didn't fall or anything, and got another six, and that was that. <laughs> well, we like the confidence. You are surfing very well over there, throwing a few buckets, looking real dynamic. What kind of board are you surfing today? On uh, surf prescriptions, um, Jeff Doc Lausch, magic board uh, that he made me right before this event, so stoked on my board, stoked on the waves, and everything's good. Right, well, keep going through heat, number 12 so far, but looking to get up on that ranking. Yeah, just heat by heat, and I mean, I want to win this contest, so if I do that, I guess there's the Challenger Series, and that's a bonus, so 
Just going to keep going heat by heat. Heat by heat. All right, good luck for the next one. You want to say something for friends and family maybe back at home? Yeah, um, I think it's a bit early, but thanks to everyone that woke up they and watched my heat. They should be awake, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks for tuning in. And um, got John, Norap, Levi, Dilly coming up. Boys are going to rip this event, so stay tuned in. Let's get it. All right, man. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> We're back to live action during that recap interview. We saw the surfer in white, Quade Farian, on an effort. And on, here we go. We're going to look at his replay. It comes around the section, a little down carve. Working it all the way to the inside wave. Not really offering too much, so he's just doing his best. As we see green on the outside, really going to town. White really milked everything he could out of that wave. And following green now. Gets a lovely first lip landing floater and then sets up a lovely hit. Big carve on an end hit. So Green really did a lot of work on this wave as well. Uh, we're going to have to see how the judges reward this, but Green, surfing from the United States, put in a lot of work. All right, last of White 2.83. So, early in this heat, surfer in red, dropping a 483. Last of green, 6.67. So, green goes to first, red drops to second. White, you are third, requiring a 2.01. And blue goes to fourth, requiring a 4.34. Analyzing conditions, the waves are coming. The guys are spotting them and repositioning. All right, so Joshua sees it. Here we go. He's going to put himself into possession. Joshua Burke, local surfer from Barbados, up in the lip, throws it up, out onto the open face. Big wrapping cut back. Sticking with this one, throws it up on the north section. Staying with the white water. Going to look for this inside section, hoping it's going to hit the reef the right way. He doesn't like it, and he kicks out the back, but all the work was done on the outside. That was Joshua Burke from Barbados. Uh, showing the replay here, Josh picks up a quality wave. Big outside first hit. A lovely wrap. Seeing all the composure and, and, and hit on the north section. As we have run out to see on him a bit, he would have been a little bit upset not to have a better inside connection here, but he did the outside work. Josh knows this wave so well, and he was just poised and placed everything perfectly there, not a bubble out of play. All right, score's starting to trickle in. 6.10 for red, 6.10, so red goes the first, green drops the second, white your third, requiring a 3.85. And green up and right and drips the fins, floats the second section. Blue, you are fourth, requiring a 618. Blue on the outside with some solid outside maneuvers. Are we playing group best of last of green? This guy did. A lot of good outside work in his last wave, so he's looking to back that up. He was in and out there, and that was not a great wave, wave selection. Then we had Blue, which is Jabe from the USA. That's three critical outside maneuvers. The wave did not connect for him, so I don't know if that will affect his score at all, but I think he did three quality maneuvers there, so I think he's looking for a good score. Yeah, that was a big outside maneuver. And then... Followed it up, but here we go, live action. Josh Burke putting himself in position. He is scrambling to get into this one. He sees something he likes. Josh Burke floats the first section, comes out onto the open face, throws it up in the lip, working his way to the north section, flicks it around, spins it around, rides out cleanly. 
Still on his way, Joshua Burke. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to do that, but that finishes his show. So, so let's, let's, let's break this down because <laughs> there's so much generational history in this particular raid, but um, Joshua really starts good here. Big first float, and it's actually a hit the float, then the second one it tops it. This was master class, just carving around, uh, carving reverse on the north section, straight up hit again. Check snap, he's looking like his dad there. And then a carving reel, so maybe that's a little, 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 little shout out to Mark Holder on that carving reel there, you know, 360. Best surf wave for the heat, I would, I would imagine, there by Josh Burke. Yeah, so we're last of green, 4.0. So we're just waiting on red. Uh, so we just had a replay of last of blue, which was a quick hit, and it was up and down. That wave didn't connect for him. All right, previous of green, previous of green, 6.5. Last of green, 247. We're now waiting for the last of red. So even after all those scores are in, Servant Red is still in first position. So we're going to look at this red score, and I will give you a full rundown. All right, here you go, 7.07 .07 for red, 7.07 7 .07 for red, paired with a 6.10, you are in first position. Green, you are in second position with a 6.6 .6 and a 4. Blue, you are in third, you have a 6.5 and a 2.47, you require a 4.1. White, you are in fourth with a single wave of a 2.83, you require a 7.84. 11 minutes, 25 seconds remaining. Red up and riding on the inside. Joshua Burke goes for the reverse, just flicks it around, is having fun with it. That little wave looked like it could have been one of those north runners. Uh, you saw Kushner in the last heat get one, unintentionally, because he just was a little bit late getting in. He didn't have an outside maneuver, but the wave really stood up on the inside. The reality here is Josh is now sitting on the high score of the heat. So he's in the driver's seat. He can afford to actually enjoy and relax and have a little fun. Only if someone really drops a hefty score does Josh actually have to even think about advancing. He has, he's way out in the front right now. So wave on the outside and nobody was in position. As we hopefully will see this pulse that we've been expecting. Only 10.30 in the morning, local time. And blue on a foamy one, but that's one that's gonna roll up onto the reef. Little North Peak section there, and White on the outside, gonna use his priority. Here he goes, up and riding. Out onto the open face, nice wrapping cut back. Quade Farian, little flick turn at the top, waiting for this one to reform, it's very foamy. And on the outside, Green, Cole McCaffrey, nice outside maneuver, cutting it back to the power source. Skipping out on that north section, and he goes out the back, going to try and get back out before White. I think those were two ways maybe that won't really affect too much at the end of this heat. We're watching replay of White, first carve, then a little snap. He throws a lot of water, but no real long engagement on the rail there. I think that will keep the score down. He wasn't even able to make the inside connection. Replaying here of Green, lovely first carve, and a second. So he was able to get two outside moves, redirected by water, but that was all she wrote. That wave did not connect for him. Can't see that getting into the good range. All right, nine minutes, 10 seconds remaining. Situation in the water remains the same. Red first, green second. Last of green comes in at a 4.70. So blue, you now require a 4.81. Last of white, 277, you now require a 8.5. And blue, gonna use priority, Dre 
Swarkowski out onto the open face, cutting it back. He's going to stick with this one. No, he's not. He's going to go out the back. Yeah, Blue uh, Swarkowski is looking for a score at this time, but that one went out to see. Uh, we have, have a few little lines out the back. No takers yet. Par priority is with red. Second priority is green. Third priority is white. We're playing last of blue. Just one outside carve, a little snap. That's all she wrote, that wave went fat on him. So he needs to get himself out the back and put himself on a better wave. A little downtime between sets, guys, or just relaxing there now, waiting for the next set of waves approaching, but. All right, coming up on seven minute, 40 seconds remaining. Josh, you are in first position. You have a 7.07 .07 and a 6.10. Green is in second. Blue is in third. Blue requires a 4.8. Blue requires a 4.8. And white is in fourth, requiring an 8.5. So here we go, Blue sniffing out that one, leaves it alone. go white up and riding Quentin Quaid firing series of cutbacks and he goes out the back he is All right, coming up on the six minute mark, situation remains the same in the water. Josh Burt from Barbados in first position, followed by Cole McCaffrey in second position, sitting on a 6.6 .6 and a 4.7. Third position is James Swarkowski with a 6.5 and a 2.5. Server in red, you're currently in first position. You have a 7.07 .07 and a 6.10. Five minutes, 25 seconds remaining. So priority in the water sits with the surfer in red, followed by green, blue, and white. So red, green, blue, white, priority. Four minutes, 50 seconds remaining. So we are with inside the five minutes. Servers in the next seat, you're free to paddle out. Please remember, stay in the channel. When you paddle out and you start to paddle across, do not pass the judge's tower. That is your lineup right there. So far, everybody has had ample time to get themselves into position. There is no reason to mix up and get too close to the lineup. All it does is confuse your priority judge in the tower. Just please be mindful and respectful of your fellow competitors. It's coming up on the four minute mark. This is heat number three, round of 64. We 
You see local boy Josh Burke on your screen right there in the red jersey. Josh was runner up at this event last year. I thought he won. <laughs> it was a well contested final last year. Crosby called a Pinto coming away with a victory, joining his older brother, Griffin, on the world tour this year. Getting through the Challenger Series, which is where all of these surfers are fighting to get onto. The top 10 from North America will join the top 10 from the six other regions to compete for a chance to get onto the championship tour. Coming up in this next seat, we're gonna see John Mell in red, Jake Davis in blue, Kian Yang in white, and Keanu Igarashi in green. That is gonna be another stacked heat. Wow, wow. Here we go, blue up and right in. Gabe with two minutes, 30 seconds remaining, throws up the reverse and can't hang on. He goes down. So this could be interesting. He's gonna paddle himself back out and be in fourth priority with just two minutes and 20 seconds remaining. In two minutes remaining, we're seeing quite a few lanes out the back there as well. He is currently ranked number 21 on the North American rankings. So Joshua Burke surfing red, comfortably in the commanding position with the lead and priority, which is where you always want to be. Winding it down with two minutes. Here we go, white up and riding. He is under priority and on the outside, Josh Burke paddling his way into this one. As white continues down the line, showing some class on this wave, getting in a rhythm. Oh, and he can't hang on to the finishing maneuver as we tune into Josh on the outside. Two big slashes on the open face, working it all the way down to the inside. Josh Burke throws it up, blows the fins, looks outside. But let me tell you, this wave of white, that's going to put him right back in the mix. But he only has a minute, 16 seconds remaining. Servers in the next seat, please hold your positions. Thank you, guys. So look at this replay, Simon, of white. White picking up his best wave in the last dying minute of the heat. Start off a long drawn out cut back. Then he throws it up there. Lay back. And he tries to tap it on the end, but that's the first score of consequence for him. Now Josh is actually on his victory lap here. So he's so confident and comfortable right now waiting for it. And there he goes. He starts to really lay, out, lay the board on the rail. Another lay back snap. Doing all, and then ditches the fins for a finish. So Josh will be probably even improving his position here. Comfortable, well served heat for Josh. It's a battle of the backups here. It's a backup of blue. This is. All right, with 20 seconds remaining, we got some scores to drop. So you can see the score for white on your screen with 10 seconds remaining. All right, and three, two, one. Okay, servers in the next heat. Please get into position and hold your positions. We got a lot of scores to drop. Last of red, five, five, three. Last of white, six, one, seven. Last of blue, three, four, three. So they're all in and Coming ahead in that heat, winning the heat, Joshua Burke in red, followed by Cole McCaffrey in green. So Josh and Cole will be advancing into the round of 32 coming up later on in the week. Servers in the next heat, stand by. We are going to take a short commercial break. We'll be right back with heat number four, round of 64. Stay tuned. Step every single race, paradise is be named. Come over and you will fall in love. I should stay, have a special time of the year where we just get away. Most beautiful display. Go search a million ways, travel a million miles to find a fight like this and have a time like this. You may have a million problems, see some place to ease your mind. Welcome to my place, oh yeah. We don't smile.
All right, back to live action. As you see, heat number four, round of 64. Competitors on your screen in the red jersey, John Mel in the white jersey, sorry, blue jersey, Jake Davis, white jersey, Kian Young, Yang, and in green, Keanu Igarashi. 24 minutes remaining, no surfers have ridden any waves yet. We're going all the way to heat number 16 today in this round of 64. Here we go, way up inside, green, Keanu, younger brother of Kanoa. As he works his way down onto the inside, just getting his feet wet. If you are tuned in, welcome to the broadcast. You are watching the Bar BTMI Barbados Surf Pro QS5000. So, replay of Aragashi. Just doing some nice real work. This was a smaller wave he picked up from deep. And he's able to tag it and even throw a bit of the tail out. And we have waves out the back, guys scrambling and repositioning, but everyone was too deep there. So surfers maybe might need to think about repositioning. They're set it a bit inside at this time. When the set comes, you will be diving it. I'm seeing some lines out the back. Let's see if everyone can add. Now they see it and now they're scrambling. Guess my prediction of Duck Zaven came true. Parlor audience, no raid. We have a few more bumps out the back. This is some mid-sized mid waves, and guys are actually in position for this one. Right up and right in. This is Kian Yang from United States. I think he's from California. Two outside turns. This kid is no stranger to suit. Well, he understands it. Connecting the inside, lovely snap, and a finish. That's Kian Yang. That'll be the first decent score of consequence for the Heat. Surfers, uh, priority is not fully established. Blue and red will have priority, and third priority will be green. Went back to replay of Kian Yang for the United States. Big first hit. Blows the fins out, drifts it. Comes around. Lovely open face carve. Just a little setup, redirect to the pocket. He's waiting for it to reform on the inside. Then it's a filling work. One big check snap. And he tags the finish. So basically, what we are commentating on it actually is what we have on the screen one, which is the live feed on on the web which is sometimes a delayed response to what's happening live in front of us but we're trying to work on resolve these issues so we're in sync with what's happening in webland to what's happening in real life here
All right, here we go. White up and right, and Kian Yang throws it up, drifts the tail. A little flare on that turn. Working it out onto the open face. Nice cut back. Working it down the line, looking to finish strong. He's sitting on a 5-1-7, and he's looking to better that score. They got two powerhouses in this heat. He's surfing against Jake Davis in blue and John Mel in red. As we look at this replay, yeah, this we, first turn. Kian Yang, again, throwing the, the fins out there, getting a lovely first turn. A swoop with a, bit, with a big roundhouse cutty. And another, he catches a little bit of an edge, but he's light and he's nimble. And he gets a lovely end hit there. Kian Yang would be now in a commanding position as he but he's got the first two major scores. He All right, while we're standing by for those scores, we're gonna send it down to Amaya with a last heat winner, local boy from Barbados, Joshua Burke. Here we are with one of our local heroes, Joshua Burke, who just won heat three, round three of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro, presented by Diamonds International. How are you today? Oh yeah, I'm pretty good. Had fun out there and the waves are decent. Better than I expected, so I'm hyped. Yeah, you did look like you were having fun over there, throwing some cool reverse and few tails here and there. Yeah, I mean, I have an amazing board. The Channel Island's too happy. And um, I definitely was pretty nervous, to be honest. I'm not normally nervous from a heat, but I was nervous for this one for some reason. Um, my first couple of turns felt kind of weird because I think it was from the nerves. But then um, I got it going and yeah, I can't wait. For, I'm very excited for my next heat and hopefully the waves are just as good. And yeah, can't wait to surf to my full potential. Yeah, we can't wait to see that for sure. Um, so you're just going to relax for the next heat, prepare and just reset? Uh, yeah, I'll probably just chill on the beach and hang out with all my friends down here. Thanks for all my friends coming down and supporting. And big shout out to the Bashba community, my other family. So yeah, I'm very happy to be here I'm competing in front of the home crowd, especially in the biggest event in North America, WQS. And um, yeah, super excited for this, this next week. Yeah, well, we're super happy to see you shredding some good good waves over there. So keep it going. You know, hope to see you again by the glass. Good yeah. luck, man. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, back to live action as we see Jake Davis on the outside. Another seasoned veteran. He's been coming here since he was a junior. Back then, we used to pair the junior event up with our November Pro, and Jake actually lost in the juniors, but then won the November Pro. So last of white, 4.90. Previous of green was 267. That was the previous of green. So waiting for a score for green as we watch this replay. Keanu. Surfing so much of his older brother's influence and his surfing, you can see it. I'm sure that he's being coached by him. It's come a long way. So last of green, 3-2-0. And then John Mel in red. Watch this replay. Series of major maneuvers. 6.1 for red. And then this one for surfer in blue, Jake Davis, is kind of setting up that inside section. Uh, unfortunately, nobody followed him, so we can't get to see it. But the judges are looking at his replay and comparing it to red. And here we go. Maybe we'll have a different angle on this blue. So this is Jake Davis. Nice wrapping cutback. Sets up this inside turn. Throws it up. Floats the next section. Working his way to the inside. Not really offering too much more. He's going to wait for that one last finishing maneuver. Throws it up. Vertical. So the judges are up here doing some work. Comparing blue to red. Which one had it better? And by how much? And they have awarded the server in blue with a 4.87. So red getting the best of that exchange. So... With 14 minutes, 30 seconds remaining, Surfer and White currently in first position. Your last, Jake, your last was a 4.87. Last of red, 6.17.
Last of white, 4.9. Last of green, 3.2. So white first, red second, green third, green needing a 2.98. And blue, your fourth, needing a 1.3. 14 minutes remaining. White, you are currently in first position. You have a 5.17 and a 4.9. Right, here we go, servers putting themselves in position. Somebody got detonated on. Blue is gonna pick this one off. Jake Davis comes around the first section, bangs it off the lip, out onto the open face, cutting it back. He's looking to back up that 4.87. Priority, Priority red, green, white. Red, green, white. There we go, green up and riding. Keanu, nice wrapping cut back up in the pocket. All right, so we're gonna watch that. We're watching that replay of blue, making sure they get it all right. Thanks. All right, watch this replay of blue. Big first turn on the outside. Straight into a nice wrapping cutback. Earning him a 5.53 on this, on his effort right here. Last up blue, 5.53. Five, five, so blue goes to first, white drops to second. Red, you are currently in third. We require a 3.90. And green, you are currently in fourth. You require a 6.8. 14 minutes, sorry, 11 minutes, 40 seconds remaining. A little breakdown of the conditions right now. We, um, we would have just passed high tide and we're probably at one of the peak times of the day in terms of quality waves. Um, and we're actually seeing some really good waves being ridden. Blue is asking for a situation. Blue, your last wave was a 5.53. Five, Paired up with a 4.87, you are currently in first. 10 minutes, 50 seconds remaining as we watch blue, sorry, green. What? Yeah. Wow. Okay, we're gonna have an interesting break, uh, breaking that one down. Yeah. Keanu Ergarshi. Let's see if we can queue up the replay on it for us there. Okay, he picks this one up from what quite deep. There's a lovely sweeping rail, turn wrapping it back to the pocket, sees the north ball coming, and just literally lays back, throws it out one foot, hangs on, and somehow recovers. The judges are gonna throw a good score for that. All right, here we go, live action, white. Kian Yang, just one little maneuver, and then he goes out the back. So a little bit too far up in the point. So Surfer in red, holding priority. Currently in third position, sitting on a 6.17, just requiring a 3.9. We wait for the judges to drop this score for Surfer in green. Keanu Igarashi. Gives the little skull and crossbones claim. I think that's a, a a drop wallet, one foot recovery. I think the judges are really going to have. They're going to deliberate on that one. There, there was actually an aspect of control there. 
He got up pretty quickly. All right, last up, Green. Last up, Green, 5.13. So, Green, you are in third. You require a 4.95. Red, you are in fourth, requiring a Here we go, green, up and right in. Flicks the backside turn, another flick on the backside, and a third and goes down. And he needs a mid-range score to move up into advancing position with seven minutes, 52 seconds remaining. Surfer in red holding priority, sitting on a 6-1-7 single wave score. Not wasting anything. Just looking for that right wave. He knows what he's looking for. So last of green, 3.33. So you still require that 4.95. Yeah, we're playing green. He got two snaps on the left and the wave kind of like bent away from him. These lefts are not really the high scoring waves often, but every, every once in a while you can get a functional scoring wave. We saw a few scores yesterday on the lefts that were over the five range. Today is a predominantly right wave. Yeah, um, it's, it's pretty crazy. In all the years, there have been two events at Super Bowl, a right point break, that have been won on the buzzer by a goofy foot, you know, well, yeah, by a goofy footer going left with a big air reverse. Cam Richards and Cole Hausman on the buzzer. Literally, horn went as they stood up. Yeah. So with this swell being predominantly east with a small underlying north swell, the south coast of the island is got waves today and pretty sizable, which is causing it to wrap right around the island because it usually pushes out to sea. And we just get a few little lines that come in and little bumps that come in. So the beach starts to whistle and the surfers start to move. Green is up and riding, but we got waves on the outside. Green with a big air. And red, he's going to pull the trigger, use his priority. And here we go, up and right and red. John Mel throws the first turn up in the lip. He's sitting on a 6-1-7. All he wants to do is back up that score. Working it to the inside. Finishing strong. So John currently sitting in third position on the North American rankings. So you can relax now, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And on the outside, Jake Davis, he's got priority now, and he's going to pull the trigger. With four minutes, 50 seconds remaining, he's eyeing this north section, and he goes up and out the back. So we'll wait for the score for red to drop. And the, the two of these servers are going to separate themselves. So we're only, only really one wave of consequence there written by uh, John Mel. Was Q, Q and, well, first right it was green. Aragashi just did a big straight air, which he threw away. Not the ideal win for Ayers in Super Bowl. And then 
John Mel picking up his surfer in red, picking up his, his, his first backup score. Big outside hit. Wave kind of runs away out to sea on him, but he sticks with it. He has to do a lot of real work just to redirect and stay close to the power source. He's been through a bunch of ribs, but he's still getting every maneuver off he can. And the last hit. All right, last of red, 427. Red, you go to first. Blue, you drop to second. White, you are now third. You need a 5.24. And green, you are fourth. You need a 5.28. Three minutes, 44 seconds remaining. All right, with two minutes, 40 seconds remaining, Surfer in white, holding priority. He's gonna let this one go. Blue's gonna paddle for it. This could be a mistake because this looks like it's a nice looking wave. Jet, big vertical off the lip, out onto the open face. He's gonna get more to work with. This is Jake Davis. He saw that wave coming from far and he said, I want it, and they let him have it. There you go, that nails it shut. He is currently in second position on the outside. Green up and right in. Igarashi, big drop wallet, working it out onto the open face. Bit of a foamy wave. And on the outside, white is up and riding. Nice big wrapping up in the lip. Kian Yang hits the north section, but he's maybe get around it. Yes, it looks like he's gonna get around it and get another turn. Here we go, finish and move. Big vertical off the lip. That's three. Solid wave, so the judges got the work to do with one minute, 40 seconds remaining. The only one did not catch a wave, and that exchange was the surfer in red, John Mel. Well, queuing up the replays here now, Bloom has an excellent wave, has a bit of lovely first hit, drifts the fins, recovers well. That's all the outside work, he was just had to redirect. Got another little snap in, and he has to connect the inside, he has to find the lower road. He has a lovely finish, so that will be a decent score for him. Two major maneuvers and some filling work in between. Then we had surfing green, Iragashi. Big drop wallet, throwing buckets of water. This was a frothy wave, but he made it work. And another kind of layback hammer at the end. So that will be a decent score as well. And then the, I would think the biggest score of consequence in this exchange is Kian Yang here. Big outside hook. Big north hit. He was a little bit behind. We were wondering if we'd get around it. He stuck with it. This wave reformed beautifully. He got one big last end hit. He's throwing tons of water with these maneuvers. So this was it. Okay, last of blue, 6.5. And red up and riding. So we're waiting for scores to drop for white and also green. So this wave could be a wave of consequence. For John, out onto the open face, big finishing maneuver, actually swips the board around past six o'clock. Counting it in, five seconds in three, two, one. So watching the replay of John Mel here, he really took off deep, he had to get around that first section, do some setup work, he re to the pocket. So basically two outside cutbacks, but then it started to connect for him, he got a big snap. And then he sends the board there, I would say close to 11 o'clock, big hit. So Here. surfers in the next seat, please stand by, we're on a short hold. We're just waiting for some scores to drop. We have a, a score to drop for white and also for red. And this could be consequential right here.
Servers in the next seat, please stand by. All right, all the scores are in. So last of blue, 6.5. Last of red, 4.5. Last of white, 6 to 3. So white goes to second. Red drops to third. So official results, surfer in blue first and white second. So Jake Davis and Keen Yang will be advancing on to the round of 32. Servers in the next heat, please stand by. We're gonna send this one for a short commercial break. We'll be right back, stay tuned. Back to live action, you see heat number five, round of 64 in the red jersey, Ryan Huckabee in the blue jersey, Blair Barton in the white jersey, Lucas Cassidy and in the green jersey, Dylan Horde. So we just witnessed a flip-flop of the heat on the last exchange in that last heat. Very unfortunate for one surfer and very fortunate for another. So John Mel bowing out in the round of 64. He does have a victory this year at Jack's Pro. I think that last exchange was so critical in the final points. Uh, Kian Yang came from probably think third place and snipped second. He had an excellent dying, um, that last ditch effort. He, he really had the way to cooperate. John, unfortunately, didn't have the open face maneuvers, he had to go around that first section. Yeah, it was unfortunate. I mean, he's sitting in third position, so I don't think that anybody's going to be able to catch him. So he should, he should be okay. And that's all that really matters. And it's unfortunate he had to bow out. He's a great surfer. I wish him all the best of luck. And we put nine, nine, nine servers on the world tour from North America that came through this event. And hopefully we'll put a couple more. I think this is the biggest field we've ever had in North, from North America in a very long time. As we watch Blue, Blair Barton up and riding from Virginia Beach. Wow. Big turn off the top and gets gobbled up by that North Peak. Big shout out to Courtney and James. I know you're watching. Welcome to the broadcast. Here we go. We'll break down this replay. Yeah, breaking this down. He picked the frothy one. He got a lovely upside down under the little hook there. A little setup work again in the bite water. But right about here, there are quite a few ribs in this wave, and he snaps it hard, but he just got tangled up there in the bite water, just gobbling him up because it was actually chasing down the reef. Here we go. Live action. Red up and right in Ryan Huckabee. A big, powerful surfer. All right, we are going to send it down to the glass as the judges drop in these last remaining scores for an interview with the Heat winner, Jake Davis. Take it away, Amaya. Here we are with the winner of Heat number four of this round three of the Bar BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International. Jake Davis, how are you? Good, very good. Just uh, had a very stressful heat, and I'm very happy to get, get it at the end. Yeah. A lot of a lot a lot happened towards the end of the heat. You um, changed the whole situation at two minutes. That must have been a little nerve wracking there. Yeah, I usually like to start my heats a little bit further inside, let everyone get push each other deeper, and we were just too far inside, like actually inside. We were getting caught inside by the first sets that came in right when the heat started, and 
it kind of messed everyone up, honestly. And then I had to play catch up after that. And I kind of got all my scores underneath. I didn't even have first priority on any of my good scores. So felt really good to kind of get through that difficult heat and uh, get those first heat jitters out of the way. For sure, yeah, that underlying low north swell got you all caught up. <laughs> yeah, there's like two swells in the water for sure. Like they're kind of deeper waves and then the, is it north swell, the ones that are kind of coming in from the channel? I mean, I don't really know, but <laughs> but yeah, those waves are coming in at the channel and they're surprising and should have been more prepared for those waves, but we got the next heat to fix those little mistakes. Well, I mean, you made it through, so preparing for the next one. Good luck. You want to say a little something for friends and family back at home, maybe? Just say hi to my friends and family. Um, so excited to be here. Thanks for watching. All right. Thank you so much. Good luck for the next round. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Back to live action. So we only had a couple of raves ridden while we were on that interview break. Ryan Huckabee in red jersey dropping a 2.0. And Blair Barton dropping a 317, and then just an up and out of a 0.5. So early going, server in blue in first position, followed by red, and server in green and white yet to open their account. But this boy, server in white, Lucas Cassidy from Mexico, he has been turning heads this whole week. We're going to see what he has to offer us. In this heat number five of round 64, you are tuned into the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro QS5000. This is the 12th consecutive year we've had this event. I'd like to thank our sponsors, the BTMI and Diamonds International, TDC Slam 103.1, Inferentos, Zaccio's Restaurant, BHTA, General Distributors, Lloyd T, Sunbum, Chickmont Foods, Eco Skywater, Mount Gay Rum, Remy Martin, and St. Luke's Clothing. Just want to send a quick reminder food and beverage tent is open under the main tent. We also have a TV set up and live commentary so you can watch all the replays. You get burgers and fish cutters and chicken and Asian coleslaw with meat of your choice. Also have a fully stocked bar. You can try out the Mount Gay Wipeout Rum Punch. You can also get Mount Gay Extra Old, in my opinion, is the best rum in the world. Mount Gay is the oldest distillery, rum distillery in the world from right here in this beautiful island of Barbados. Also got gin and black label and vodka. We have everything for every, every ailment. And here we go as we're watching Red up and right and Ryan Huckabee. I know Phil is tuned in. Welcome to the broadcast, Phil. We missed you this year as Ryan working his way down to the inside. A little bit of slow going. Currently sitting on a two, just trying to stay busy. And surfer in green, Dylan Horde. And in white, Lucas Cassidy yet to get off the mark as we watch this replay of red. A nice little down carve up in the pocket. Trying to see if this one will line up for him on the inside. It doesn't really cooperate, so he just goes out the back. Ryan's been coming here since he was about 10 years old as well. So he knows this wave well. He's currently sitting in sixth position with his opportunity to get onto the world, uh, onto the Challenger Series, potentially getting himself on the World Tour. One surfer within the top 10 that is not here is Kaloe Andino. He did get the wild card. All other top 10 athletes are here. Josh, Josh Burke sitting in 11th, Tyler Gunter 12th, Luke Weiler 13, Wheeler Hasberg in 14, Dimitri Polis, Cole Hauschman, he's currently in 16th position, but he is on the CT, so he's not gonna be here. Lucas Messinas, he's here. Sam Reedy, 18, Kei Kobayashi, 19. We have the top 24 surfers in the world here and it keeps going all the way down the list with just a couple who aren't involved as we watch white up and riding lucas cassidy like i said this boy's been impressing people all week checks the first turn working it out onto the open face throwing it up 
waiting for this wave to reform. Sees the inside section, throws it up, finishing maneuver. Last of red, 383. So last of red, Ryan Huckabee from Flagler Beach. 383 as we watch this replay of white. Lucas Cassidy. This boy really hasn't been surfing that long from what I'm told. And he's really making a name for himself. So first of white, 407. 407 for white. So, 15 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Situation, red first. Red, you have a 3.83 and a 2.0. White, you are second with a single wave of a 407. Blue, you are third with a 317 and 8.5. You need 8.91. And green, you are yet to open your account. You require a 4.08. Green with priority, followed by blue, red, and white when he gets back out on the outside. So you can also get a wider assortment of soft drinks, Eco Sky Water, and fresh coconut water. So Eco Sky Water is made from the air. It just a machine that creates osmosis and it byproduct is water, literally from the air. That's why it's called sky water. As we watch blue up and right and Blair Barton throwing it up vertical and swinging the board all the way back around past six o'clock and red on the outside. Ryan Huckabee Working his way down the line, first maneuver, big top turn, up in the lip, straight into another top turn, straight into another top turn, pushing out the fins, working it to the inside, looking to finish strong. Ryan Huckabee from Flagler Beach. I can see Phil banging his knee right now. Here we go, and on the outside, green, Dylan Horde, he's gonna open his account. Big backside hit, up in the lip, floats the section, working it around, he's got a lot of wave on the inside. Waited a long time for this wave, making no means about it. Here we go, Dylan Horde working it all the way to the inside and finishing strong. Well, 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 we have a heat on our hands. As we watch the replay of Blue Blair, he's only this one maneuver, but look how he brings the board all the way past six o'clock on the way down. And then Red, Ryan Huckabee races this section. It's a smaller way, but really gets busy. Big turn there, goes straight into another turn, and straight into another turn. Working it all the way to the inside. He's gonna try and finish it off strong, pushes out the fins, throwing buckets of water. Little head flick will give him that added extra half a point. And this is the wave of the heat right here. Dylan Horde, first turn. Second turn flirts the section, but goes right into a bottom turn straight up in the critical spot of the wave, working it all the way to the inside. He's not done yet, eyes the last section, throws it up, and he goes out the back. So with 12 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Yeah. Okay, last of blue, 5.0. Last of blue, 5.0. Red, We've got one more score to drop for red, and he's gonna get close to the excellent range. See two eights and two seven fives on the board already. Last of red, seven six seven. So now we're waiting on the last of blue, oh, sorry, the last of green. Last of green, 6.5, so all the scores are in. Red, you're in first. You have a seven six seven and a three eight three. Blue, you're second, you have a five and a 317. Green, you are third, you have a six five, you need a 1.6. And white, you are fourth, you have a 407, you require a 4.1. 11 minutes, 15 seconds remaining. So, so breaking down that last exchange there, Lou, 
I think we're seeing some excellent surfing now, and we think the scores will probably be reflective of that. Um, definitely excellent surfing there from Huckleby from the from United States, Flagler Beach. All right, back to live action. We're going to watch Green, Dylan Horde, just dropping a 6.5, and he goes searching for urchins as he's go down. And White on the outside. Lucas Cassidy comes around this first section. Nice little down carve, and he goes out the back. Yeah, I, th I think what we're seeing here um, is definitely the waves are actually switched on for this heat, and plenty of scoring opportunity, multiple maneuvers, combination maneuvers have been going on. So we're playing last of green, just up and down, so that won't factor in at all. And the guy who went searching for the urchins goes one snap, and he's out of there. But right now the sun is out, wind is light, and the swell is here. We're actually perfect, probably coming up to around, around, it's just after high tide, so there's a little bit of water on the reef, but it's actually giving the wave probably an extra little one foot push. All right, I want to welcome to the broadcast, Jimmy Hogan. Jimmy, how do you think today's proceedings are going so far? Yeah, thanks Lou. Uh, the waves are really good today. It's a lot smoother and about a foot bigger, more consistent. And uh, we're seeing some great action by the guys today. Uh, here we go, Green up and right and Dylan Horde working it out onto the open face, floats the section, looking for that inside. He's just really trying to back up that 6.5, staying busy. I want to say a big shout out to my good buddy, Christopher Sullivan, watching all the way from New Samaria Beach, Florida. He sent a message to me. <laughs> <laughs> Just now, on um, Messenger, hold on. He says, searching for urchins, love it. You're an epic on the MC, brother, love listening. Thanks, Christopher, can't wait to see you again. Welcome to the broadcast. All right, are we playing Last of Green? Got a, got a hit in on the carve and that way when I went out to see. Remember today, the difference in conditions right now is that from yesterday, it was a probably about a foot or so smaller, and it was a only really an east wind swell. Today, we're actually getting an underlying north swell, and it's about a foot or a foot bigger. So we're actually seeing the quality of the wave now running on the reef. Priority change, blue, red, white. Priority change, blue, red, white. All right, situation in the water. Red is first position. You have a 767 seven and a 383. Three. Green, you are in second position. You have a 6.5 and a 1.9. Blue, you are in third position. You have a 5.0 and a 3.1. You require a 3.4. White, you are fourth. You have a 407 and a 2.3. You require a 4.3. Seven minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Yeah, it seems that the trend um, in the scoring with the judges is they definitely like to see you on a nice set wave. Big, deep, swooping bottom curves, big hits, throwing lots of water or drifting the fins, connecting, getting a, a hit on the north, north section and connecting the inside. You're starting to, to throw some decent scores here. All right, Red with a higher priority. He's going to use his priority. He's got to get some legs to get around this section, and he can't. Hang on, and he goes down. So he's looking to try and back up that 767. He's only sitting on a 3.83. He is pretty comfortable in the lead, but we both know what these three other surfers can do. How could he be sitting on an excellently high score of the heat so far, and so he'd be the driver's seat. Here we go, and White, he's also got to hustle around this section. He gets to it, throws it up in the first lip, working his way out onto the open face. Uh, he goes searching for urchins. That was so you can see on the score what he needs to move himself up into advancing position. And then Blue up and right in Blair. Nice top turn. Out onto the open face, going up in the lip one more time. And you try and stick with it. And he can't hang on. So he's sitting on a five and a three. So let's see where he, the judges go with that. We'll watch the replays and break them down. Yeah.
Yeah, here we go with the replay with White. Looking for a big, strong maneuver, which he is able to get on the outside. Unfortunately, the, this wave just started to fade out on him, and he dug a rail. And Blue, up and riding, goes up right into the power pocket, does a nice combo of two turns, and then the wave dies out. With the higher tide like this, we've been seeing a little bit of uh, waves dying out. Right, here we go. Uh, no, Green sniffed at it. Yeah, the judges are looking for big quality turns and flow from one maneuver into the next. And that's, that's what we're looking for, big power turns outside. Yeah, for sure. Um, Wave is actually offering two, two quality outside maneuvers. Um, and if you can make that north section and wait for the inside to connect, you can actually put another two more maneuvers on, on the wave. So that would take a score from good or average to excellent. And we're seeing some excellent surfing today. And hopefully that, that trend will continue as the tide will start to drop out. We're probably going to see some cleaner, more defined lines. It won't really get bigger, but it will grind on the reef and get more perfect. Yeah, when I woke up this morning, I saw a couple of really big sets at low tide. So I was like kind of surprised. The funny thing is that in the last month or so, low tide has been bigger. All right, Green, your last wave coming in at 193. You're currently in third. You require a 2.9. And White, your last wave coming in at a 357. You are in fourth. You need a 5.3. Right, going back to it, what happens um, on the lower tide, there's a little less water on the reef, so it's allowing the wave to break a little earlier and grind along the reef a little bit better. On the higher tide, it seems to clean the wave up, but it's a little fatter of a wave. So the lower tide is actually the ideal condition sometimes for Super Bowl. Yeah, I would say it was pretty, I, I've been liking the low tide look. It looks like it offers more. Up and right in white, Lucas Cassidy currently in fourth position. Looking down the line, seeing something, throws the big reverse. Don't know why he would have done that, but. Blue, you are in second position. You are sitting on a five and a 4.4. Green is in third position. He requires a 2.9. Yeah, Lou, I think he did that because he knew he didn't get a major turn on the outside, so he was just trying to make up for something on the inside here. Yeah. Breaking down the replay here of White, he gets two lovely outside maneuvers, and he goes for a real huge air lo loft, and he wanted to land it clean, but the wind is to his disadvantage. It does not hold the board to his feet, but it blows the board away from him. So Green with priority. Dylan Horde, he's going to pull the trigger. Is he going to get in? Yes, he is. Here we go. Dylan Horde. Oh, boy, that was a mistake. He only needs a 2.9 yeah, to okay. move up into advanced position, sitting on a 6.5 and a 1.9. Two minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Sometimes the nerves gets the better of you. And here we go, Red. Well, with priority. Just green on his way. Red is up and riding. It's going to look like it's almost running away from him. He stalls the board out onto the open face. He's the current heat leader. And Green, he's going to turn on this inside section. Trying to capitalize on that little north peak. Going vertical, up in the lip, working it out onto the open face. Throwing it up again. He's going to try and finish strong. He likes it. That's Surfer in green. Dylan Horde sitting on a 6.5, looking to back up that score. So we'll wait for the score for red to come in and also green. Now priority shifts to the Surfer in blue on the outside. Looking at this one, here we go, Blair Barton. As we watch this replay, blue up and right in, big turn off the out the on the outside. So Blair Barton, this is live action. We'll get back to that replay, but he had two big turns on the outside with just one minute, 18 seconds remaining. So let's cue up that replay for for Blue. That is a really important wave. Uh, we had had a flurry of action there. Yeah, with one minute remaining. 
Are we starting? Starting with uh, Green, which is Dylan. He, he picked a bit of a softer wave, which he got from deep, but this was an insider, and he was able to do a lot of mid mid face work through it. That's not really going to be the highest score of the heat. And then Blue, this would be the more the score of consequence. He gets a lovely top turn and a big outside hit, throwing buckets of water. North North Valley, North Peak there he was able to bang that, redirect to the inside. So live action white as we follow blue. So this wave for blue would definitely wave of consequence. And we're back to live action. So this is white. So green, your wave coming in with 10 seconds remaining. So servers in the next heat, we're gonna definitely be on hold as 10 seconds. So just get into position and hold your positions. We're counting it down in three, two, one. Yeah, the replay of white. So green was no ride. So right now, as it stands, green needed a three, a 2.9. He drops a 3.3 and goes to second, but blue still has a wave to come, and so does white. So stand by for blue score and white score. So currently, green has leapfrog over blue. We're waiting on scores watching the replays okay so white comes in at just a 2.9 so he's not going to be enough but here we go surfer in blue needing a 4.94 drops a 5.7 goes to second so turns the heat almost on the buzzer so Official results, red first, blue second. So you will be moving forward into the round of 32. Servers in the next heat, please stand by. We are going to take a short commercial break. We'll be right back with heat number six in the round of 64. Stay tuned. back to the broadcast and we introduce the surfers in this next heat Taj Limblad in red jersey he is currently ranked number seven also in this heat in blue Felipe Chagas in white Lucas Skinner and in green Alberto Munoz as we see green up and riding Alberto Munoz younger brother of Carlos Munoz working his way all the way down to the inside Lovely style. Surfer from Costa Rica just pearls the nose on that last wave and goes down. So that was the opening wave of this heat. No other waves have been ridden yet. So highest ranked surfer in this heat is the surfer in red, Taj Limblad, sitting in seventh position. White just goes up and out, Lucas Skinner. We're waiting for that first of green. Coming in at a 3.5 for green. Yeah, we'll break this down. There he goes off the bottom, back to the power pocket. Still looking for that major maneuver in the beginning here has to cut back, weaving his board all the way through. Coming up, back to the power pocket, waiting for something to stand up. Not much happening on this wave. Finishes with a little tap and digs the front end. All right, back to live action. Just had pretty solid set, roll his way through. Nobody was able to get into position. Servers actually had to duck dive the set, and it just rolled off the reef all the way to the inside. Unfortunately, there was only one wave and that's set. So there is no other rides. 
So early going, Alberto Munoz is currently in first position. Just a 3.5 on the board. Followed by Lucas Skinner, just a quick up and out. White up and right and Lucas Skinner surfing it all the way to the inside. So that'll get him on the board. There's White doing nice roundhouse there. The wave didn't give him much at the end here. Skinner with a 4.4. All right, here we go. Blue up and right in. Felipe Chagas from Brazil. Goes up in the lip, kind of gets a little hung up. He's going to look to stick with it, just keeping his board moving, and he goes out the back. Yeah, he, I've seen him a lot in California lately, surfing in the U.S. tour there, and he's been surfing really well. Break his down. Here he goes, looks for a wave with a wall, comes up right into the pocket, nice vertical. Wave kind of lets down a little bit. He's staying with it to see if he could have something jack up in front of him, but fades out. All right, last of white, 3.9. So, white, you go to first. Last of blue, 267. So white goes to first with a 3.9 and a 0.5. Green drops to second with a single wave of a 3.5. Blue with a single wave of a 2.67. And surfer in red holding priority. Yet to open his account. He's going to be patient. He knows what he's looking for. Seasoned veteran. Taking a win earlier this year. Got the slow cow open at Pismo Beach. He's currently sitting in seventh position. So this is a pretty important heat for him because... He's going to want to go as far as he can into this draw. We have every surfer here within the top 23. So everybody has a chance to leapfrog other people. The only surfer not here in the top 10 is Chloe Andino, who has already received the wild card onto the Challenger Series, being a seasoned veteran in the championship tour. I believe that he fell off the tour with an injury. Yeah, but he's also taken a first, second, and third yeah. in North America. Yeah, yeah. He has a, a first. He has a first at the ECSC. He has a second at Outer Banks. He has a third at the O'Neill. And White up and riding. Lucas Skinner, he is current heat leader. Working it down to the inside. Cutting it back. Nice wrapping cutback. Bangs it up in the lip. So that we'll see where that goes. It was a smaller wave, but got a lot of work done. So yeah. while we're waiting for that score to come in, we're gonna throw it down to the glass with Ryan Huckabee, the winner of the last heat. Take it away, Amaya. Oh, here we are with the winner of Heat Five. This round three of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International. Ryan Huckabee from Florida. How are you? I'm doing great. Happy to be back in Barbados. Glad to have you back. Looking strong and fast over there. How did you like the waves? It was great. Um, I didn't end up on the best waves in that heat. I had that one fun little insider and then just couldn't back it up. So surfing felt fine. Hopefully end up on some better waves in the next heat. Yeah, how was that to kind of have the, the door slightly ajar for the others? Yeah, I like had that 7-6 kind of early in the heat and then I got stuck behind two waves with like a higher priority and just kind of left the door open, which is a little sketchy, but made it through. Glad you made it through. You, um, how are you going to prepare for the next one? Just going to relax and watch some more waves? Yeah, just relax. Probably watch a couple buddies surf their heats today and go for another surf tonight. All right. Sounds good. Well, good luck for the next one. You want to sell us something for friends and family back at home? Yeah, of course. Just want to say hi to my mom and dad, grandparents, and everyone else watching. Love you guys. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Good luck for the next one. Thank you. <laughs> All right, 
Back to live action as we saw the surfer in red, Taj Limblad, with a pretty sizable wave. If we could queue up that red's last wave, show the folks at home. Here we go, Lou. Well, this, this is white. white. White wrapping it back into the pocket here, looking for some wave to stand up so he could do some flares. Nice figure eight, and there it is, big pop right there, and the wave just lets him down after that, but great surfing from White. And the red goes up into the power pocket, does a big turn. As it steepens up, he gets the big power pocket with a big turn. And he gets a 8.5 for that wave, and green... All right, so last of red, 8.5. There we go, red up and riding. Nice drop the wallet, force out, slide, whatever you want to call it. And then he just goes up and out. So he just dropped the highest single wave of the event, 8.5. Yeah, and, and what he did is he got a bigger wave, used the outside maneuver coming into the most critical part on a big double up and slammed it. And here we go with Alberto's other wave. Hits it. There wasn't much at the, the lip there in front of him. Zigzags waiting for this wave to stand up. Comes up, gives it a nice big pop. And the wave kind of lets him down here. But... Hey, you got some work done on the outside. Judges are looking at Ascor and looking at White. So we're waiting for Green and red. Last of white. Four, six, seven as red, white is up and riding way up inside. It's pretty incredible that he got past that section, but he just used that first maneuver as a transition to get around the section. Yeah, they're looking for those big, big turns on the outside with that power pocket. 15 minutes and 10 seconds, 15 minutes and 10 seconds. Replay of White Lou. Here we go, driving off the bottom, big smash. Comes around the corner and it's just a big foam ball. And looking for something to head, finishing us off. Nice little wave for White there. Yeah, it was a well served wave. So last of green, 477. So it's still waiting for a wave to drop for red and also white. So with 14 minutes, 40 seconds remaining, as we look on the outside, blue, he's gonna pull the trigger on this one, goes up vertical in the lip, floats the next section, gonna try and get around this, he does, throws it up a third time, but comes unglued on that north section. Yeah, he was so, on, to his, on, on the way to a good score there. Yeah, though. for sure, he's, it's still gonna be a, a, a decent score. He did do two maneuvers on the outside, so they're gonna get scored on those but the judges are really looking at these other scores, comparing them. So this is the replay, Jim. Yeah, he drives off the bottom, critical turn right there, does a big foam climb, and then attacks it here, and unfortunately pokes the nose in. Yeah, just unfortunate, because that way it did line up, so we see the scores dropping on the screen. Look like it's just gonna come in at a low four. So the last, Last of red, 5.47. So red goes to first, white drops to second. We're still waiting for scores to drop for white and also blue. The 13 minutes, 25 seconds remaining. So the judges are giving this replay a hard look, comparing some scores as we look out in the lineup, surfers are putting themselves into position. Waves seem to be slowing down uh, just a little bit, but the ones that are coming are offering plenty of scoring potential with 13 minutes remaining. So last of white, 497, and now they're working on blue, and I'll run down the whole situation. Yeah, on the criteria, Lou, they're looking for major powerful combinations in the most critical sections. Quality of maneuvers and progressive powerful combinations. 
And they will judge them accordingly yeah. to that. Yeah, so there you go. The last up blue, you see a five, six, seven. And that was just for those two maneuvers, Jim. If yep. he would have been able to link that third turn and get down to the inside, he's looking at waves, you know, scores up six fives and sevens, I'm sure. Yeah, that so, was, you know, that was a major co combination of turns there, but. For sure, so situation in the water. Red, you are first. You have an 8.5 and a 5.4. White, you're second. You have a 4.9 and a 4.6. White, blue, you are third. You have a 5.67 and a 2.6. You require a 3.97. And green, you are fourth. You have a 4.7 and a 3.5. You require a 4.8. Red, up and riding. Here we go. Your heat leader, Taj Limblad, throwing it up in the lip, coming around the section. Big turn off the top. Another nice wrapping cut back. His sister last year took out this event, and she did qualify for the World Tour of Sawyer. I know she's watching. Welcome to the broadcast. Yeah, Taj is slicker than a mayonnaise sandwich right now. Green up and riding. Here we go, green up and riding. Nice big top turn, but goes down and blue with a massive air full rotation, air reverse on the left. Wow, well, well, let's queue up that. That's that was incredible. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. So hopefully we have that replay. Did you see it, Jim? Or? I'm looking forward to seeing it. I missed it. The missed pole, it. the pole was in the way, so I I'll get the replay. <laughs> I, I saw Alberto. I followed Alberto because that's where the camera went, and he fell. And then I looked over there. So if we can queue up that replay of blue, if they have it. So we're waiting for a score for red to drop. And then they're gonna, all right, last of red, seven, eight, three. So here we go, here we blue. Go. This is the replay. Full rotation. Full rotation. That's gonna be a, in the flats. A, a good score, Lou. Yeah. That's uh, one of those major moves that they're looking for in the power pocket. And there's only one move, but he, uh, did as yeah. much as he could possibly do there. Well, I mean, there were three errors on the left so far in the event, and that was definitely by far the highest. 9.23 for blue, 9.23 on that full rotation, air reverse, landing in the flats, checking his board, making sure it's not buckled. He goes to second. White, you drop to third. White, you now need a 9.93. Here we go, looking at it again on your screen. Wow. Oh, how beautiful was that? That was amazing. That was amazing. So, White, you dropped the third. You now need a 9.93. Green, you go to fourth. You need a combination of 14.90 with nine minutes remaining. Like I, like I said, Lou, I've had the, the chance to watch him in California compete in some of the U.S. events trying to warm up for these events, and that's exactly what he's doing he uh capital yeah, yeah. capitalized on that one yeah for sure you know like i was saying you know all the kids that qualified last year for the challenger series from the north america region came through this event they all credit you know this event and this contest for giving them the opportunity to you know surf in world-class waves which just translated into you know getting on the challenger getting into better waves you know bigger waves more powerful waves you know, no disrespect to North America, but you know, it can't, it can't. Priority change. Priority change, white, blue, red, green. Priority white, blue, red, green. As I was saying, you know, you know, no disrespect to North America and Virginia and Cocoa Beach and California, but the waves just can't compare to this. You know, even yesterday was, uh, uh, you know, it was great. The, the servers were like stoked out of their mind and it was just an average day for here. And green way up inside, Alberto going for the nose pick. Club sandwich, can't hang on and goes down. 
you know, but when they get to come here and, you know, like all of these kids, you know, Cole houseman has been coming here since he was like 10 years old, you know, since the first event we've done. And White, Lucas Skinner floats the first section, comes out onto the open face, working it. This boy just generates so much speed and has such technique. Oh, I tell you, this heat is a firecracker of a heat. Right. These guys are all good. They all are. All the heats from here on out are just barn burners. I here we go on Al Alberto going for the club sandwich and just digs it right as he is coming out. White, Lucas, look at how the speed where he is able to get off this board. Unfortunately, just this wave just died out on him, but man, he's that board's working good for him. Nice layback stretched out, trying to make something out of nothing. Did a Great job. Here we go with Blue going. Here we go, Blue up and riding. Going vertical on his backhand. Flicking it up in the lip. He's looking to back up that 9.23. Big vertical backside off the lip. And finishes strong, hanging on. A small kid, but he's very powerful. He's not that so, small when I stand next to him. <laughs> Here we go, Jim. Look at this replay. Yeah. He picks a nice lined up wave, throws it right through the lip, comes up again, pokes it up there again, really getting some drive and then finishing it off with a really nice smooth turn and then getting one more to finish. Really strong server. Yeah, he's looking to back up that 9-2-3. Right now he's sitting on a mid-range score trying to better that. So we're waiting on the judges. They're watching this replay. He did have some really nice flare, some nice flow on that wave. A couple of really nice backside, you know, backhand off the tops. Um, as we see some scores trickling in, White, he's going left. I think he was looking for that air and decided not. This is a cracker of a heat though. We're seeing some different types of surfing, vertical surfing. We're seeing some power surfing. Guys are really performing right now. This is one of the most enjoyable heats to watch. All right, last up, Blue, 5.93. So Blue, 5.93. That ups the requirement for the surfer in white, requiring a combination of 15.16, and also green, requiring a combination of 5.16. Four minutes, 45 seconds remaining. So the two standouts for the event so far are the surfer in red and the surfer in blue in this heat, Taj Limblad and Felipe Chagas. Yeah. These two surfers definitely finding their rhythm. Well, like they said, with the major powerful combinations, with the most critical sections, they're, they're rewarding them and you can see the scores coming across the board. So uh, if I was in the next heat or the next couple heats, I'd be paying attention to uh, how these guys are getting the scores. Yeah, definitely. It's that outside maneuver, that major maneuver on the outside. That's where the score comes from. That's where the first part of the criteria is. Yeah, but they're looking for the combination. I mean, the major turn with the combination, with the flow in between turns. What do you think there, Simon? Honestly, it's a pleasure to watch. Um, I think it's surfer in red. Limblad is really a strong surfer, real, nice, real turns and full real arcs. He's throwing a lot of water. Then you have the, is the surfer in blue, which is a Brazilian surfer with a, with a very vertical attack. Oh, here we go. Green up and right in live action. Way, way up the point. That's what we call middles, and it probably breaks... I mean, I've only surfed it. I've only ever surfed it once. Yeah, his wave choice, he just needs a better wave choice there. Uh, that was never going to give him a score, so. Yeah, it's, and this morning, guys were actually catching waves from up there and making them all the way across the point of the reef and getting into Super Bowl. It, on, on the higher tide there, no, it's going to be hard to actually make that connection. All right, White, you're currently in third position. You need a combination of 15.16 to wave heat total. So you and combo, 15.16 is your requirement 
Two minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Here we go, live action, Green, Alberto, he's got a nice looking wave ahead of him. He's gonna get past this section. He's gonna float it, big turn, flies out the tail, showing some flair. Working his way all the way to the inside, and he made that connection all the way to the inside. So servers in the next heat, please hold your positions as Alberto still working this wave, finishing off strong. With two minutes remaining, he's trying to get out of com combo land. He only needs a 5.16 to get out of combination. With one minute, 56 seconds remaining, that was a, a well-surfed wave. That's a lot of speed, power, and flow. That's the kind of surfing I'm used to seeing him do, driving off the bottom with a long wall, big snap, driving through there and big, crazy, stretched out turn, weaving it back, waiting for something else to set up. All right, Alberto, your last wave coming in at 8.07. 8.07 for you. You now need a 7.1. One minute, 20 seconds remaining. With that score, he uh, has a minute and 15 seconds to get back out and get another wave. So back to live action, blue up and right in Felipe Chagas. Two big vertical turns, hangs on, and red on the outside. We're gonna stick with blue. So red, two big turns that goes down on the second one. We'll get that replay for you as soon as blue is done. He looks like he's just gonna come in 50 seconds left, 50 seconds. So somehow Alberto can get on the outside. He may have a chance. Lose up. All right, white up 30 and right. seconds left. White up and riding. Red up and riding. We're sticking with white. And 15 seconds remaining. The only server that needs a score to advance is the server in green. With 10 seconds remaining, nothing looks like it's going to be coming. So he looks like he's going to bow out with three, two, one. But that was a valiant effort by the Costa Rican surfer. Here we go with blues replayed straight up off the bottom, getting a nice double combination of two verticals. Continuing with this wave and essing it through onto the inside. It's not giving him much more after this. So. All right, just a quick reminder, folks. Everybody, a quick uh, reminder. Red. We recycle all of our bottles here in Barbados. Red, a big snap. So please don't throw them in the garbage. Please give them back to the bar. We recycle all of our bottles in Barbados. Thank you very much. That red coming unglued on his replay. All right, servers in the next heat, please stand by. We are still waiting for some scores to drop. Please stand by, servers in the next heat. All right, servers in the next seat, please stand by. We're gonna, the situation remains the same, red advancing and blue advancing. So we're gonna cut to a short commercial break. We'll be right back with heat number seven in the round of 64. Stay tuned. Wow, that was a heat. Firecrackers, those guys all came with eights. In the in the score line, wow. All right, back to live action coming up in this heat. 
We're going to see Dimitri Paulus, former gold medal winner in the ISA World Games. Luca Messinas, a former world tour surfer. Taj Lim, Tosh Talbot, and Rex Hennings. So this heat just beginning. So Jimmy, that, end, that heat ended with a... We haven't had an excellent score the whole day. We had three from three different surfers in that last heat. And Alberto Munoz bowed out with a 12.842 AV total. That would have got him through any other heat before in the day. Yeah. The Taj Lindblad with a, the only excellent two-wave heat total as we look at Dimitri Polis, surfer in red, up and riding, nice big wrapping cutback. He's got a wave stretch out ahead of him, throws up the fins. Another big wrapping cutback. As he works his way to the inside, green on the outside with a big turn. So as Polis goes out, we're going to cut to green. This is Rex Hennings. We'll get those replays for you so you can see that whole wave of green. Short, early going with 23 minutes, 45 seconds in this heat number seven. Break down this wave. He, he does a little floater off lip, holds the speed all the way back through, carrying the speed up into this new pocket right there and unloads, driving through there, doing a roundhouse cut back, working this wave for as much as it'll give him but the wave really didn't have that section in front of them. And this one right here, green goes up and he sees a big section, does a big, big hit and free fall drop. Uh, and yeah. All right, first of red, 6.67 red, 6.67. First of green, 5.17. So Luca Messinas taking a victory on this event when it was a 3,000. I think that would have been 2017 or 15. All the events seem to start bleed into each other when you've done it for so many years. So early going, Dimitri Polis out in the lead, ever so slightly over Rex Hennings. Surfer in red, holding down a 6.6. .6. And the surfer in green holding out a 5.17. All right, while we're wait, we're going to cut to the glass for a little interview with the former Heat winner of the last Heat, Taj Limblad. Go ahead, Amaya. Here we are with Taj Limblad, who just won Heat 6 of this third round of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. A lot better now. A lot better. Uh, enough action on this heat. You just scored the highest heat total of the day so far. That must feel good under your feet. Yeah, it's always good to start a contest off with that. Uh, yeah, Felipe did that giant air on the left. I didn't see it, but I heard it, and I was like, oh, wow. But, uh, yeah, it was fun. Lots of action. Yeah, that was epic, but you took the, uh, the win on this one, so congratulations. Um, are you pumped for the next round then? Yeah, I'm excited to surf. I just want to surf. It's nice surfing with no one out there. Fair enough, fair enough. And the waves did turn on for you all, so congratulations on that. You want to say a little something for friends and family? Maybe your sister away? Is she watching you? Yeah, she's on the plane right now, but I guess I get surprised her when she lands. But uh, thanks for watching. All right, that's pretty cool. Congratulations, man. Keep it up. Thank you. <laughs> All right, back to live action, as we didn't see any waves ridden in that break and transmission. 
Surfer in red. Dimitri Paulus in fourth priority, and he elects to let that one go. He's looking to back up a 6.6, .6. and I guarantee you, if you put any Barbadian in the water where he was just now, they would have went on that wave, because that wave lined up and went all the way down to the inside. I don't know why, but anyhow, he sees something I did it. So he's looking to back up that six, 6.6. .6. Simon, did you get a chance to watch that last heat? What did you think? That last heat, I was honestly wishing I was in the water. The waves were switched on. Um, it was Limbad. Taj seemed to be a local. He seemed to be on the right waves, and he really knows how to surf the ball, you know, on rail, throwing a lot of water. The Brazilian was very radical as well. And I saw him on some critical, critical waves, so that was a well-contested heat, you know. Guys were performing. And then the young bloke, he was lacking the wave. It was Lu Lucas. Yes. Lucas is an incredible surfer, and I think he just needed a bigger wave. Yeah. So here we go, live action, up and right in Tosh Talbot. He's also been coming here for quite a few years. As he works his way out onto the open face. Surfer from Costa Rica. Slicing and dicing all the way to the inside, trying to maximize that scoring potential. So he gets on the board, so that's gonna have priority to Luca Messinas. Yeah, here we go with Taj, driving down the line, doing a big brown house pocket in white there. Coming up, having to cut back, still waiting for a big section in front of him. Doing nice cutbacks, keeping it smooth, rail to rail surfing, looking for the big move. Finally gets it in there, kicks out. Yes, I mean, we were talking about that boy, Lucas Skinner, and he serves extremely well, but it's absolutely incredible how much speed he gets out of that board, and it, it looks effortless. It almost looks like he has an engine on the back of the board, and he's just, and just gassing it when he needs to gas it and slowing it down when he needs to slow it down. Then that way by Alberto Munoz at the end. Yeah. And yeah. you were saying, hey, I... How would you like to be out there, Simon? I wouldn't want to be out there with those guys. <laughs> well, he, he, he got right back in the heat. It, unfortunately, he just didn't have enough time to get back out and get a score. So last up, White drops in at a 4.0 White. Your first wave, 4.0. So early going, 17 minutes in this heat. Red first, green second, White third. And the surfer in blue yet to open his account. He is holding priority. Yeah, this, this has been a little bit slower heat, but uh, I'm sure we're going to see fireworks with these guys in a minute when the next set comes through. So here we go. Red looking to back up that 6-6-7. Six, six, Dimitri Paulus. Working his way to the inside. Has a nice north peak ahead of him. Flicks out the tail. Tries to spin it around, but just comes unstuck. So he'll get his backup score, but he's going to look to drop that. I'm sure that's going to just come in at a... A minor score. As we look at blue, Luca Messinas up and riding. Here we go. Big first turn. Coming out onto the open face. Another wrapping cutback. Former World Tour surfer. He's also been coming here for since the beginning of this event. Remember him, Simon? Yeah. As a young kid. He, um, he was a uh, he's very mature surfing and all those turns were very powerful. That's one thing about I'm noticing with his surfing his style. He lays it on a rail and throws a lot of water. This is a replay, Dimitri. This is a he's an excellent surfer. He tried a big carving reverse there, and I think just a couple of chops threw him off. We're playing last of blue, huge first snap. Check, cut back, redirected the pocket, another wrap. He's waiting for it to stop on the inside. And boom. That's his world tour experience there. He really, you know, he set that one home. Yep, definitely. And, and, and Lucas won this event when it was a 3,000 back at Brandon's. And he, yeah, that was, yeah, he won that event when it was a 3,000. And he got on the world tour the next year. So he qualified through that event. So th this event has some accolades to it, right? So, you know, some of those kids on the world tour have been coming here, like I've been saying, since they were 12 years old. You know, Griffin, Griffin has been coming here since he was yeah. 10, you know. Um, now Crosby, 
won last year this same event as a 5,000, and he qualified. Well, well, he was smart. He waited 10 minutes so to catch that first wave, patient. Yeah. So he knew once he caught it, he had to make it count. So he rode it from A to Z and gave it everything he had. Didn't overcook it, just did enough to get a score on the board and yep. since so much time had run off, right? And that, that comes in at a 5.73, 5.73 for Surfer in Blue. So you go to second. So red first, blue second. And white up and riding, Tosh Talbot. He's sitting on a 4.0. Oh, nice, drop the wallet, flick out the fins. Showing some flair on that wave, nice rhythm. Yeah, this kid's got a lot of power when you put him in, when you see him in some good waves. And on the outside, green up and riding, Rex Hennings was a semifinalist in El Salvador at the ISA World Games. He goes up and out the back, so we'll wait for these scores to come in. Yeah, here we go with White going on this, trying to get around this section. Coming in, putting some power into that turn into the figure eight. Coming back, doing a full little layback snap there. Hitting the lip, making the most of what he had in front of him, and finishing off. And on the outside, red, Dimitri Polis, nice opening turn, big hacking cutback, out onto the open face. So he's eyeing up this inside section and gets out the back. I mean, he hasn't had the best waves, but man, he is so fast and so smooth on yeah, those so turns. He's tra the transition turns that he's doing are so nice. So last of green, 3.0. Last of white, 3.87. Watching his red and on the outside. Luca Messina's with priority. He's going to look at this one. He lets it go. So he's watching this replay of green. This earned him a 3.0. So he goes to second. Uh, we're playing Dimitri's um, last wave. He really whips in a lovely top. He got two outside turns, and the wave kind of went far out to sea on him. He's trying to wait for it, but this wave kind of let him down. And this, this, you can see this guy is a quality surfer. Just the, the way he utilizes his rail, the amount of water he's throwing. No, all that, all these surfers. All that speed that he was getting out of those turns, and the wave, w did, wave didn't even, wasn't there, you know? Still grabbing the speed. Yep, that effort earned him a 5.43. So, server in red sitting on a 6.6. .6. As we watch blue up and right in Luca Messinas. Big, powerful turn. Working his way to the inside. Going to look to finish this strong. Big slide, tail slide. He's eyeing one more section all the way down to the rip. Kind of gets hung up a little bit. He goes out the back. He's currently sitting on a 5.73. He just needs a very small score to move up into second. So the judge is going to give this one a look. Well, they do, I'll let the other servers know what they have. So, Red, you have a 6.67 six, and a 5.43. And here goes Blue, eyeballing this. Cutting back, lining it up, get the big tail throw there. Coming around the section, looking for another big turn, big tail gaff there. Uh, he fully in control, huh, Jim? Yeah, he, that's just his world tour experience. There. So that last of blue, 717, blue, you go to first. 717 for blue, paired up with a 573 in first as we watch green. Rex Hennings working his way to the inside. Two nice maneuvers on the outside. So red, you drop the second, but we're gonna wait for the score for green. Yeah, if you notice blue, when he, he came down, did that first turn, it was just a nice setup turn for that wall to stand straight up and down. Here goes green on his replay. Coming up, doing a big hit, dropping back down the wave just Fades out on him, he does a couple last turns. And then 
gets another snap. I didn't see that one. No. On the yeah. Yeah, just really trying to finish with some flair. Yeah. You know, he's, he's sitting on a 5.17 and a three. That back to blue on that one wave, he, he just did a little setup turn, Lou. So when he came back down, the wave was a big wall, and he, he just attacked it. And that's really what the judges are looking for. They're looking for that critical major turns. Yep, definitely. So last of green, 4.6. So situation in water, blue first, red second, green, you are third. Your last wave coming in at 4.6, you now require a 6.9. And white, you are fourth, you have a four and a 3.8. You require an 8.1, nine minutes, 10 seconds remaining. Coming up in the next heat, we're gonna see Nolan Raposa, Evan Mall. We got a paddler up. This is white. All right, coming up in the next seat. As soon as this surfer in white, Tosh Talbot goes for the nose pick. Club sandwich. Can he hang on? No, he can't. Cannot ride out. So that will be deemed an incomplete maneuver. So coming up in the next seat, we're going to see Nolan Raposa, Evan Mall, Evan Puma, Juan Carlos Martinez, and Tomas King. Another stacker. Round. Heat number eight, round of 64, coming up next. Eight minutes, 15 seconds remaining. So last of red up and riding. Here we go. He is the heat leader up, oh, and he just proves to everybody that he is human and falls. <laughs> Dimitri Polis. I I've noticed that Dimitri has a lovely style, and he's... He's a beautiful surfer to watch. You're playing last of white, the Costa Rican surfer. He actually's on a, on a pretty good wave, gets a good first hit. Um, this wave actually starts to close out. He starts to run with it real fast and he tries a cloud sandwich like with a nose pick reverse. And he wasn't able to ride out cleanly. He needed a bit more speed. But there was nothing else on that wave on offer, so he tried to throw a dynamic maneuver. Yeah, I just passed the seven minute, 30 second mark. Sir, priority order, blue, green, red. Priority order, blue, green, red. Green, your last score was a 4.6. You are currently in third. You require a 6.9. Seven minutes remaining. All right, server and green, up and riding, staying busy. Six minutes, 40 seconds remaining. He's looking for a score, trying to get himself back into second position. Throws up the fin, fin reverse, flicks it around. So there you go, the first section was a floater, and he just floated the section. Cuts it back. Now he's gonna eye this section up, throw it up, and just flick it all the way around. So live action. Blue with a higher priority. Red gives way. But big snap off the top. Luca Messinas is gonna work his way out back onto the open face, floats the section and goes down. But when they show this replay, just watch how fast he gets his board up and around on this first maneuver. Yeah. The last of blue when they cue that up. Um, he gets a connecting wave from the middle. That's one big first hit. And then another stop, but he gets hung up there just for a second, so that put him behind. He thought he could do an oververt my water claim, and he just put himself out that wave. Yeah, that just broke his rhythm just ever so slightly. Breaks your concentration, and, and all of us that have competed know how that goes to end up Falling, yeah. happens he, to everybody. He, he might have overcooked that. He went a little over 12 o'clock there. He could have just maybe tapped it at 11 and he would have kept going. But I think he realized he was not gonna end up better in the score, so he just went for something big, just messing around, having fun. 
So five minutes remaining, surfers. Five minutes remaining. Last of blue. So yeah, last of blue coming in at three six seven. So that does not factor in. Green, last wave coming in at 433 does not factor in. You still require a 6.9. Four minutes, 15 seconds remaining. Priority white, red, green, and blue. All right, here we go. Green, up and right in. Rex Henning, desperately searching for a score. Out onto the open face, wrapping it back. He needs to be looking for more of an open face wave. He's requiring. Blue, you got, I mean, white, three minutes and 10 seconds left. You need an 8.1 to advance. Red, second priority, needing a 6.24 to move into the lead. One minute, five seconds remaining. Blue, hold up. All right, here we go. Green up and riding. Still searching for that score. Throws a big air reverse, flicks it around. Working his way to the inside. I don't think that's going to do it. But 36 seconds remaining. Last set wave coming in here with 23 seconds. Right, looking blue all the way up inside. Luca Messinas going left, throws the big air reverse, comes unstuck with 15 seconds remaining. With 10 seconds. Right, here we go, counting this one in. In three, 
two, one. So service in the next heat, please stand by. We're on a short hold. So official results, moving on into the round of 32, will be Luca Messinas in blue and Dimitri Paulus in red. Service in the next heat, please stand by. We are gonna just throw this one down to a quick commercial break and we will be right back. Stay tuned. Welcome back to live action. This is heat number eight, round of 64, coming up in this heat in the red jersey, Nolan Raposa. In the blue jersey, Evan Puma from Barbados. In the white jersey, Juan Martinez from Puerto Rico. And in the green jersey, Tomas King from Costa Rica. 24 minutes, 20 seconds, no waves were ridden while we were on that short break. Another firecracker of a heat, Lou. I'm noticing that we had a little slower heat in terms of sets and waves just now. Um, maybe this is now the switch of the tide again. We're now going from high tide back down to a lower tide, so it's not quite as consistent. Yeah, we can see there's a little bit of a lull from two heats ago, but I'm sure it's going to pick back up. We've got 23 minutes and 45 seconds remaining in this heat. Plenty of time. We're hoping the waves actually get better and better as the tide starts to bottom out or at least get cleaner faces and more defined on the reef. Yeah, as I say, plenty of time with 23 minutes. You know how fast it goes when you're sitting out there. I think the servers are lucky to have 25 minutes and they are lucky to have this type of swell size today and with conditions. Well, they're all jockeying for positions here. We'll see who uh, strikes first. Yeah, again, Simon, major powerful combinations in the most critical sections, what they're looking for. Hopefully these guys get some critical sections to hit. We've got some riders just jockeying here for position, and we, we have the rider up, first rider up being green. And this is Thomas King. He's from Costa Rica. That was just quick, two, two outside turns, one wrap, and he was out there. That was not really a big set wave, and it didn't offer a, a great connection, so Thomas decided to get out of that quick, but that will be a score on the board. Yeah, it, it, I'll break it down. It drives off the bottom, gets one big lip, not much there, but still tagged it, got a roundhouse cut back. Wave faded out, got his feet in the wax, ready to go. Every heat seems to be getting better and better. All right, going down to the glass for the next interview. 
Okay, here we are with the winner of Heat 7, Round 3 of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International. Luca Messinas, how are you? All good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. See over there, you're throwing some good powerful turns. I got you a 7 one seven. That must have feel good? Uh, yeah, I feel good. Uh, I feel like I was a little nervous in the beginning. I think uh, my first wave, I couldn't surf it that good. And then second one, I tried to push as hard as I can. Uh, the waves are super fun today. Uh, it's a little bigger than yesterday, so stuck to make it and stuck to have another hit. Definitely a bit more consistent today. So you're coming here with a, a goal in your in your head, maybe after your um, your past win a few years back down in South. Uh, well, yeah, the goal is to qualify to the Challenger Series. Uh, I think I'm number uh, 16th in the rankings, so I think I have to make a lot of hits here to to make it, but. Uh, yeah, that's the goal, to make, to make it to the Challenger Series. I feel like this is a um, special place. I really like Barbados. This is like my fourth or fifth time here, and I really like the waves. Uh, I won one time in the QS3000 in the other side of the island, so that, that one felt special. So, yeah, it's always good to be back here. Well, good to have you back for sure. Nice seeing you uh, shredding some waves over there. You want to say something for friends and family back in Peru? Uh, sí, saludar a toda la gente de Perú que está viendo la, la transmisión. Vamos con todo, ahí vamos a darle duro y saludos. Chao. All right, thank you so much. Good luck for the next round. Thank you. <laughs> All right, back to live action. Congratulations to Lucas Messina on that heat win. 19 minutes and 20 seconds left. No waves have been ridden during the interview. One wave ridden by Thomas King at 3.5. Yeah, so I mean, this is a little bit slower heat than we've had. So this is going to be interesting coming down to the 18, 30 minute, 30 seconds left. Yep. Sometimes, the heat. On, sometimes on the switch to tie, we do have one or two like slower moments until the tape starts to bottom out a bit more. And then it's going to push again in the evening. So these are just one of these transition heats right now. The guys are going to have to be a bit scrappy and savvy because you got to keep active. But I'm starting to see some lanes out the back and... I think we do have a set approaching. One is swinging wide, but there are a few lanes out the back. Here we go. Looks like we've got a paddle by White. White up and riding. Doing a carve back into the white water and not doing so well there on that one. Yeah, there was a little bit of chatter on that way. We think he got hung up. I'm not sure where that rider was. And that is White. Juan Martinez. Yeah, one. I think that's, from, that's Peru. Yeah. We have 16 minutes, 45 seconds left. Still to, yet to catch a wave by red and blue. Last wave by white, a 1.10. And a 3.50 for green. No priority between red and blue. Third priority green, fourth priority white. Guys, we have um, 16 minutes remaining in this heat. So you still have time enough to get two waves easily. Uh, 
I don't know about easy, Simon. <laughs> I know 15 minutes out there. <laughs> I think, I think um, a modest conclusion would be five minutes per wave. Um, so I'm hoping that these guys can get the opportunities to trade off. Because so far, we haven't seen anything really eventuate. A lot of the swell is moving into the rip, and it seems to be a little settled down, a little smaller at the moment. It's a drop in tide, but that will actually improve the quality of the wave face. There's everybody on the beach with a nice seat down there watching the contest. Everybody enjoying Barbados today. Rider up here picking up a very small insider there, which goes flat out to sea on him. And that is Juan Martinez. He'll be looking to get back out there and replace that. Priority now is starting to be set. And that would be priority between blue and red. Third priority will be green. And it will be fourth priority in white. No, blue and red haven't had a wave yet. Green's the third priority, white, you're fourth. Here we go, we got red up and riding. Bottom turns straight up into the lip with a nice off lip carve, carving back. Blue up on the outside with a big nice turn. Red still on the inside trying to connect. Blue on the outside rebounding back, letting this wave set up. These guys really uh, making the most out of their waves. Waited half the heat to catch their first wave. This has been a slow heat. These guys are in great shape. They're going to paddle their hearts out right now to get back out there. Out the back, green. Coming off the bottom, has a nice section for him. He tags it, comes down unstuck. Unfortunately, that was a nice section. Wasn't able to hold on. Replay a red straight up into that lip, coming around the corner, driving it back. Yes, and it, making the most out of it, trying to get this reconnection. Wave fades out, he kicks out and gets back out here while blue out the back. We lose him on the screen. So the replay, I'm not able to, to give him accurate there. Here we're back live.
Okay, here we go. Blues replay. Straight up in the lip. Hits it again. Re reacts bound into the white water. S in his way through, waiting for something to stand up. And he gets a final tag right there, and he kicks out. Last wave of red, a five, six, seven. Up and out, red. Red, the wave before that one was a five, six, seven. Blue, you got a 4.8. Green, you got a 4.73 and a 3.5. White, green up and riding. And out. White, you got a 2.77 and a 1.67. Nine minutes and 35 seconds left. Priority white, second priority blue. Replay of green, here we go. Driving off the bottom and straight out the back. No opportunity. Red has third priority now. In first place, red. Second place, blue. Third place, green. Fourth place, white. Priority order, white, blue, red, green. Eight minutes and 45 seconds. Down to eight minutes, first place red, second place blue, third place green, fourth place white. Blue needs a 1.28 to take over the lead. Green needs a 1.34 to advance, and white needs a 3.17. Green is up and riding, up and out. Here we go, white, up and riding. Straight off the bottom, attacking the lip. Hits the lip again. S on his way in, red out the back, attacking the, the lip. White still riding on the inside, kicking out. Red S on his way in. Looking for a finish and gets the finish. Blue, up and riding, up and out. Replay of the white. Came off a nice off the lip with a nice roundhouse. Back and do another one. Riding it all the way in for white. And he was out. Waiting for scores. Red out the back, big turn. On the outside, power pocket. S is his way back in. And green up and riding live. 
Red finishing on the replay. Green roundhouse cut back, keeping his speed, waiting for it to stand up and he attacks it. Nice finish for Green. Red, your last wave was a 6.17. Time check, five minutes and 15 seconds. Priority blue. Still have some scores coming in for white. White just got a 5.47. 5.47. Replay for green, does a power turn in the pocket. Roundhouse cut back, figure eight, waiting for this thing to stand up, cutting back, and comes up and tags this thing, and then out. Green, your last wave of 4.87, puts you into second place. Red, you're in first place. White, you are in third place, needing a 2.90 to advance. And blue, you need a 3.55 to advance with priority. Priority blue, second priority white, third priority red. No fourth priority yet. White up and riding. Going up, attacking the lip, cutting back. Wade phased out, and he's out. All right, servers in the water. Let me give you a full rundown. First position, red. You're sitting on a 6-1-7 and a 5-6-7. Green, you are second. You're sitting on a 4-8-7 and a 3.5. Hold the phone. Surfer with priority is going to pull the trigger on this one. Evan Puma up and riding. Out onto the open face, and he can't hang on. He goes down. He's on bread. All he needed was a 3.5. The server in red, you're first, 617, and a 567. Green, you have a 487 and a 3.5. White, you have a 547 and a 257. And blue, you have a 4.8 and a 2.0. Blue, you require a 3.5 to move into an advancing position. And white, you require a 2.9. Two minutes, 50 seconds remaining. I read up and writing. This is the current heat leader, Nolan Raposa, banging it up in the lip, sitting on the outside right now with priority is surfer in green. Tomas King, he's currently in second position as we watch Raposa work his way all the way to the inside. He's trying to back up that 617, throw away a 5-6. Two minutes, 10 seconds remaining. All right, watch this replay of Raposa. Nice big turn on the outside. Checking it all the way down to the inside. Another big turn. Nolan's been coming here as well since he was very young. Worked his way right down through the juniors. Yeah, he knows this wave really well. He and a, he likes it. He likes it, and he has an amazing backhand. Attack, right, going right up vertical in the lip, upside down. Yeah, he was able to separate himself from everyone else by getting double digits. Yep. So last of red, 537. Last of red, 537 does not go in your score line with one minute remaining. Priority green, second priority white, third priority blue. 50 seconds left. So this heat is still wide open. White only needing a 2.9. And blue only needing a 3.5. And here we go. Green. Tomas King up and riding. 
Working his way out onto the open face, throws it up. Nice re-entry. Checks his watch on the way down. <laughs> He's looking to get rid of a 3.5, currently sitting on a 4.87. Yeah, time can't tick fast enough. Here he goes, Green on the replay. Big power turn for figure eight right back there. Gaining speed into the big off the lip. Nice turn. Wave just let him down the rest of the wave. Checks his watch. Yeah, it's Ten gonna, seconds left. We're counting this one in, so service. We're counting this one in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. So that ends the heat. Service in the next seat, please stand by. Just for reference, Tomas, your last wave coming in at a 5.57. Servers in the next seat, please stand by. We are going to go to a, all the scores are in, yep, all the scores are in. We are gonna to go to a short commercial break. We'll be right back with heat number nine in the round of 64. Introducing the crown of life. It's the only 90-faceted modern dome-shaped diamond with 24 bezel facets on the crown, giving it arguably three times more sparkle than any other diamond cut out there. This is Crown of Light. All right, we're back to live action. Coming up in this heat, we're at number nine. In the round of 64, Carlos Munoz in the red jersey. Local boy Jacob Burke in the blue jersey. Max Beach in the white jersey. And Kai Granny in the green jersey. You are tuned in to the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro QS5000. I'm Luis Venezia. I'm going to be joined right now at Bodie Rapson in the booth with me. Bodie, what do you think of the surfing so far? Yeah, I was checking it out this morning on the, on the cast. Broadcast, it looks fun, but down here, waves looking a little bigger, a little cleaner, and we're seeing the surf into match. Big shout out to Simon Coles. Here we go, red up and right and drawing for his blood, Carlos Munoz, former World Tour server, and he just goes unstuck. Yeah, just catches the rail on that one. Yeah, he's a seasoned competitor. He's gonna paddle back to the outside, and he will reset and start again. Formerly being coached by none other than Jim Hogan. Why don't you break this one down for us, Brody? All right, so he started off pretty deep. Needed to get some down the line speed to try and make that section. Unfortunately, just a little too much speed. Doesn't get the right angle. Catches the rail. But plenty of time to make up for it. All right, that wave coming in at a 2.50. So he will go into fourth priority. Priority order has not been established between blue, white, or green. As yet, and White, he's gonna pull the trigger on this one. Max Beach up and riding on his backhand. He's gonna come around the first section, go up in the lip, vertical, pushes out the fins, working his way to the North Peak, working it all the way to the inside. He's gonna try and just finish this wave off strong, maximize all that score that he just put in on the outside. We've been saying it all day that the judges are really counting that outside maneuver. And Green on the outside, he comes around the first section. He bangs it off the top and he goes down. So priority will now shift to the surfer in blue, Jacob Burke. Here he goes, Jacob Burke up and riding. Younger brother of Joshua Burke. Goes vertical up in the lip, Whoa. Jacob Burke. Big outside maneuver, working it onto the inside. That'll wake the crowd up. Here we go, he's gonna look, look for this one. Those actually look like old flying fish baggies he's wearing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's see what the, that exchange comes in at. Wait for these replays to come up, and Brody will break it down for you. There you go, Brody. What All did right. you see? First, we got uh, Max nice. Beach coming up, coming from pretty deep. Nice first turn, comes from pretty deep behind the section. Second tag the lip, little hung up. Sticking with the power source, waiting for that wave to reform. Little tags on the inside, trying to maximize the scoring potential on this wave, milking every last drop out of it. Well-served wave from Max there. 
All right. Oh, we got green. Green came up. Nice opening car, but then that north section came down on him. Realized that was it. No more scoring potential there. And here's the one we're waiting on. This first maneuver from Josh Burke. Jacob Burke, sorry. He's surfing as good as Josh. These brothers are on fire. Wrap around. Another wrap around. Board looks really nice and loose under Jacob's feet. Loads of aggression. So let's see where the judges go. All right. So first up green, 3.0. First of white, 467. First of red, 2.5. So we're just working on that score for Surfer in Blue, Jacob Burke from Barbados. He had a solid outside maneuver, followed right back up with Here we a go. nice wrapping cutback. All right, first of Blue, 6.67. And up and riding, live action, Carlos Munoz coming out onto the open face. Big slashing turn. Working it all the way in. Carlos has come from a long way. Qualifying for the World Tour, getting hurt, losing his spot, having to go back on the Challenger Series, and he's now back into the QS, trying to get back on that Challenger Series. Yeah, Carlos, such a fast surfer. Lots of down-the-line speed coming from deep again. First turn, throws it up into the lip, comes around, big wrapping turn to stay close to the white water, waiting for that little wind side, inside reform. Keeping the board moving all the time. Tags it once and gets a finish. All right, so early going. Surfer in blue currently in first position. But Surfer in red has a score to drop. So we're waiting to see what that wave is going to come in at. So Surfer in red, 5.83 for red, 5.83. So red, you go to first. Blue, you drop to second. White, you are now in third, requiring a 2.01. And green, you are fourth, requiring a 3.68. So still early going. As we look at blue, Jacob Burke up and riding, looking to try and back up that 6.6. .6. We go throwing up the fins, pushing out the fins. Actually can see him smiling on the webcast. It's still smiling. Jacob Burke working his way all the way to the inside. He's going to get an extra half a point for that hair flick at the end. I don't think Jason Jacob does anything without a smile on his face. That kid is always smiling. We got Max Beach back up. Right, here we go. Max Beach throwing it up in the lip. Big outside maneuver. He's going to get around the section. He's not finished yet. This is all these heats and this whole round of 64 are just so stacked. And Max Beach, I believe he's... Max Beach coming from San Clemente, California. Uh, Lou, you mentioned earlier that all these heats could be finals. There's so much talent out there, and the waves are giving these guys the platform to perform. Here we go. Red, that's right. Red up and right, and Carlos didn't really have much to lose looking at that one. Not feeling that. So we're waiting on sir, wave for blue and white. Have a replay of Jacob, second wave. Starts off with a little wraparound, waiting for the wave to form up a bit. Nice section, hits it hard, lots of commitment, drifts the tail a bit, makes his way around, and manages to tag it for a finish. I gotta say, Jacob's really been impressing me with his surfing the last few years. And now we got Max's replay coming up. First turn, next, second turn is the money turn, right up in that section, loads of commitment. And then after that, just trying to milk as much as he can out of this wave. Wiggling around on the inside, manages to tag it for the end. So once again, we want to see those outside maneuvers being rewarded. Yep, so there you go. Last of blue, 533. Last of white, 617. And blue, up and riding again, Jacob Burke. Throwing the fins. And he went down. Okay, with 16 minutes, 50 seconds remaining. We're going to cut to the glass with the winner of the last seat, Nolan Raposa. Take it away, Amaya. Hi, we're here with the winner of.
of Heat 8 of this third round of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International, Nolan Raposa. How are you today? Oh, doing good. Um, beautiful day here in Barbados. Well, you've been coming here for a while. 2014, you were just telling me you're one of the old men now. Yeah, 26 years old this year. Uh, it's been <laughs> it's been a lot of competing here. Uh, I think I lost like first heat my first year coming here. Um, yeah, it was super fun. I, I think I competed against Xander in the U16 division back then, and that was the first time I've ever made heats out here was surfing in the little Grom division. But um, yeah, the 10th year coming here, or 10 years since coming here, and um, I am ha just as happy to come here every single year. My favorite place in the world. Well, we're very happy to see you. I mean, you do look very comfortable over there down at Subal. It seems to be suiting your uh, your strong backhand, right? Yeah, no, it's been a long, a lot of time put in here. Um, Josh Burke and um, Caleb and a lot of the locals, Bruce or um, Shay, like a lot of the backhanders too. Like they've really helped me out here. I feel like watching them and competing against them. Um, Evan Geiserman as well, he's always ripped there. Parker Coffin, that was the first year I ever came here and he dropped a 10. So yeah, there's a lot of learning lessons I've had here since coming and uh, it's, I hope one of these years it comes down to me at the end there, you know? Well, local knowledge does help, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, we do hope that you're gonna, you will win this event one day, uh -huh. you know, Hopefully. fast. <laughs> you wanna say hello, shout out to friends, family, or sponsors, maybe? For sure, yeah, I'd like to shout out my girlfriend, Carly, back at home, and my mom and dad, um, they're probably watching. And um, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Salt Life. Um, they're my new sponsor this year, and I'm very pleased with um, the whole program that they've put me on, and all the board shorts and clothing, sunglasses have been helping me out, so shout out to you guys, thank you for um, hooking me up, thank you. Well, that's awesome. Well, keep it up, keep ripping over there. C congratulations and good luck for the next one, Thanks. man. Have a good thank one. you. <laughs> Okay, back to live action. We just had two small waves with him while we were on that interview break. As we heard from Nolan Raposa, winner of that last heat. Yeah, we had uh, Green, Kai Gale giving up priority, missing the wave. Uh, then trying to get on a little left to make up for it, but didn't really work out. So two inconsequential scores coming in for White and for Green. White's not going to go into a score lane, dropping a 1.9. However, with only one wave being read by Green, this wave will count for him. Here's the replay. So, Green. Yeah, trying to make up for his priority mistake. Looking for an air section on the left, but didn't work out. Going to go back out, reset. Max Beach just came unstuck with his that uh, turn on, on, on the last wave. Trying to push the tail out. All right, Green. Under priority of everybody, picks off this little inside nugget. Kai Granny comes out onto the open face, little whitewater section, and he's gonna go out the back. The surfer in red, Carlos Munoz, sitting with priority on the outside, sitting on a 5.8 and a 2.5. So coming up in the next heat, heat number 10, we're gonna see Wheeler Hasberg Sam Reedy, Parker Cohn, and Dwight Pastrana. All right, just watching that replay of Green. Just getting a couple of cutbacks. Realizing there's not much scoring potential on that wave. I'm gonna go out and wait on priority. So priority with red, blue, white. Surfers are looking interested. Yeah, that last seat was a little bit slower. This one started out pretty active, but it seems to be slowing down now. The waves seem to be pulsing a little bit with this incoming tide, just about high tide now. Yeah, lows not till I think maybe six. 6.30 this afternoon, so throughout the afternoon, these waves should clean up, get a little bowlier, a little more vertical, give the surfers more to work with. I want to say hello to our international audience coming from Barbados, Soup Bowl Barbados, another beautiful, sunny, breezy day. Surfers having a great time.
Just a quick reminder, everybody, as we see the beautiful views Barbados has to offer. Everybody on the beach, please remember to bring all of the garbage up with you. Leave nothing but your footprints. If you see something on the beach that doesn't belong there, please pick it up and put it in one of the garbage cans. We have plenty of garbage cans all over. Also want to remind everybody, we do recycle all of our glass here. So please do not put any beer bottles or any kind of bottles in the trash bin. Give them to the people behind the bar. Last of green, 313. So green, you're still in fourth position, still requiring that 7.7. .7. Ten minutes, forty-five seconds remaining. All right, surfers, just waiting for this next set to arrive. This is how it gets when the tide starts to change. And the tide had just started to change, so it's going to get a little slower. But when the sets come, it'll still be the same. Many of you were sticking around yesterday evening after the event was over. We did see that little pulse, and then on into this morning, we woke up, had a very nice-looking pulse, waves lining up all the way from up inside, all the way down inside. We do have a little bit of a tricky forecast coming up. We have a cold front moving across the United States right now. It all depends on where that low enters the water. I hear that Florida is quite cold right now and windy. So that's what is usually a good indicator. And pretty much whatever swell they get up there kind of filters all the way down through the Caribbean and most of the time ends up here as the camera pans across the beach and we see how beautiful this island really is. I don't know if any of you could see those rocks sticking out in the water or any of you on the beach look to your left and see those rocks sticking out in the water, but the very far one is a lion, the next one is an otter, the third one is a frog, and the fourth one is a pig. And you can clearly see them. I've never showed anybody those rocks that hasn't been able to see them. You can even see them in photos, and they actually look like the islands. Yeah, and then in the background, we got the sleeping giant. That's right. All the way up north there is what we call Foster's Funland. There you go. That's it. So from right to left is a lion, an otter, a frog, and a pig. And all the way in the distance in the back is what we call Round Rock. And nobody has any idea where that rock came from, but I guarantee you it rolled all the way down that mountainside mm -hmm. to end up on the beach. So at low tide, you can see the people there on the left. That's what we call the pools of Barbados, they're little tide pools. So when the tide is extremely low, no waves come in there, and it's just beautiful, pristine water, and it's about knee deep, and you just go in there with a cooler and a lounge chair and you hang out the whole low tide and when the tide starts coming back in, you get up and you go home. Yep, natural little paddling pools, perfect to take the families, family days, especially in the summer when there tends to be gentler conditions and it's really hot, nothing better than sitting in one of those rock pools, chilling out with a Mount Gay. Or two. <laughs> Try and save the world. <laughs> All right, here we go. The ocean starting to move around. Servers are jockeying into position. So once they see what they're doing, I can say what I, I see the set. Don't want to give anybody any advantage. Coming up on the six minute mark, 640. And the situation remains the same. Blue still in first, followed by white in second, red third. 
Red needing a 5.02. And green in fourth needing a 7.7. .7. So servers in the next seat, you guys should be checked in and ready to go. You have about a minute and a half before you can paddle out. Just want to remind you once again, please, when you paddle out, please stay in the channel. Look directly to your right. When you see the judges tower and you reach it, you stop paddling. Want to make sure everybody out in the lineup gets a fair chance. Nobody gets to interfere with them. And it becomes very difficult for the priority judge up here to determine who's in what heat. So we ask that you stay down in the channel. I will give you more than enough time to get into position before we start the next heat. Also, everybody must paddle out from the rip. Nobody can paddle out from the keyhole over here. If you do, you have to paddle to the left on the inside and you risk uh, paddling interference. So here we go, green with fourth priority, just trying to manufacture something yeah, time's starting to dwindle down a bit. I think we're getting some antsy surfers. The next set comes through is going to be really important. Yeah, that's right. It took about eight minutes for this set to get here, so yeah. this could be the last opportunity for some of them. So Green's going to look at this inside. Hi, Granny. He's from Costa Rica. And Originally from Panama, living in Costa Rica now. Yeah, I think Kai just recognizing that there's a bit of a lull in the action at the moment and being in fourth priority anyhow, decided to pull the trigger, see if he could try to manufacture some scores. So here we go, up and right in on the replay, a couple of cutbacks, looking for something to attack, three, four cutbacks. Nice work on the wave, but unfortunately that wave doesn't give him a lot. Yeah, you know, he's, he's in a, a ticklish situation. He's sitting on two threes. So he's really just trying to better one of those threes to cut down his requirement. Right now he requires a 7.4 as Carlos sees something moving on the outside. He is holding priority with four minutes left and he scrambles over to it. He goes over the first one and he might be in too close for the second one, and he has to go under it, so not sure. A lot of east in that last yeah. set, not giving the surfers much to work with, so patience, patience is the game right now. Three minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Surfer from Barbados, Jacob Burt, sitting in the lead, followed by Max Beach from San Clemente in the white jersey. And Carlos Munoz in third position, desperately looking for a wave. He is holding priority, looking for 5.0. Three minutes, 10 seconds remaining. go surfer in red let's that one go two minutes 45 seconds I think all the surfers recognize that they might only get one more opportunity and they want to make sure it's a good one so no one's snatching at anything unless it looks like it has some serious scoring potential Two minutes, 20 seconds. Yeah, right now priority sitting with Carlos Munoz, but he needs a wave. Two minutes remaining, two minutes. Here we go, surfer in red, he's gonna pull the trigger. Here we go. Red up and riding. Carlos Munoz big off the top, out onto the open face. Big wrapping cutback, slides out the tail. He's gonna try and maximize this, and on the outside, blue. We're gonna follow red, as Carlos, desperately trying to get back into this one, looking to finish this strong. Throws it up vertical, does. Makes the no claim claim, with one minute, 30 seconds remaining. Carlos is feeling that one, and his 
Cheering squad's feeling it too. Let's have a look at that replay and see what he got to work, what he got done on that wave. All right, so Carlos taking off from pretty deep inside once again, fast down the line, tags that first section. Second time, second maneuver is a nice big wrap around, staying close to the power. Again, a bit of a roundhouse. A little bit of downtime, waiting for this wave to reform on the inside. And a nice vertical tag to finish. All right, with 59 seconds remaining, servers in the next seat, please hold your positions. Like I said, I'll give you more than enough time to get out there. And judges are looking at this last of Yeah, right, of after, red. right after that, Jacob took a small, another wave, used his priority, but didn't like what he saw. He decided to just kick back out and I think play a little bit of defense. 30 seconds, Blue, looking at this one. He's up and riding. And he goes out the back. All right, well, 20 seconds. All right, just score trickling in for Red. It looking good. All right, last of Red, six, seven, three, goes to first, Blue goes to second. White, you're now third with 10 seconds remaining. You need a 5.8. And we're counting in in three, two, one. And that ends the heat. So Carlos Munoz waited a long time for that wave. Pulled the trigger, gets a 6.73, goes to first. Well served wave all the way down to the inside. Servers in the next seat. Hold your positions. We are going to be on a short hold. Congrats to Carlos there, surfing really well. Patience game paid off in the end. And he managed to jump from third straight up to first, take the heat wind. Congrats also to local boy Jacob Burke, keeping the flag flying. All right, we're going to send this down to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with heat number 10 in the round of 64. Stay tuned. All right, here you go, guys. We're counting it in. live action calling this heat introducing these servers in red wheeler hasberg in red and blue sam reedy from costa rica in white parker Cohn, and in green dwight pastrana while we were on that short break there were no waves ridden 24 minutes and 15 seconds remaining you see in the likes of wheeler hasberg he's ranked 14th Ranked number 14, Wheeler Hasberg in the North American Tour. Also in this heat is Sam Reedy, number 18. And White, Parker Cohn, up and riding, blowing out the fins. Here we go, green going left. Dwight Pastrana, big blow tail, but comes unstuck. Dwight throwing everything at that section, coming undone. Let's see what the ocean serves up in this heat. We had a bit of a slow heat last one. It was all start and end. Okay, on the replay, we're looking at Parker Cohn. Tags that first section, comes in. Oh, nice big sec. Floater off that section and then just tags out. A little bit on the left. Dwight Pastrana just throwing the kitchen sink at that section and coming unstuck. So score dropping for green, 1.17. And score dropping for white, 3.67. 22 minutes and 41 seconds remaining. 
So priority has not been established. So surfer in green will go into third priority. And surfer in white will assume fourth priority. So the two red and blue will be battling out for the first and second seat in priority. So these long lulls we've been getting in the last heat usually signifies we're getting a little bit of a change in the tide now, swapping around. So throughout the afternoon as it starts to drain, hopefully we'll see these waves stand up more and more and give these guys more and more scoring opportunity. So once again, for our international audience tuning in, saying hello to everybody from beautiful Soup Bowl Barbados. Got some messages from all over the world yesterday, people saying they were tuning in. Belgium, Scotland, Ireland. Everybody saying the same thing. They wish they were here. Here we go, White. Parker Cohen going left. Couple of little... Backhand turns. He goes out the back. He's currently sitting on a 367. So if anybody has lost an iPhone, we have it up on the judge's tower. It looks like a local person, local phone. It was left down by the beach, found down by the beach. So we come up to the judge's tower and we have it up here. So if anybody's missing an iPhone, all right, so just looking at Parker's replay. Three little tags on the outside. Blows the tail a little bit on that last one. And that score comes in at a 3.83. 3.83 for your last score, last ride, Parker. So that puts White comfortably in the lead for the time being, but we see how slow it's been getting. And watching Red Wheeler, he's scrambling to get into this one. He's up and riding on a nice looking wave. Comes off the bottom, goes straight up into the lip. Another big turn, blows the fins. And he works his way all the way out onto the open face. Wow. That was a big turn. Two big outside maneuvers. That's what all the surfers want. Yep. That's what the judges want to see. Here yeah. we go, Birdie. Here's the replay, so taking his time, going up nice, inverting that section, coming down, free fall into the lip, but this is the turn, blowing the tail out, fin drifting, coming around, and still getting back out onto the wave to get one last wrap around. He likes that one. Judges like it too. 9.33 for red, 9.33. There you go, that outside work being rewarded. Combination of major maneuvers on the outside, one turn right into the next. I was going to say that the dream scenario is to get those two big maneuvers and then take it all the way in into the shoreline. But when those two outside maneuvers are that good, that's sometimes all you need. So priority sitting now with blue. Second priority with green. All right, coming up in the next heat, we're gonna see Michael Dunphy, Cannon Carr, Will Dean, and Loyal Kenworthy. Michael Dunphy took the victory two years ago in this event. Yeah, Dumphy's been coming here for a long time. So red up and right and backing up that 933. 
He's got a little sticky on that last turn, but he did have two maneuvers on the outside. A little bit of an insider wave. As we look at green, Dwight Pastrana banging it up vertical. And blue on the outside, Sam Reedy. Nice blow tail out onto the open face. Another nice off the top. Big wrapping cutback on his way to the inside. Another big turn. Four major maneuvers, and he's not done yet. And he's going to look to finish it strong, and he does. Wow, what he a answers wave. answers back that 933. The wave that just kept giving and giving and giving. And he just kept ripping it and ripping it and ripping it. Hopefully that's a sign of what's to come throughout the afternoon. So here we go. First, we're looking at Red's replay. Wheeler just trying to back up a huge score of a nine with getting a couple maneuvers done, just some cutbacks, staying close to the power source. Gets a little hung up. But here we go with Dwight. That's live. Oh, so that's replay. <laughs> but here's the replay we're waiting to see. Sam Reedy, first aggressive turn, straight into the second turn, tags the lip twice. Nice big wrap around, rebound off the white water. Third big smack off the lip, and a fourth, and a tag to finish, and Sam's feeling that. All right, while we're waiting for these scores to drop, we're gonna send it down to the glass with the last heat winner. On the buzzer, Carlos Munoz. Here we are with the, the winner of heat number nine of the third round of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International. Carlos Munoz yeah. from Costa Rica, how are you? I'm um, very great, grateful to make it that heat, you know, very slow heat. And I came with a win at the very end. So I'm very happy to be in Barbados. It's an amazing place. I came long time ago with my wife and you know i'm happy to be in the interview because i haven't got an interview in a little while so yeah i'm stoked to make it to the yeah as you said pretty slow heat but you had that kind of a buzzer beater there so that's kind of a confidence boost and obviously having you by the glass the saint luke glass so that's another confidence boost with you you're hoping to make it by the glass again i guess see see i just wanna continue surfing like this and hopefully i can get better ways and free surfing so i'll be having a, a lot of fun here um, and yes, just talk, you know, I want to say some things to my family, you know, that probably they're watching. Uh, I love you guys, and Kale, Leah, Levi, I'm here, and I will be back soon and home. And Pura Vida, thank you everybody for supporting. All right, thank you so much, man. Thank Keep you. at it. Good luck. <laughs> All right, back to live action while we were on that short break. Way that we were waiting for the score to drop for Sam Reedy, dropped in at an 8.17. So that bumps him up into second place. Big congratulations to Carlos for taking that heat win, Pura Vida, my friend. And here we go, Red up and right in Wheeler. He is the current heat leader. He's sitting on a nine and a four. And he comes unstuck and goes down. Yeah, so. I think Wheeler recognizes that with that big score of a nine, he can have a little fun, try to push it a little bit. Looking at that instant. Well, as these waves improve, so will the scores. Shout out to all the school kids that all around Barbados that are trying to tune in. I know the kids at Harrison College are tuning in. They got the uh, Barbados uh, school sports this week. So I think classes are a bit light. Well, we got some guys paddling. Here we go, watching the paddle. And blue, Sam Reedy, looking to back up that 817 on a frothy one. Big down carve, big hit on the north section. He's going to ride out of it. Is he going to get ahead of it? Yes, he is. Sometimes when you find that rhythm, you just keep getting it, just keeps giving. Big blow tail. So he's looking to battle. I mean, I'm thinking that he's, he's, he's going to get a requirement when he needs to go to the lead. I tell you, Sam's looking like a good backup on that one. I'm gonna wait for that replay to drop, but he's looking loose and showing some committed surfing at the moment. Here we go. 
Drops in, takes his time, comes around straight up into that first section, building some speed, and here we go, boom. That's the kind of committed surfing that the judges love to see. Here we go, and a nice tag to finish, so All that's right. gonna be a good backup. Here we go, it's gonna rival his first score. Seven point six seven seven six seven for blue. Blue, you go to first. Red drops to second. White, you are third. You now need a nine point five. And green, you are fourth. You need a combination of thirteen point three three. Eleven minutes fifty seconds remaining. So after a quiet heat, red. You're sitting on a 9.33 and a 4.0. To go back to first, you need a 6.5. Yeah, so after kind of a quiet heat, Sue Bowl's waking back up, offering up some of those sections that these surfers love to attack, get the crowd on their feet, get the judges excited. The wow factor, and that was the wow factor. Here we go, green up and right, and he's going to go left. Nice vertical off the top, working it out onto the open face. Throws the big reverse. And red. Here he goes. This is his first turn. Nice vertical snap right in the pocket, out onto the open face, wrapping cut back. He's got a north peak ahead of him. Drops the wallet, trying to stick with it, and he just can't hang on. So 10 minutes, 45 seconds remaining. He doesn't just want to advance out of this. He, he wants to win it. All right, so we're just looking at Dwight Pastrana's replay. Gets a little hung up on that first section, which doesn't allow him to set up properly for the ear. He's looking for one of those big ears, knowing that the judge is gonna reward it. Here we're looking at Wheeler's replay. Nice first turn. Attacks that north section, but it doesn't really stand up for him. Flattens out a little bit and rolls away. So. Don't think that's gonna factor into his scores, but let's see what the judges say. Green, your last wave came in at a 2.10. All right, last of red, 5.10, 5.10. So you still are in second position, however, that ups the ante for the surfer in white. You now need a two-wave combination of 14.43. Green, you also need a combination of 14.43. So just looking for a 4.43 to break that combo, which will cut your requirement. However, it's still a tall task. You yeah, that would, mean, that would mean they would only need a 10. Correct. <laughs> yeah. So these guys are gonna have to get busy. They're gonna need two waves to get back into this heat. Right now it's a straight shootout between Wheeler and Sam. Wheeler coming from Canada. And he's sitting in 14th position. Sam coming from Costa Rica. And Sam is also in 18th position. So these two surfers certainly have a chance to leapfrog up into that top 10. We've seen Ryan Huckabee advance today, Taj advanced it today. We haven't seen Dumphy yet, we haven't seen Levi yet. John Mel, he bowed out. Taro advanced, Alan Cleden hasn't surfed yet. Wheeler looking at a wave here. Oh, nice first turn, throws the tail out, rides in reverse for a bit, showing lots of control. Getting some work done on the wave face, trying to stay close to the white water. Wait for that inside reform. Another tag, one more tag, and he's out of there. All right, with eight minutes, five seconds remaining, these surfers in white and green are gonna look to have to get a little busy. Time's ticking down, they definitely need two waves. So here we go, first turn, throws the tail out, rides in reverse, showing loads of control. Spins back out. Tries to generate a bit more speed. Nice cutback, rebound off the white water. 
Little pump in to regain some speed, looking for the inside reform. And then just tags the lip a couple of times. Let's see if that helps his scoreline. So last of red coming in at 5.37. 537, last of red. You still are in second. You still require a 6.5. On the outside, white. Parker Cohen using his priority. Dropping the wallet. That wave actually had a barrel on it. And on the outside, blue. Sam Reedy, he is current heat leader. Kiss catches a rail, and he's going to go out the back. So white looking to for at least a 4.7 to try and break that combo. But your heat leader, Sam Reedy. Here we go. White dropping a little bit late under the lip. Jess gets a little caught up. And then just tries to throw everything at that North Bowl. Rides out. Maybe enough to break combo, but still going to require a big score. All right, watching green. Dwight Pastrana up and riding. We got some nice looking waves rolling through here. Big top turn out onto the open face, and he goes down. So last of white, 5.33 white, 5.33. So you've broken the combination. You now require a 9.37 to move up into advancing position. We've seen a few nines thrown today. So with five minutes to go, don't count Parker out. Nope, definitely not. Looking at the wave for Wheeler. On a 9-3-3, judges is going to see exactly what he needs to get. So here's Dwight's replay, just having a nice little floater foam climb. Comes up, tags that first section really nice, and then oh. just gets lost in the white water. Okay, last up green, 5-0-3. So you also have broken that combo. So you now require a 9.6 to move up into advancing position. It's a tall order, but it's not impossible. Just over five minutes to go. So as Lou was saying earlier, a lot of these guys are all in the top 20 or so on the rankings. And with this being a 5,000, there's only a handful of 5,000 events. No, one. Oh, sorry, there's one. <laughs> so there's a finger full. <laughs> so of Wheeler, five thousands. Yeah, so we are currently in 14th position on North America ranking, taking a win in the Cabaret Pro, and a fifth at Slow Cow, and then some 25ths and some nines, and he's going to be looking to drop some points. It's still a little too early to start running scenarios, but once we get into that round of 32, we're going to be having some scenarios. So all of these surfers so far within the top 20 have advanced with the exception of John Mel. I should say all the surfers who have surfed within the top 20 so far are still waiting yeah. on a couple of others as we watch Green up and riding, going left. Yeah, well, regardless of the scenarios as they come, we know that 5,000 points is going to be significant. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, we had, you know, last year we had surfer come all the way from 21st. To, to get up into a leapfrog and get into the here we go, top blue. 10. So here we go, up and right is Sam Reedy, your current heat leader. He's sitting on an 817 and a 767. He's just trying to stay busy out there, settle the nerves. It's gonna be a big win for him if he can hold on to this. Yeah, I think Sam recognizes he's got two big scores. So he's looking for a wave that can really give him some scoring potential or he can just save his energy. So if he, winner of this, will go into the round of 32, surfing against another first place finisher and two second place finishers. So they have a little bit of an advantage. Hold on. So here we go. Guys looking interested. Priority sitting with red, followed by white and green. We got red paddling into a wave now, dropping in a little deep, coming around that section. Way. Goes for the 360 Superman. We got White rolling in. Whoa. No right. Doesn't come out. Oh. 
All right, we got Dwight Pastrana, two minutes to go, trying to manufacture a score. Tags the first section, comes around, wrap around, throws it up vertical into the lip. A lot of bump on that wave face, a lot of white water, turbulence from the wave before, and it just rolls away from him. So we're waiting on some scores to drop, guys. But what we were talking about earlier, oh, here we go, replay on Dwight's wave. So comes in, tags that first section, comes around, but there's so much chop and bump and white water and turbulence on the wave, it's hard for him to really generate the speed he wants. And then it just kind of rolls away. So just under two minutes to go. So situation for everybody out front, we got Blue Sam Reedy leading with a combined score of 15.84. Behind and holding priority. So he's in a really strong position at the moment. Right behind him, we got Wheeler. All right. All right, here we go. Sam Reedy up and riding. Big blow tail, working out onto the open face. Another big blow tail, surfing with real rhythm and real power. He is such a solid competitor. And red, he's going left. Big reverse, and he goes down with one minute, 15 seconds remaining. Last of Last of green, 477. So one minute remaining. Servers in the next heat. Please stay where you are. Thank you very much. All right. So just a replay on Sam's rave there. Oh, just throwing the back foot out, losing the tail on that first section, and then another committed attack on the lip. Getting there a little bit late, but still managing to ride out. That's the hallmark of committed surfing, which is what we all want to see. Well, he's in such rhythm. He just needs to keep this going throughout this event as we watch green. He's 30 seconds go to go. So last of blue, 7.0. 7.0 as we stick with green. But 23 seconds remaining. Servers in the next heat. Just stay right there, please. I think green was trying to look for one of those air sections, throw the Hail Mary. Coming right, from we're behind. This one in. White scratching to get into this one. Parker Cohn with three, two, one. Oh, oh boy. Going What's... for it at the end. So, servers in the next seat. Hold your positions. We are on a short hold. Got yeah. some scores to drop. Parker recognizing that he needed a huge score and he'd have to throw everything at that section to impress the judges. Coming unstuck, but the crowd on the beach loved the attempt. All right, last of white, 2.27. Last of green, 257. Servers in the next heat, please hold your positions. We're gonna take a short break and we'll be right back with heat number 11, round of 64. Stay tuned. live action no waves ridden while we were on that short commercial break coming up in this heat number 11 round of 64 red jersey michael dunphy michael is a former past champion of this very event winning it in 2023 
22. No, two, I think. 2022. 22. <clears throat> Last Cannon, year was Crosby. Cannon Carr in the blue jersey. In white jersey, Will Dean. <clears throat> and in green, Loyal Kenworthy. With just two minutes gone in this heat, nobody has caught a wave yet. So once again, if anybody has lost the cell phone, it's up here in the judge's tent. We have a lost iPhone in the judge's tent. Here we go, up and right, and Michael Dunphy from Virginia Beach. Working it out onto the open face. He knows this wave well. Trying to get back ahead of this one. Michael currently sitting in fifth position on the qualification rankings. So this one's just gonna come in at a mid-range score, 4.67. 467 for red. So we got Dumphy getting the heat started. Taking his time coming around. Nice tag of the first section. Smacks it off the white water. Makes his way around. Little cut back. No, not much of an inside reform. So he gets out of there. Yes, yeah, so Michael currently in fifth position. He has 12 heat wins for the year with a 12.09 average heat score. He has a couple of thirds, a first in the O'Neill Coldwater Classic, third at the Coastal Edge, which he's won before, third in Jack's Pro. He was ninth here last year, winning the year before. And here we go, looking at blue on the outside. This is Cannon Carr, big top turn, and he just goes down. Oh. So coming up a little later on, we're gonna see Alan Cleland, he hasn't served yet, Levi Slauson, Lucas Osteen, he's coming up in the next heat. Owen Moss, Luke Weiler, Kay Kobayashi, Tao Rodriguez, and those are all in the top 20, 22. So we saw it last year, depending on how far ahead you get into this event, definitely depends on if you can leapfrog everybody and get up into that top 10. Well, Alan Cleland is currently leading the rankings. For a little bit of perspective for the audience, most of these events are offer a thousand points. So this is equivalent to winning five events. Here we go, up and right in green. Loyal Kenworthy, and he can't hang on, he goes down. So on the outside, that leaves Surfer and White. Will Dean with priority, he's gonna pull the trigger. Here we go, Will Dean, big wrapping cutback. Out onto the open face. Looks like this wave has a little bit of north in it. And it does, that's on the north section right there. Working it to the inside, banging it up in the lip. He's gonna stick with it, looking to finish it strong, and he does. So surfer in red, Michael Dunphy was behind him on the next wave. He's just catching up with the end of this wave, but we will be giving you the replay of that one. I really didn't see what happened as I was following the surfer in white. So looking for a score for white, green, and red. 19 minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Yeah, I think Will is going to be happy with his start. All right, so looking at Michael's wave on replay, coming in round, gets a little hung up on that first section. Second section is hot.
manages to get that little reform and gets a little finish. Not the cleanest ridden wave. Seen a little bit of bump on the face now. So priority is with blue and then green. All right, judges are deliberating, and while we do, we are going to send it down to the St. Luke's interview with the last heat winner, Sam Reedy, dropping a 15.842 wave total. Go ahead, Amaya. Here we are at St. Luke's Glass with the winner of heat 10, round three of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro, presented by Diamonds International. Sam Reedy representing Costa Rica. How are you? Man, I'm great. Couldn't complain. Got empty soup bowl and it started turning on for my heat and me and Wheels are such good competitors and I was super stoked to get a good heat with them. Yeah, I mean, we saw a lot of action during your heat. Some quite high scoring waves as well. Uh, Wheeler got a 9, but you got to get through with an 8, 1, 7 and a, and a high 7 as well. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I took off. I missed the first one of the of the set that Wheeler got the 9 on. And I was like, all right, I'm going to sit and wait for the next one. And the next one luckily came in, and I was able to smack it a few times. It was actually probably the most turns I've ever been able to do on a wave at Soup Bowl. So I was super stoked with that. And it was just overall a great session. I mean, I kind of forgot that I was in a heat, to be honest. Well, I mean, that's great. You looked really strong over there. You want to talk to us about your equipment, maybe? What are you surfing? Um, I'm currently surfing a Timmy Patterson i5 Gold. This thing is absolutely magic. I've, I've had this thing on repeat, and every time it comes out, just perfect. So I can't complain, and yeah, it's just an awesome board. Oh, that's awesome. Well, can't wait to see you more over there, and maybe buy the glass again. So you want to say a little something for friends and family maybe back at home? Un saludo a todos en Costa Rica. Vamos con todo la siguiente ronda. Cali pasó su hit también. Vamos con todo y conoces si tienes miedo, papi. All right, thank you, man. Good luck for the next one. <laughs> okay, back to live action. We're watching White, Will Dean. When we were on that short break, his score came in on his first attempt was a 4.77. And on the outside, Red, Michael Dunphy, he goes up and out. So while we're on that break, score for Red dropped in at a 6.83. And also score for White dropped in at a 4.77. So we're just waiting for that second score for White. And Surfer in Red is not really going to factor in anything. There's Will's replay. Nice first maneuver. Almost comes unstuck. Manages to hang on. But then the wave doesn't offer a lot else after that. Manages to get a little cut back, and then it floats away from him. So it'll be a small backup score. All right, last of white, 4.5. Last of red does not factor in, so red first. Red, you're sitting on a 6.83 and a 4.6. White, you're second with a 4.77 and a 4.5. Blue, you are third with a 1.33. You need a 7.9. And green, you are fourth with a 1.0. You need an 8.3. 15 minutes remaining. So coming up in heat number 12, Lucas Osten, Ryan Rubens, Hayden Rogers, and Aaron Martinez. As we see Michael Dunphy up and riding. Nice big blowtail. Oh, and he can't negotiate that North Peak. A lot of you guys don't realize that are just watching, but that North Peak is two different waves coming from two different directions. And depending on which side of the peak you are on, it just sweeps you out. It's very difficult to negotiate that section. So we see Michael's first turn going up, fully committed, but just loses the fins a little bit on the way down. Body torques at the wrong angle. And it comes unstuck. 
Once again, these guys are not holding back. When they see that section, that nice vertical section, that's where they're throwing everything at it. Yeah, you can see on your screen, the heat number 12, Lucas Oster, Ryan and Rubens, Hagen, Rogers, and Alvarez. Aaron Alvarez, also from Costa Rica. That's coming up in about 13 minutes and 30 seconds. That is heat number 12. That means we're we'll three quarters of the way through this round of 64. Okay, just want to remind everybody on the beach, all the viewers that are watching, we are going to be doing a 12 and under event for the little kids. This is the apple of my eye and the beat of my heart doing it for these kids. The WSL judges judge them. It's a huge deal for these kids. We've been doing it for 12 years and I'll continue to do it. So if anybody is interested, it is 12 years and under from January 1st. Anybody can enter, just come up to the judges tower and we will sort it out. Just let me know who they are and we will draw up the heats. It is very, very relaxed as far as we don't know when we're doing it. We kind of just put it in. It'll probably be sometime Saturday because some of the kids are in school, but it all depends on the swell, the waves. We kind of work around them, but it is a great time. Everybody on the beach loves it and the kids just charge it. So anybody that's interested in the 12 and under, you can come up to the judge's tent, put in your name, and we'll figure it out from there. Thank you very much. Yeah, I absolutely love that initiative, getting the kids out there, giving them the experience of surfing in front of WSL judges and all the competitors that they look up to. Yep, that's right, here you go. One of them is that one right there, Michael Dunphy, unfortunately. Tried to hold back and he couldn't, and he goes out the back. I know a lot of the local kids follow a lot of these surfers on Instagram and follow their stories around the world and having the chance to meet them in person and actually surf in front of them makes some of the kids so excited. Such a great experience. Yeah, it really is. I, I, I love doing it. You know, I guess it might have been about five years ago, six years ago, it was after Zana's accident and I did an event and I said to my wife that this is the last event I'm going to do just not there for me anymore and whatever not in a good place and yeah we did the under 12s and uh i guess there were about eight kids that did it and when the event was over and you know all the kids are friends and they just came running up to me and like just the appreciation and you know we're so glad you do this can't wait till next year can't wait to do it again and right there and then i said to myself there's no way i can stop doing this yeah. I do this for them. This is just, this is just a sideshow. Yeah. 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 This event is geared around 12 and under. Exactly, yeah, exactly. This is a 12 and under event and under with the QS 5000 in the background. Correct, that's right. <laughs> right. And that's the Live Like Xander yeah. initiative right there. It's all about the kids and the future of surfing. That's right. Here we go. Up and right in Cannon Car, surfer in blue. He's utilizing his priority. He's just got one wave, bangs it off the North Peak. Nice, committed surfing Committed from surfing, Cannon. yep, an exciting finishing maneuver. Nice rhythm down the line. One turn, but you know, they've, they've been rewarding that turn. It's a there pretty critical turn. Yeah, takes off. Actually two turns, so it's yeah. a finishing maneuver. Um, nice and committed as that North Pole came down on him. Yep, North Pole. Yep, there you go, that scores. I just heard what he said, 6.0, 6.0. So Surfer in Blue, you draw, drop a 6.0, you now require a 3.3. So you're right back in the mix of things. So red first, white second, and white heard me say that, so he's gonna use his priority, try and better his score. Nice little drop the wallet, looking at this inside bowl section, is it gonna cooperate for him? How is it gonna hit the reef? He's got something in front of him. Just might not have done that cut back and maybe just stalled the board a little bit, but anyhow, 
That was his decision. So he's sitting on a pair of fours, looking to better that. I think Will's such a fast surfer. Sometimes he cuts back a little bit too much, knowing that he can most of the time get back there. But sometimes that wave just rolls away. All right, 3.93 for that last effort of surfer in white. So that does not go in your score line. So blue, you are still looking for that 3.3. Just over eight minutes to go. Priority sitting with green, red, and then blue. Blue, you're looking for 3.3 .3 to advance. Green, you have priority, and you're looking for a big score of an 8.3. So let's see if we get some motion in the ocean. White, you are in second place, and you require a 6.74 to get to first. Red, you're in first place with a combined total of 11.5, and you have second priority. So yeah, both Will and Cannon are both juniors. So they'll be coming up a little later on as well, trying to qualify for the World Juniors. Also, William Edelson, he made it today. We'll see, be seeing him in a little while. He's also still in the juniors. Will Dean is still in the juniors. So there's a lot of kids that are in the juniors that are surfing in this event. Here we go, Green. He used his priority. Loyal Kenworthy sporting the mullet as he's working his way down the face. Yeah, that wave not offering much of that north section, so more, more of a cutbacks but at least he gets up on the board, tags that first section, little wrap around, another little wrap around, hoping for a reform. All right, last of green, 3.10. So green, you remain in fourth position. You're looking for a 6.2. So just under six minutes to go, 5.43. Got some movement. All right, Blue looking at this one. Yep, here we go. Cannon Carr with second priority. Blue's a big air, reverse, holds on to it. He rides out. He's going to ride out of it. Yes, he is. So he's trying to back up that six. He only needs a very small score. So let's see where the judges go with it. Yeah, so here we go. Cannon looking down the line. He has got his mind made up on one thing. One section, one move, throw it all. Let's see if it pays off. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Picking up that wave. Under priority, 5.43. So, Blue, you now go to second. White, you drop to third. You require a 6.6. .6. And green, you are fourth. You require an 8.3. So blue dropping a 5.43 on a single reverse. Yeah, the judge is rewarding a risky surfing. Risky surfing. It was right on the bubble, right on that north peak. Yeah, he could have just t tried to smack that lip and maybe try to get around and look for an inside section, but he decided to throw it all at the one move and managed to hang on. And it paid off. So four minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Second and third flip-flop one another. Four minutes, 17 seconds remaining. Heat leader Michael Dumphy still with priority.
followed by white, green, and blue. Just under four minutes to go. You know, going back to what we were saying earlier, Lou, about uh, the kids and the other 12 and them surfing in front of all these guys that they, uh, um, the guys and girls that they see on tour and they, s they follow on Instagram. But I also got to mention all the competitors are so friendly, so welcoming, so willing to chat with the kids. They all love it here. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I remember when we used to do this event at Brandon's, you know, Brandon's is a lot more conducive for, you know, young kids surfing. Yep. And, um, like, there were 20 kids that were there, kids that couldn't even really surf that good, you know, still on foam boards. And Caroline was here, and Leilani was here, and there were a couple of other girls that were here, and, and a lot of the guys, too. This was back when there was an international ranking, so there were tons of Australians here. Yeah, yeah, that's, and, be that's before they um, changed it into our regional correct. qualifiers, right? Correct, and there was one lay day that we had um, because we only did the QS, we didn't do the juniors with it. That's right. And it was a lay day that we had like on a Wednesday and um, Caroline actually organized for a lot of the girls to come and surf with the kids and a lot of the guys too. And it was just such a great day that, you know, the pros came down and, and to be honest with you, it was a, a march. We had the event there yep. and it was great. The waves were solid, but out here was going off. Yeah. So everybody was getting knocked out and coming here. So anyway, here we go, up and riding white, looking for a score. Blows the fins, working it out onto the open face and just a little transition move. Working his way to the inside, got a little open face to work with now. He uh -oh. curls the nose and goes down. Comes unstuck with there. One minute, 50 seconds remaining. So green, whip, white, looking for a score. But it was such a great day to have all the pros out there with the kids, and it was just amazing. Yeah, yeah man. The kids absolutely love it. I know a lot of the kids are, can't wait till they get out of school this weekend. They're all going to fly down here. My daughters have been telling me who they want to meet, <clears throat> who they're looking forward to meeting. Yeah, that's great. I mean, and down here has got, down, uh, for a Tuesday, there's a lot of people down here, a lot of visitors yeah. to Barbados, a lot of tourists down here today. Welcome to the beach. Welcome to the event, this is a, a whole week long. This event's gonna go all the way until Sunday. So please come back, support the food and beverage. All the proceeds from the food and beverage go right back into these events. I mean, if anybody was here last year and you're here this year, you can see the difference in the setup, you can see the size. The event just keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. So all of that is thanks to your support. So please continue to support it. Yep. Looking forward to seeing everybody coming down, especially, especially the weekend's gonna get really busy. We got some live music, live band on Saturday night. That's gonna be jamming. And for those of you that can't make it down, check us out. Go on the WSL site. Go on the WSL site and look for the Barbados Surf Pro. Right, here we go with 20 seconds remaining. Right, here we go. Green still working his way to the inside with seven seconds remaining. We're, we're gonna count this one in in three, two, one. So that ends the heat. White's wave will count. He was up before the bell, but he goes down. So server's in the next heat. We are on a short hold, please stand by. Servers in the next seat, we're on a short hold, please stand by. All right, waiting on a couple small stars to drop, but it looks like official results, unofficial results is Michael Dunphy going through, taking the heat win, and Cannon Carr coming in second. All right, so we watched this last of green. And also, that we have to get the last of white. All right, so servers in the next seat, hold your positions. We're going to take a short commercial break, and we will be right back with heat number 11. Stay tuned.
Okay, back to live action. In heat number 12, round of 64 in the red jersey, Lucas Osten in the blue jersey, Ryan Rubens in the white jersey, Hayden Rogers, and in green, Aaron Moreno. While we were on that short commercial break, no waves were ridden. We have 24 minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Blue, right, and Rubens, he's looking at this one. Throws it up in the lip. Out onto the open face. This boy has a lethal backhand attack. We're watching him work his way all the way down to the inside. Right, and Rubens currently sitting in 24th all right. place as well as Lucas Osten. He's sitting in ninth position. So right now, this is a very, very, very important heat for Lucas. He is currently sitting in qualification position and wants to hold on to that as long as he can. So we've already seen John Mel bow out, but he's going to be dropping an event. Probably looks like that 150 total he has, which is a 25th place in the slow cow open yeah so we'll have some more scenarios for you later on in the week as we watch this replay all right so Ryland getting up in the first section tagging it taking a little inside wave but getting lots of work done found that north section that just came around and it just stretched out and he just keeps smacking that lip nice finish now here we go, red up and right, and Lucas Osten working it out onto the open faces. They're sticking with green, so we'll bring you that replay. First of blue was a 6.0. First of blue, 6.0. That's a good score on a, on a smaller inside wave, but that wave just stretched out and kept going and going and just kept riling, just kept smacking it to pieces. So once again, just want to say hello to our international audience from sunny Sioux Bowl, Barbados. Big shout out to Simon Cole, a.k.a. Dragon, taking the morning shift on commentary. And Bodie Rapson joining now with uh, Chris Clark. going to step in for a few minutes while Louis takes, uh, Louis takes a little break. Yeah, just here so Louis could go take care of some tasks. So at the moment, we got Ryland Rubens leading the heat. One wave for the six-point total. Green, your second wave is a 4.43. Red, your first wave has come in as a 4.9. So we have priority with white, blue, green. Green, you're in second place. You need a 1.58 to get to the front. Red, you're in third place, and you just need a tiny 0 0.06 to advance right now, but we're early on in the heat. So, Green, your first ride was a 4.96. Green, your first ride was a 4.96. No, 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 that's total. 4.43. Sorry, Green, your second ride was a 4.43. Red, your first ride was a 4.9. And we have a priority change here. White's first priority, blue second priority, red third priority, and green fourth priority. 20 minutes and 35 seconds remaining. Yeah. So once again, everybody, this is day two of the Barbados Surf Pro, BTMI Barbados Surf Pro, 5,000 points on hand, brought to you by Diamonds International, Tourism Development Corporation, and Slam 103 FM. Also want to say a big shout out to Infra Rentals, BHTA, the Barbados Hotel Tourism Authority, Zachios providing all the food for the judges today. Big up Zachios. And the main man, Chris, <laughs> Chris Whitten, making sure everything runs smooth, making sure all the judges are fed so we can, they can stay concentrated and check out all the action. 
Yeah, he's working for Zaccio's Restaurant. They have a restaurant here on the East Coast. Do some pizza. What else do you do, Chris? I tell you what they do. Do sandwiches, burgers, you know, everything, coffee, great coffee, and uh, good times. All right, we just got white up and back down. Got a couple of tags. Yeah, I'll tell you a secret about Zaccio's. They're a pizza restaurant, but they do a really good fish sandwich. Really good. So just a replay of White, just tagging that first section, then he comes up a little bit late. It looks like he lost his foot in. That front foot slips back a bit. The board flips up. Almost has to defend the, his face from the board as it tries to flip up at him. So White, just a small score, 2.17 coming for you. Priority with blue, red, green, and then White. So we also want to shout out General Distrib Distributors, Lloyd's T. Okay, uh, just sorry to interrupt you, buddy. We're getting ready to go down to the St. Luke's interview shortly. All right. Here we are at the St. Luke Glass with the winner of Heat 11, Round 3 of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International. How are you, Michael Dunphy from the U.S.? Yeah, doing good. Uh, better now after a heat win. Um, waves are pretty fun out there if you get them. I bogged a couple and caught a couple and luckily uh, got through. Yeah, we were just seeing a little slow heat for you guys, but you made it through, so that must be a little confidence boost there. Yeah, it's good. You know, anytime you can win a heat is good. Um, I the way the heat before was firing. There was like nines and eights, and uh, I was thinking I was just, I don't know if it's gonna keep doing that in my heat, so I was just gonna go get a couple and and uh, go from there. So luckily it worked out. And uh, yeah, live to fight another day. <laughs> live to fight another day. I like this one. And uh, you won here a couple years ago. Yep. You're hoping for a similar result this year, maybe? Uh, Not to be too <laughs> shabby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was awesome to be able to win here. You know, Soup Bowl is one of my favorite waves. So to come down here and win, and uh, it was really cool. So yeah, hopefully get some waves all week and, um, you know, one, one foot in front of the other. But uh, got a long way to go. But yeah, it'd be great. All right, well, you're looking good over there and strong on your ranking as well. So we hope for the best for you. Good luck for the next round. Thank you you want to do a little shout out to fi friends and family at home, maybe? Yeah, anyone back home in uh, New Smyrna, Virginia Beach watching and parents, girlfriend, girlfriend, parents, all the all the supporters. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll probably not surf tomorrow and we'll surf again on Thursday, I think. So yeah. cheers. All right. Thank you so much, man. Keep ripping. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Bye. All right, back at live action. So just gonna give a quick rundown. Currently in first position is Surfer and Blue sitting on a single wave of a six. Second position is Aaron Moreno sitting on a 4.4 and a 0 0.5. Third position is Lucas Osin sitting on a single wave of a 4.9. You require 8.06. And fourth position, Hayden Rogers sitting on a 217. You require a 2.8. 16 minutes, 10 seconds remaining. All right, just want to use some of this downtime once again to shout out some of our sponsors. So we want to shout out Inferentals, Barbados Hotel Tourism Authority, Zaccio's, as we said, providing all that food, General Distributors, Lloyd's Tea, Sun Bomb, making sure everybody's covered up. Uh, we got some free Sun Bomb, Lip Bomb, uh, samples being given away by the bar. Head over to the bar. Okay, we got green way over on the east. Yeah, way up inside. Trying to make this connection. Gets around the section. As he smashes that turn and he actually made that connection all the way from up inside. Yeah, he came from way over to the far side, over to where we call High Rock. So we're going to have a priority review. So we also want to shout out Chick Monk, Eco Sky Water, Mount Gay Rum, oldest rum in the world, Banks Beer, Save Water, Drink Beer, Remy Martin, and St. Luke's Clothing. 
Also say a little word about events unusual, garbage master, container surfaces, pharmacy sales, creative junction, be social, rise on the beach where the judges are sitting right now, letting us use this place, perfect view of Super Bowl. And then we're gonna shout out Jason Jones, Sea Egg Swimwear, and Last Resort Surf Wax. Also want to say, you know, coming up this weekend, in addition to all the surfing finals going off and the live music, we have a bit of a wellness activity going on, wellness activity weekend. So there's going to be some yoga and Pilates. There's a hike being arranged. Eco kids are going to be doing some stuff. So there's something for everybody this weekend and throughout the week. Head over to the bar. Lots of food and drink on sale. If you haven't had one of those fish sandwiches yet that Kimo's serving up, get over there. I heard some guys raving about the burgers yesterday as well. Soft drinks on sale, plenty of fresh cold banks and deputy. As the sun goes down, shots of Mount Gay will start coming out too. Remy Martin. All right, situation in the water. Green, you drop a six, 3.67, you go to first. Blue, you drop the second. Red, you are in third. You require a 1.11. And white, you are in fourth. You require a 3.84. 12 minutes, 50 seconds remaining. So Surf is out there jockeying for position. He's really hey. starting to slow down for right now. Green, he's up and riding. This is Aaron Moreno. Showing tons of power on this wave. Yeah, he's a powerful surfer. Working his way to the inside, banging it off the lip. Trying to get to that inside section, can't quite hang on. So blue on the outside, Ryland Rubens looking to back up that six point ride. So waiting for a wave for green and also blue. Yeah, let's see what blue did on the replay. I was focused on green. I tell you, green, only a couple of maneuvers on that wave, but he displaced a lot of water. Here's blue on the outside, straight up into the first maneuver. Coming back with a little bit of a wraparound, waiting for the reform. And cuts out. I feel like he just didn't get where he wanted to go on that second turn. Wave didn't quite stay up as vertical as I Looked like he was trying to attack it, and it looks like he had to kind of adjust his second turn at the last minute. So priority with red and then white. We're still waiting for these scores to drop. One for red, sorry, one for blue, one for green. So green looking to up the ante. Red, sorry, blue trying to get back in the mix. So waiting for one more score for green. All right, last of green, five to seven. Working on blue, last of blue, four, three, three. So blue goes back to first. Green, you drop to second. Red, you are currently in third position. You require a 4.8. And white, you are in fourth position. You require a 7.5. 10 minutes, 15 seconds remaining. So it looks like the effort the green put into those turns paid off, throwing a lot of spray. Ryland dropping a 4-3-3. Feel like he just didn't get that second section to stand up the way he wanted it to, or that would have been another good score. But still, just under 10 minutes to go, guys.
Nine minutes, 30 seconds remaining. So here we go, White, Hayden Rogers. Hold on to the open face, throwing it out. Oh, geez, on. Yeah. Nine minutes, 30, nine minutes, 15 seconds. You're currently in second position. Your last wave coming in at a five, two, seven. So we just had Aiden up and riding on a wave. I think he recognizes that he's a little behind at the moment. Tried to throw everything at that first section. Here he is on the replay, setting up, and just managed to pick the nose. Here we go, Green, back to live action, up and riding. Aaron Moreno. Working his way all the way to the inside. Aaron feeling that. So coming up next, we have, after this replay. All right, so a little bit late to the first section, but still manages to tag it and come on out pretty vertical. Then just a couple of cutbacks and then an aggressive little snap there. Another little cutback, white water rebound. Smaller inside wave, but he's feeling it. We got just over eight minutes to go, guys. Priority with red, then blue, then white. Green, you're looking for a 5.07 to take over the lead. Red, you're looking for a 4.81 to advance. Green, you, oh, sorry, white, you are looking for a 7.23 to advance. Seven minutes, 41 seconds, and some movement out in the water. Here we go, red. Lucas Osten up and riding, coming hard off the bottom. Nice wrapping cut back in the pocket. Gonna let this one stand up, trying to get a vertical maneuver. A series of cutbacks, and he can't quite hang on to that, and he goes out the back. So he's currently in third position with seven minutes, 15 seconds remaining. Just sitting on a 4.9. Yeah, that's only Lucas' second ridden rave. Here we go. Nice wraparound turn. Just a slight cutback, trying to stay close to the power source. Waiting for a bit of a re reform, but that wave just rolls on down the bay. So priority with blue. All right, with six minutes, blue was gonna use his priority. Out onto the open face, nice little down carve. Blows the fins, whitewater climb. Trying to find some rhythm on this wave. Right and Rubens finishes strong, hangs on to the finishing maneuver with six minutes, 28 seconds remaining. Last of red, 3.67, not enough red, not enough. So you need a 4.81. You still require a 4.81. So the white, here we go, Hayden Rogers. Nice open face down carve, another open face down carve and then throws it up in the lip. He works his way to the inside. He's gonna kick out, try and get back out in front of red, sorry, blue. So that was a solid series of maneuvers. Yeah, three outside maneuvers. First, we're gonna take a look at blue. Nice big wrapping turn. And then you notice he cuts that second turn short so he can make it back up and get that incoming, that incoming white water section that's coming towards him. Manages to ride around. Find a little bit of open water and one last tag to finish. So we're waiting for that score to drop. Here we go with White. Hayden Rogers coming around. Nice turn on the outside. Nice big section, vert. A little bit of a wrap and then here's the money turn. So three nice outside maneuvers. Lots of speed, lots of spray. All right, so they're waiting for that. First, the blue. And then they'll work on the white. So last of blue, 5-3-3. Three, three. So that strengthens your lead by a whole point. So last of blue, 5-3-3. Three, three. Working on surfer and white. Last of white, 7.83. So white goes to second. Green, you drop to third. Green, you require a 
and red, you are fourth. You require a 5.4 as green goes up in the lip vertical. All right, white just dropped a huge score, so green's trying to answer back. As he works his way onto the inside. White, red with priority, Lucas Osten up and riding. Throws it up vertical into the lip, got a nice looking wave ahead of him. Nice down carve, comes out over the open face, another nice slashing turn. As he's gonna let this inside set up, he's gonna maybe get something else to work with. Floats the section, working his way out to this next peak. He's got a hop for it, bangs it vertical off the lip. Praises the Lord. He's in fourth position with three minutes, 45 seconds remaining. So priority goes to the server in white on the outside as we look at this replay from green. First lip, nice and vertical, wrapping back round, waiting for that reform. So white on the outside, up and riding. We're gonna pick up with him. And blue's trying to answer back, so this could be a little pulse we're getting. As white works his way all the way to the inside with three minutes, 10 seconds remaining. We definitely got a heat on our hands. Yeah, the fireworks are starting. All right, so we're waiting on a bunch of big scores, on a bunch of scores to drop. Let's look at some replays. Here goes White first. Hayden Rogers, nice vertical turn, first lip. Wrap around, stay with the white water. Another little snap. Wraps back with a little white water rebound. Try to tag it once, and a finish it. All right, scores trickling in for Red. All right, so scores for red come in at a 6.77, but we're still waiting on a score for blue and white. So you momentarily go into the lead, but we still have two scores to come with green up and riding. Okay, so just two maneuvers. He dropped a 4.07 on his last wave, but we're still waiting for an all-important wave of blue and white. Two minutes to go, guys. Yeah, two minutes. Waiting on some scores. We've seen some good surfing there. That was a little flurry of action after a little bit of downtime. So this whole heat could flip-flop real quick. Yeah, everything's real close. This is the kind of excitement that we turn up for. All the viewers at home sitting on the edge of your seats. I don't know who you guys are supporting. Everyone's got their favorites. So let's look at Green's replay. Drops in, comes up. Little wrapping turn up at the top. Tags that white water section. And then comes down. Red just going to town. This is about the fourth big wrap he's done. Working his way to the inside. Throwing it up vertical. Lucas Osten. All right, less than a minute, guys. Less than a minute, we got some serious scores to drop, servers in the next seat. Hold your positions. I don't have any scores yet, surfers. I don't have any scores yet. 40 seconds remaining. So White's last drops a five, six. So we're waiting for this last of red, the last of blue, and the last of green. Red went to town, that last wave. So blue, last of blue, five, three, zero, does not go in your score line with 10 seconds remaining. So we're waiting on the last of red in three, two, one. So white is up and riding. So service in the next heat, hold your positions. Lovely vertical smack that time. So still waiting on scores to drop for red as white work, working his way all the way to the inside.
Well, so momentarily, White is in first position. He still has a wave to come. Red, you move up to second position. Blue in third. And it's looking like the last of green is 4-4-3, four, four, not enough. So it stays the same. White first, red second, and advancing. Coming in third was blue and fourth in green. So servers in the next heat, stand by. We are on a short hold. We are going to send it down for a quick commercial break. And we'll be back with heat number 13, round of 64. Stay tuned. And the heat is on. So we are live, back to live action. Servers in this heat, we'll round of heat number 13. Levi Slauson, he won the Junior Pro last year here. He's in the red jersey. Luke Guinaldo in the blue jersey. Kepa Mendia in white. And local boy Caleb Rapson in the green jersey. Whoop, whoop. So while we were on that short commercial break, there were no waves ridden. So we're going to start with a clean slate, 24 minutes, 30 seconds. Remaining as the surfers move way up the point. Well, after the fireworks in that last heat, let's just hope we get some more action. There's a lot of talent out there. Yeah, I think we're close enough past the high tide mark. That, that little high tide low is going to be leaving, moving out. Yeah. We, so we saw moving. flurries of waves at the end of that last heat. Surfers were literally paddling out, back out, and catching waves. So Levi Slauson taking the Junior Pro last year, winning that. And coming up next, Owen Moss, who is the current number one for the year, taking a win at Ron John Junior Pro, and a ninth place at the Slow Cal Open in Pismo Beach. This junior heat, this junior division is going to be off the charts. I mean, we got some serious, serious surfers. All right, we got some movement. Lucas Osten also still a junior. So here we go, White up and right in. Kepa Mendia throwing a big air reverse. Can he hang on? Yes, he does. All right, going for the one maneuver. On the left, so. Oh, so here we go. So blue and red kind of battling there a little bit. Ooh. And left on the outside, Caleb Rapson, he will assume priority. Green, green priority. Yeah. So green goes into priority, being the only surfer who did not catch a wave. So here we go, Kepa Mandia. Going for the Hail Mary rotation on the left. That left section offers up that steep, steep vertical ramp. So if you can generate enough speed, then it's a really good air section. Whereas the right tends to be more the bowly section. You're looking for barrels. You're looking for work on the wave face. All right, we're just doing a little review here. We're going to send it down to the replay booth for the winner of the last heat, Hayden Rogers. Here we got green up and right in. First big smack. Nice turn and straight up into the white water to right out. Um, the heat. 
number 12, round three of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International, Hayden Rogers from San Clemente. How are you? I'm good. i uh, super grateful to put that heat together. I had a little bit of a slow start, kind of using my priority wrong. Made two mistakes, but just trying to be like patient, tell yourself to be calm and ended up working out, putting it together at the end. Yeah, well, it seemed that you did try and calm down and reset kind of still at the lineup, reset and still serve very well. Yeah, looks fun over there, no? Yeah, it ended up working out. It's a little more size today, so ended up getting being patient, getting the set wave and worked out. Yeah, that sounds good. How is it here compared to where you're from? Yeah, it's a little different. Super windy over here, but makes for fun wind swell every day and nice to be surfing in trunks, so I'm loving it. <laughs> that too, that would be important. So how are you feeling for the next heat? Are you excited next round? Yeah, I'm super excited. I haven't made it this far in the Barbados comp, so hopefully looking for my best result. I'm excited. Well, well we're all hoping for that, man. Good luck for the next one. You want to say a little hi to friends and family back at home, maybe? Yep, shout out to anyone from San Clemente watching California. Thanks for tuning in. All right, man. Good luck. Can't wait to see you more. Thank you. Bye. All right, we got Caleb up and riding again. Local there boy throwing it out, trying to get a little backup score. His first score, still waiting for his first score to drop. Blue up and out, not liking the look of that one. So just looking at a review for green. Nice first turn, throwing it up into the lip, coming around. Little wrapping turn, and then throws it straight, straight back into the white water and gets the right out. Blue's first wave, first wrapping turn, carved back into the white water. Doesn't like what he sees. All right, here we go, red up and right, and Levi Slauson. Live action, throwing the first turn up in the lip. Out onto the open face. Big fin drift, blow tail. Controls it. Sticking with it. He's going to wait for it to reform. Here we go. Levi Slauson trying to finish strong. Pushes out the fins. And he goes out the back. So previous of green. Previous of green, 483. Last of green, 3.33. Green, you are in first for the moment. First of blue, white, 633. Last of blue, 3.0. We're going to watch this replay of red. Yeah, red going to town on this wave. Throwing out the fins, showing some control. Nearly lost it, sliding down on his back, keeping control, coming back up. Little pumps to get to the inside, and then running down, looking for that last section, tags it home. So last of red, 8.33, 833 for red. So red goes to first, green goes to second. White, you are third, you need a 1.83. And blue, you are fourth, you need a 5.16. Seven minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Yeah, so once again, the judges rewarding that outside work. Shout out to Trish, Fiona, Ryan, Kimo, everybody working behind the bar. Those guys don't take a break. They're making sure that we're fed and kept hydrated all day long. There we go. White with priority, Kepa Mandia. Coming around the section. Whoa. Big blow tail, comes unglued, goes down. You, yeah, you simply can't approach that north section unless you've got lots of board speed. Anytime that you're kind of dogging, that section will overpull you. That will overpower you every time. You need loads of speed, loads of momentum, loads of commitment when you're attacking that north section.
Just under 16 minutes to go, guys. Priority with blue, then green, then red. Green, you're looking for a four. 4.01 to take the lead. White, you're looking for a 1.83 to get into an advancing position. And blue, you're looking for a 5.16 to get into an advancing position. Here we go with blue. Up and right, and Luke Ronaldo really going hard up in that lip, but kind of getting a little hung up. And on the outside, green up and riding. And we're going to stick with blue. Green banging it vertical and blue almost simultaneously. Both of them hit the lip at the same time. And green can't hang on to the finishing maneuver and he goes down. Oh, so we're going to get a paddle battle, guys. Here we go. We play with blue. Blue goes up in the first section, gets a little hung up, but managed to pull it around. Second tag of the lip, waiting for that inside to roll up, to, to form up again, doing some pumping. Staying close to the power source. Keeping that board moving. Tags it one more time. And here we got green. Throwing it straight up into a foam climb. Coming around, wrap around. Waiting for that wave to set up. Look for that nice vertical section. Tags it. Nice invert. Manages to ride out. Couple more wrapping turns and then just loses it on the last turn. And then turns around, gets into a paddle battle with, with blue, Luke. <laughs> All right, last of green, four, three, zero. And waiting on the last of blue. So last of green, four, three, zero. Last of blue, 4.0. So the situation remains the same. Blue first, red second. White is third. White requires a 2.51. And blue, you are fourth, requiring a 4.84. 12 minutes, 13 minutes, 25 seconds remaining. Yeah, Caleb just hanging on to the lead right now, but Levi's got a big score. He's only looking for a small backup score. And he's got priority at the moment, so we expect to see some movement when the next set comes through. 13 minutes to go. Here we go. Here we go, red with priority, Levi Slauson. Wrapping, big wrapping cut back out onto the open face, throws it up in the lip, blows out the fins. Working his way to this shallow part of the reef. Big tail slide, fully in control. Looking nice and loose. Backing up that 8.33. Yeah, let's take a look at that replay. So here we go, replay of Levi Slauson from USA. Nice wrapping turn, throws it up into the lip. Blows the tails out a little bit. Another wrapping turn, staying with the white water. As he gets that reform, races down the line and just throws the tail out nice and loose. Looking totally in control. All right, last of red, 6.67. So red goes to first, green drops to second. White, you are in third, requiring a 2.8. And blue, you are in fourth, requiring a 5.1. White's going to use his priority. Kepa Mandia up and riding, out onto the open face. Pushes the fins out. Wrapping cut back, waiting for this one to reform. Not really going to cooperate too much for him. He's going to stick with it, trying to get one last maneuver in. He does. I know his dad, Peter, used to surf this event all the time. I actually think he might have won. Right. Yeah, maybe it was a top dog at the bowl. I can't really remember. All right, so Kappa. Be bound here. K 
Kepa getting through some work on this wave. Keeping the board moving and getting a nice little tag to finish. All right, so last of white, 2.93, puts you in second position, white. Green, you now require a 4.4. And blue, you require a 5.2. 10 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Well, here we go, server's getting themselves in position. They see it, so I could say it, set is there, but the first two waves went down into the, into the rip, and it just totally missed. Yeah, for anyone on the beach, look over to the left and watch those swells pump and go down into the rip. That is not where you want to be. <laughs> Although some of the local guys go down there and rip it up. I personally have never surfed over there. And uh, I never will. Here we go, a few waves trickling in. Priority is with surfer in blue, followed by green and red. Shout out to all the kids finishing school and tuning in. All the crew over Harrison College and St. Winterford's, St. Michael's Foundation, all the all the surfer dudes that just couldn't and girls, guys and girls, that can't wait till the weekend to get down here. It's actually the uh, Barbados Secondary Schools Sports Inter Sports. Um, is it? No, I think it's this week, Thursday and Friday. No, it's this week. Pretty sure it's this week. I can double check that. But if that's the case, then some children will use that as a day off because there's no actual school that day. It's a day that they all just go down to the stadium and cheer their schools on if, if they're not one of the athletes. So some of the kids may use that as an opportunity to duck out and come over to the bowl, hang out with some of their surf heroes cheer on all the local guys and gals. All right, Red scratching into this one. Levi floats the first section, comes out onto the open face, drives it hard off the bottom, goes up in the lip and comes unstuck and white. He's going to give this one a look, and he's up and out. I think Caleb used the old soldier there and forced him into that wave with 7 minutes and 15 seconds. It was a wise choice. So here's the replay of Levi coming down, a little foam climb and float across the section so he can get in before he was looking to throw that tail out, but a wave just didn't quite stand up. Flattened out a little bit at the top, didn't give him that vertical section that he needed to throw the tail out. And so he just goes down. All right, here we go. Blue's going to pull the trigger on priority. Luke Guinaldo on his backhand goes up vertical, pushes out the fins, and he can't quite manage to hang on to that, and he goes out the back. So that's giving priority back to the local boy, Caleb Rapson. Surfer in green, searching for a 4.4 with 6 minutes and 10 seconds remaining. So... Be interested to see the replay of that one for Blue. It looks like he just caught a little bobble at the bottom of the wave just as he was leaning into that bottom turn. Here we go. Green's giving this one a look. He decides no. Oh, 
All right, coming up in the next seat, Owen Moss, Tal Rodriguez, Ocean Giddens, and Jack Zietz. So here we go, just seeing Luke Ronaldo just catch a bobble at the bottom of that wave. Totally caught the rail at the end and then didn't have the speed to drive up the face of the wave and get into the turn that he was looking to do. Five minutes to go, guys. Looks like everyone's just being patient again, knowing that this next exchange could be the one that settles everything. Here we go, green. Oh, he doesn't go on it. Leaves it for white. Kepa Mendia out onto the open face. He's got a nice north section ahead of him. Big wrapping cutback and he goes down. Could be a little bit of a break for Caleb who let him go with priority. Four, four minutes, four minutes remaining. Your last wave coming in at a 1.17, four minutes remaining. You're in fourth position. Blue, you need a 5-2-7 to get to advance in position. Here we go. Server in green with priority. He's going to pull the trigger. Yes, he is. Kata Brabson, is he going to make it pay off? He goes up in the lip, kind of gets hung up a little bit. He's working it to the inside. He's going to stick with it. Cuts it back. Kata Brabson has a lethal backhand. Is he oh, he writes yes, out. Yes, he does. Oh, he just threw everything at that last hit. So last of White coming in at a 3-1-0. Three minutes and two seconds remaining. Just looking at that replay of Caleb and everything thrown into that last turn, completely redirecting the board, managing to stick it in, stick the fins and right out. So scores starting to trickle in. So 4.47, not enough. So you still remain in third, Caleb. You require a 4.61, two minutes, 30 seconds. Red on the outside with priority. Levi Slauson, he is the current heat leader. Big first vertical turn. Throws it up in the second lip. Working his way all the way out onto the open face. And finish this strong. With two minutes remaining, surfer in green still requiring not 4.6. All right, so Levi Slauson going to town on the outside of this wave. Checking at the replay, coming down, first section, nice and vertical, smooth, and then throws it up, drifting the tail, manages to still come out of that white water. Two major outside maneuvers, and then manages to come in, regain some ski speed, and finish right in front of all the spectators on the beach. One minute 30. All right, last of red, 7.87. 787 for red, so that goes in the score line. He is now sitting on an excellent two-wave heat total. Yeah, so once again, judges rewarding those two big outside maneuvers. One minute remaining. Green looking at this inside section. Going up in the lip. Gonna have to get real busy on this inside. It's not gonna cooperate much with him. With just 45 seconds remaining. It's just not gonna do it. 
throwing a big vertical turn, but I'm sure that's just gonna come up a bit short. Wave really didn't have much height on it. It was an inside wave and blue. Throws it up, white water climb. A little wrapping cut back. And white scratching into this one. This is Kepa Mendia on the outside. But 10 seconds remaining. And four, three, two, and one. And that ends the heat. So the last of green coming in at a two, six, seven. So servers in the next heat, standby. We are on a short hold. So the last of white, even if it does factor in, it's not gonna do what She needs a 9.8 to go to first. He's not gonna get that. So it's gonna come in somewhere around a 3.5. All right, last of white, 3.43. Last of blue, 3.4. All right, servers in the next heat, stand by. We're gonna cut to a few commercial breaks. We'll be right back with heat number 14 in the round of 64. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Action. This is Owen Moss, surfer in red, currently sitting in 10th position. Coming up in this heat, he will be paired up against Tal Rodriguez in blue, Ocean Giddens in white, and Jack Zietz in green. So Owen Moss sitting in 10th position on the QS rankings and sitting at number one in the junior pro rankings. Owen oh, absolutely so Owen, rips. Owen, Owen taking a win at Ron John, bumping him way up. Also okay. placed in ninth in slow cal, and a couple of fifths. Yeah, here's Owen ripping this first wave. He's such a good surfer. Owen the surfer, dropping a 3.17 on your first effort. So coming up in the next round, Luke Weiler, Kei Kobayashi, Charlie Martin, and William Heddleson. Another barn burner of a heat. Luke Weiler sitting in 13th position. Kei Kobayashi sitting in 19. Charlie Martin is a seasoned veteran. And William Heddleson, youngster from Melbourne Beach, Florida. Cocoa Beach, Florida. Home of the 11 time world champion, Kelly Taro Watanabe Slater. <laughs> Shout out to Kelly, still doing it. Well, you learn something new every day. <laughs> so just one heat on one score on the board. So the surfer in red will assume fourth priority. And the other surfers in blue, green, and white will battle it out. Surfer closest to the peak has the right of way on the wave. So for all of you that don't know how the priority works, the priority order is determined by who serves the last wave, and whoever is in first priority has pick of whatever wave they desire. 
Second priority can pick any wave that first priority doesn't want. Third priority can have any wave that second or first doesn't want, and so on. It, in my opinion, it was the greatest change the WSL ever made. It really levels out the playing field. It gives everybody an equal opportunity. It really cut down all the hassling. And we're gonna watch Tao Rodriguez from Panama up and riding. He was here last year for the first time and really put on a show for everybody. So this youngster really surfs well. Really good kid, tries really hard. And on the outside, Owen Moss with a big first turn, nice wrapping cutback, working his way out onto the open face. Bouncing off the white water. We're gonna stick with red, but white is also up on the outside. Ocean Giddens. So that's gonna hand priority to the surfer in green, Jack Zietz. All right, first exchange. Wait for some replays and see how we do. All right, so here we're looking at Tower Rodriguez from Panama. <clears throat> Tags that first section, makes his way around. Little snap off the top. Another little roundhouse cut back. Carve back towards the white water. That wave kind of rolls away. It doesn't offer any of that north face. And here we got Owen Moss going straight up. Nice snap on the first turn. Wrap around. Another wrap around with a little white water rebound. Board's looking real loose on the Owen's feet. Oh, and he finishes on the inside. And here's local boy, replay of local boy Ocean Giddens' first wave, goes up, throws that layback hat. Wave kind of fiddles out on him, doesn't offer anything else for him to work with. So here we go, live action, Tal Rodriguez, that was his first turn on a really nice looking wave. Backs it up with another major maneuver, so that's two major maneuvers on that wave. Comes around the section, throws it up again. Working his way all the way to the inside, he was in Second priority, so got that wave under priority from green and white on the outside. He's gonna roll into this one. Here we go, Ocean Giddens, local boy, coming around the first section, pushing out the fins. Nice big wrapping cutback. Getting some clean water, another nice tail slash. And on the outside, red, opening up a big turn, another big turn. Owen Moss, he's no stranger to this wave, knows it well, finishes it, still not done. And now he finishes it, so four major maneuvers on the outside. So judges have got their hands full. Yeah, nice exchange. We're going to start off with Tao Rodriguez going up and getting a lip line smack. Twists off the top of that one, makes his way around. Nice little snap off the top. Deep bottom turn, one more snap. Making his way down to the inside and finishes with another little vertical tag off the lip. Now we're looking at Ocean Giddens in white. Coming around that section. Nice snap off the top. Nice wrapping roundhouse, rebound off the white water. Throws that layback. All right, here we go. We're going to wait for some scores to drop. Well, we're going to stick with this replay. Oh, here goes Owen Moss. Owen, that's the first big hit. Second big hit. Nice wrap around. Another tag off the lip. So two big outside maneuvers. Makes his way to the inside and gets two more. Let's see where the judges go with these scores. All right, so we're all caught up. We're going to throw it down to the replay. With the winner of the last heat, Levi Slauson. Here we are at the St. Luke Glass with the winner of the heat number 13, round three of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International, Levi Slauson. How are you?
I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. So how was that heat? A lot of waves were surfed, right? Yeah, it was really fun. Uh, the waves kind of turned on this afternoon. Uh, I've been watching all morning, been kind of fiending to surf a little bit and uh, watching all my friends rip. And uh, yeah, I guess that's what we're all here for is, uh, you know, have a good contest. And, you know, this wave is amazing. And uh, we're all just so lucky to have a contest here. I think that's what's kind of been blowing us all away the last week is the waves were really good. And uh, the fact that we get to surf heats here with only a couple guys out is is crazy. And uh, yeah, so it's it's been a lot of fun. I'm just enjoying it. Yeah, I mean, you're ripping over there. You got a pretty decent heat uh, heat total. So you must be happy about that. Pretty confident for the next round. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm super confident for this event. My boards feel great. I want to thank Sharpie and uh, Marcio Azuvi and Taylor Clark for shaping me some super great boards for this event. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the rest. Just going to contain myself and yeah, just continue surfing. And uh, most of all, I guess, just having fun and enjoying my time here. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I just want to say hi to everybody back home. I know everybody's probably watching. Uh, just want to say what up to my friends and family. And uh, I love you guys. I miss you all. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have a good event and come home and uh, celebrate with all you guys. Sounds great. Love to have you here. Keep shredding, man. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> OK, so back to live action. Had some serious scores dropping. So Red, you are currently in first position. You have a 7.1 and a 6.0. Blue, you are in second position. You have a 7.07 and a 4.5. White, you are currently in third position. Does White have another wave coming? Yeah. White, you have another wave coming. And Green, you are in fourth position. You have a 2.5. So you're still waiting on a wave for White. So this is the wave we're waiting on for White. Big vertical outside turn. Huge section there. One of the biggest sections I think we've seen for the day. I think that was his last, but he has one before that as well coming. So it's not going to change the situation because he needs a pretty high score. So here we go. Red up and right in. Owen the Moss. Nice wrapping cutback. So last of white was a 4.13, Ocean. 4.13. As Owen Moss working his way all the way down to the inside. As the wind starts to clock around a little more to the southeast. It's going to start to get a little bowlier. As you can see, the wind isn't breaking up the swell. As we look at this replay from Red. All right, Red just coming around and carving back towards the white water. Another nice carve. Waiting for that section to wall up a little bit to give him something to attack. All right, priority is with a surfer in blue on the outside, followed by green and white. And look at these waves. Oh, my goodness. This is just from the wind dropping off. Here we go. Tal Rodriguez on a solid-looking wave goes right up in the lip, upside down, out onto the open face. Beautiful backhand attack, but is the wave going to cooperate for him on the inside? He's going to try and stick with it. He's trying to reform for him. It does. So he's going to continue going on down the line. You can just look at the technique and concentration from this young surfer from Panama. Last of red, 493. So that doesn't factor in. And here we go. Surfer in green. He has priority. He's up and riding. To Sorry. That is Jack Zietz. Working out onto the open face. He is currently in fourth position, sitting on a 2.5. So that wave will go into a score line. Here's the wave we want to see. Look at this first maneuver. Vertical up into the section, almost upside down. Comes out straight into the next maneuver. Then after that, manages to stay with the wave a little bit. Pump his way to the inside and get one more tag. Oh, two more tags. There we go. But that outside maneuver was all the money. A little replay of green. Getting up a little bit late. Getting hung up on the first turn. Almost loses his balance. Tries to get around the section and then doesn't see any more scoring potential. Decides to kick out. 
Paddle back into the lineup. So we have priority now with Ocean Giddens in white, followed by Owen Moss in red, Jack Zietz in green. Blue, you need a 6.04 to get into first place. Oh, wait, they're still waiting on a score to drop. We go white, up and right, and last of blue, 7.03. Tau 7.03, you go to first as Ocean Giddens working his way down the line. Series of major maneuvers. This is going to be his best for sure as he's working it all the way to the inside, trying to finish strong, and he does. Yes, he fist pumps it. He knows what that means. He's feeling good about that one. And the crowd is loving it. Let's hear the crowd for the local boy. Come on. Here we go. Replay of Ocean's Wave. Comes up, comes around. Nice carve back in the pocket. Nice vertical hit, throwing the tail out. Attacks that section. Throwing the tail, throwing the fins out a bit. Comes around with a nice layback carve. And then inside to finish it with another tail throw. Yeah, showing some variety. He likes it. Let's see what the judges think. That was good surfing from Ocean. Lots of variety, lots of flow, lots of commitment. So judge is really taking the time analyzing these two scores. We're waiting on this score for white. Red, red. And red up and right and Owen Moss on a beautiful looking wave. These waves are just like this just because the wind dropped in and smashes that North Peak. Hangs on, comes around the section. Bangs it up again. He's going to look to finish strong. And another big hit for Owen Moss, currently in second position. So we're looking for White now. Here we go. This is the replay for Red. Owen Moss looking down the line. He's eyeing up that north section and bangs it. And it's so difficult to hang on to that. Anybody who's ever surfed this wave knows that that is the most critical spot in the wave. So last of white, 693. Last of white, 693. White, you're still in third. You need a 618 to go into second position. Surfer in green. Priority goes to blue, then white. So priority order, blue, white, green, blue, white, green. Eight minutes remaining. We're still waiting on this score for what, for, sorry, for red. Waiting on this, for red. That was a combination of big major maneuvers. 7.9 red, 7.9 red goes to first, blue drops to second. White, you are third, you now require a 7.1. And green, you are fourth, you need a combination of 14.10. Seven minutes, 10 seconds remaining. All right, well, Owen dropping a couple of good scores, taking the lead there. Here we go, White up and riding. 
Okay, Ocean Giddens, big wrapping cut back out onto the open face. And he goes out the back, he knows that just with them inside turns, he's not gonna muster up a 717. He needs something big on the outside. So the surfer in red, Owen Moss, currently sitting in 10th position on the rankings. And the surfer, Tal Rodriguez, currently sitting in 22nd. So Owen trying to keep his position and Tao trying to leapfrog over some surfers as the wind continues to even get lighter and go more around to the right. People starting to whistle. Surfers seeing what I'm seeing, putting themselves into position. This next Surfer exchange. Blue is in priority. He goes over the first one. He knows exactly what he's looking for, sitting on two sevens. So who's going to sniff this one out? Nobody. They let that go. Your top three surfers here all need a good score. Here we go. Blue with priority. He's up and riding. Tal Rodriguez. Wave lines up all the way down into the channel. He's going to have to grow some legs. Big floater. Out onto the open face. That wave just went a little fat on him as he finishes strong so don't think that's gonna muster up the seven range that's yeah not really gonna build on his score with five minutes remaining surface five minutes remaining oh we have a replay of oceans first wave, uh, last wave nice wrap and turn but then the wave just kind of fizzles out, runs down the bay. He doesn't see any more scoring potential. So I was actually just going to say before that last wave that uh, it's a patience game with these guys now. The top three all requiring pretty decent scores. So those little inside waves are probably not going to get it done. You want to get those outside set waves, give you the maximum scoring potential. If you can get two or three maneuvers on the outside, you're well on your way to a good score. Make your way into the inside and get a couple more maneuvers. Get the crowd cheering. Get the judges excited. You're going to see some big scores drop. But really hard to do that on the inside waves where you don't get that outside scoring potential. Just under four minutes left. Priority with green, then red, then white. Here we go. Surfer's putting themselves in position. This is a solid-looking outside wave. Surfer in green with priority is going to leave it for white. White up and riding. Ocean Giddens throws up the first turn. Working his way out onto the open face. Cutting it back. Setting up the inside. Throwing it vertical, working his way to the inside. Three minutes, 10 seconds remaining. All right, Ocean surfing really well. I was really impressed with his first heat this morning, which I watched at home. Here we go, dropping in deep, coming around the section, foam climb vertical, manages to stay with it, comes back around, second wrap and turn. Rebound off the white water, looking for that vertical section. Another or wrap and turn. Gets a little hung up there as the wave kind of flattens out, but then he has to wait for that reformed tack. Smacks it off the lip. And one last tag. So let's see if that adds to his total. Cuts down the requirement for him to get into an advancing position. All right, just coming up on two minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Last of white will go in your scoreline, 4.53, but that does not help your cause. You still require a 7.93. That's a 7.17 for Ocean. Sorry, 717. Yeah. Right, so white, you require a 7.17. Green, you are in a combo situation. 
So you're going to require two waves in under two minutes. Blue, you require a 7.93 to get to first. Priority is with green, then red, then blue, and, and last priority is white. White, you need a 717. One minute 30. Shout out to all the judges, been here, staying focused all day long, getting their Eco Sky water. Staying hydrated, keeping an eye on all the action. There we go, Ocean Giddens looking at that one with 50 seconds remaining. Servers in the next heat, thank you very much. Just stay where you are. Thirty seconds remaining. The situation remains the same. Serving red first, blue second. Right, here we go. On the outside, anybody in position. Blue, green, looks like he's gonna turn. And blue going left, so we're gonna stick with green. With one second remaining, that ends the heat. Green's wave will count, so. Servers in the next heat, please stand by. Please stand by, we're gonna let you get into position. So neither one of these waves are gonna factor in. All right, so official results, surfer in red, taking the win, advancing into the round of 32, followed by the surfer in blue, Tal Rodriguez also advancing into the round of 32. Bowing out of the event is surfer in white, Ocean Giddens and Jack Zietz. So it's time for you guys to have fun. We're gonna throw it down to commercial break. We'll be right back with heat number 15 of the round of 64. We'll be right back. Introducing the crown of light. It's the only 90 faceted modern dome shaped diamond with 24 bezel facets on the crown, giving it arguably three times more sparkle than any other diamond cut out there. This is Crown of Light. Okay, welcome back to the broadcast. Here we go, Surfer in blue, giving that one a sniff. So calling his heat, number 15 in red, Luke Weiler in blue, Kay Kobayashi in white, Charlie Martin, and in green, William Hedelson. This is number heat number 15. We have one more heat to go for the day. Yep, penultimate heat of the day. It's been a really awesome day here. The weather's been amazing, nice and breezy. We've had some good waves on show, some awesome surfing, good vibes on the beach. We're coming up in this seat, Luke Weiler. He's currently ranked number 13, so he's very close to that top 10 qualification position. Also, Kei Kobayashi. He is number 19, as I said yesterday. Well, earlier, that surfer from all the way down from 20th last year, was able to qualify. So red up and right in Luke Weiler, and green on the outside. As we're just rolling on through this reds wave. We're gonna finish it strong. Green goes out, and white is continuing. Charlie Martin, the seasoned veteran, Working his way all the way to the inside. So surfer in blue, Kei Kobayashi on the outside will take priority as the surfer in white smashes that ending maneuver. Yeah, that last, that last maneuver was venomous. Yeah. Kei has been coming here for years 
But let's have a look at these replays. All right, so we got Luke Weiler up first. Nice wraparound carve. A little more of that E section, so having to stay closer to the white water, close to the pyro source. And now you can open up a little bit, look down the line. <clears throat> and tag it for the finish. And then we got William coming up. Nice first turn off the top, wrapping around. Again, a little more east in that swell, so just rolls off, or misses the reef. Here we go. Live action, green, up and riding. And he goes out the back. So priority sitting on the outside with the surfer in blue. K Kobayashi K has been coming here for a long time. He knows this wave well. Had some really good results here. So we didn't get a replay of Charlie Martin's wave, but he had a nice wave that he ripped all the way to the inside. That last maneuver was venomous. Charlie's such a happy, smiley, friendly guy, but when he gets out there, he's like he's angry at the world. Here we go again. A replay of Charlie's last wave, just some foam climbing. Came from quite deep over towards the high rock side. Had to do a lot of work to get back onto the face, but there we go. Venomous. Okay, scores in. First of red, 417. First of green, 267. First of white, 5.0, so early going. White first, red second, green, you are third. And blue, yet to open your account, you are currently fourth. 21 minutes remaining, plenty, plenty time. This is heat number 15 of the round 64. Coming up next, we will have the North American leader, Alan Cleland, white, up and riding, Charlie Martin, coming around the section, throwing it up in the oh. lip. And he just gets clipped. Just jamming a little too hard there. Looks like he lost his foot in the wax. Slipped off. Here we go. We can see exactly what will happen. Nice down carve. Cut back into the wave. Up into the lip. <clears throat> just foot just slips off the back of the board. So just a small backup score for Charlie. 3.17. But that puts you in the lead. So, situation update. Charlie Martin, you're in the lead with a combine of 1.87. 8.17, sorry. 8.17. Uh, Luke Red, you are in second place. Here we go. Live action. Blue up and right. And Kei Kobayashi with priority. Goes up in the lip. Out onto the open face. Floats the section. He's going to hang on to it. Yes, he does. He rides out. And green on the outside, banging it vertical. William Hedelson, oh, just Whoa. going up in the lip a little too hard, losing the fins, and he goes down. Just threw it a little too hard on that last section. But let's have a look at blue. Kai's first wave, Kay's first wave, first section. Throws loads of spray, and then up into that bowly vertical section coming his way. Manages to ride out loads of turbulence. That is committed surfing. And now we look at green. First turn, loads of energy. Second turn, nice and vertical. Third turn, comes unstuck. Looks like he dug the nose there. Tried to throw it a little bit too hard. All right, first of blue. Scores dropping 7.67 for K Kobayashi. Last of white, 317. Waiting on the last of green. It was a two-turn combination, so we'll see what the judges come into that one. So once again, with that score dropping for Cave, we've seen that consistently the judges reward that outside committed surfing for those big sections. That is a surefire for, for, sure fire formula for big scores. All right, we're going to send it down to the glass with the winner of the last heat, Owen Moss. Here we are at the San Luis Glass with the winner of heat number 14, round three of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International, Owen Moss. How are you today? Hey, yeah, I've just uh, won my first heat. I'm feeling pretty good. 
Yeah, I mean, Waves that just cleaned up for you over yeah. there. Yeah, no, I'm stoked. Uh, I've been kind of like waiting all day, but I'm glad because the Waves were actually probably the best it's been all day. So, yeah, it was fun. For sure. I saw you dropping a couple of seven points over there, kind of trying to get back to Tao. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, I'm... Um, we both kind of started with some scores, and then he he got he had me like halfway through the heat, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to really make sure I got back in first, and then I just picked off one with priority, and then got the score to go to first, and then kind of just tried to control the rest of the heat after that. Well, you're looking pretty strong over there. How is it compared to home? Um, yeah, it feels good to be in some waves. Um, just left Coco, kind of. I won I won both divisions there, so I kind of. Had to like reground myself this past week, so yeah, no, it just feels good to make that first heat and kind of get it out of the way, for sure. All right, well, glad to see you riffing over there. You want to say a little something for friends and family, maybe a little shout out to somebody, sponsors, friends. Yeah, no, just shout out to my sponsors and all my fam family and friends watching me. Um, yeah, thanks for the support. All right, man, thank you so much. All right, Keep thank it up. You. <laughs> all right, back to live action from the St. Luke interview while we were away. Had some scores drop. So the score for green dropped in at a 5.67. White dropped a 3.63. And blue dropping in at a 4.57. So situation in the water. Blue is in first. So there's a replay of blue's last wave. Dropping in from deep. Another committed attack on that section. Manages to come around the white water and get back onto the open face. Such a fast surfer. Keeping the board moving making his way down and tags it to finish. So Blue, you're in first position with a 7.67 and a 4.5. White, you're in second with a 5.0 and a 3.63. Green, you are in third with a 5.6 and a 2.6. You require a 2.9 to go into second. And Red, you are fourth with a 4.17. You require a 4.4. 14 minutes, 55 seconds remaining. So we saw Charlie come unstuck on that wave. Nice section, but as he got down to the bottom, too much turbulence. Those two waves converging, knocking him off. Yeah, he just, just ended up in the wrong spot when those two waves just took him out. So let me, while I'm here, let me shout out all the posse in Tobago tuning in. Alvin and Josh and all the crew. Josh was here last year. I don't think he made it this year. But uh, they just messaged me telling me that they're tuning in. So big up all the Tobago crew. Hope to come see you guys soon. All right, just coming up on the 15-minute mark. Coming up in the next heat, number one ranked surfer in the North America Qualifying Series, Alan Cleland. In blue, Grayson Grant, Anthony in white, Anthony Filligan, and in green, Hagen Johnson. So you fellas should be checking in, get ready to go. Alan was actually a former champion in the Live Lake Xander 2022, taking the victory on that. In the last heat we saw Last couple of heats, we saw Levi Slauson taking the win last year in that junior event. Fourteen minutes, twenty-three seconds. We got Kai out front. Luke Weiler holding priority, looking for a mid-size score to get into an advancing position. So once again, I want to say good afternoon to all our international audience, all the folks around Europe, everyone getting home from work and tuning in. Well, here we go, back to live action. White, Charlie Martin, up and riding. Wow. Trying to push it just a little too hard. Losing Man. the fins and way up inside, blue, Kei Kobayashi. He is the current heat leader, sitting on a 7.67 and a 4.5. Nice big two vertical snaps, a third one. Coming out onto the open face, big wrap around figure eight, cut back, throwing it up in the lip, back into the open face. Looking to finish this one strong. 
Once again, nice surfing there from Kay. He's so fast. It's coming from way deep up on the east. East section there, closer to High Rock, making his way right across and surfing right through into the bowl. Let's take a look at that replay. Here we go, Green, William Hedison, live action, up and out the back. So that was a little bit of a mistake, priority mistake there. Yeah. So he'll go into third priority. So here's Blue taking off from deep, separating himself from the rest of the pack, having to keep that momentum going down the line. You notice that every one of those, those hits, he just kept his board projecting down the line trying to make his way out to the bowl. Now he gets in front of the wave and he can cut back a little bit, wait for it to reform. And that's all she wrote. And once again, Blue getting it done. Shout out to Ray and all the Black Best boys tuning in. Hope to see all those guys down here on the weekend, getting loads of messages from different people in Barbados and all over the world, saying they're enjoying the coverage and they can't wait to get down and take part. I wanna see more people than sand on the beach this weekend. Remember growing up as a kid coming down to Soup Bowl Watching all. All right, last of blue, 607. Last of blue, 607. So, Kay, you're sitting on a 7.6 and a 607. Currently, comfortably in first position. Second position is the surfer in white. You're looking to back up a 3.6, Charlie. And surfer in green. You're sitting on a 5.67 and a 2.6. You just need a 2.96 to move up into an advancing position as the surfers are moving around into position. Server in green under everybody's priority, up and riding, goes up in the lip, big first turn, but that's all she's gonna write for him. So he is looking to just back up a very small score and red, giving that one a look, decides to leave it. Yeah, 10 Red's, minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Red's holding priority and knows his next Move is gonna be a big one. Here we go. Up and right and red, coming off the bottom. Nice big wrapping cutback. Setting up this inside section. Throws up the fins, pushes it out. Hangs on to that north section. He's gonna work it all the way to the inside. He's gonna look to finish strong. It's a little whitewater floater. All right, so Luke uses, lose, using his priority on that one. Let's have a recap, see how we go. Oh, Here we back go. to live White action. On the outside, Charlie Martin, nice down carve. Another nice down carve. Eyeing up the north section, pushes out the fins, working his way onto the open face. Nice little tail slash, throws it up in the lip. Once again, Charlie Martin, he liked that one. Yeah. So last of green, 3.07. So it was enough to momentarily put you into second, but we're waiting for a wave for white. So white just had a wave and also red. So just seeing the replay of Luke's second ride. He's only got two rides at the moment. Using his priority on that one. Managed to do a little bit of work on the outside and then still managed to find his way on the inside and get one last tag. But here we're looking at replay of white. First turn, nice wrapping turn back to the power source. Another wrapping turn, waiting for it to develop. Here we go. Comes around, little foam climb, gets to the inside, throws the tail, makes his way. Another tag, throws the tail one more time. He's liking that. So last of red, 603. So red goes to second. Blue, current heat leader, up and right in Keiko Bayashi. Nice big down carve in the pocket, first turn. Working his way out onto the open face. A 
Working it all the way to the inside. Finishing it strong. He's still got more work to do. Another finishing maneuver. So last of white, 603. So last of white, 603. So blue, you are in first. White, you are in second. Red, you are in third. You are looking to replace a 5.0. Sorry. You're looking for a 5.0 to advance. And green, you are in fourth. You are looking for a 5.3. So red needs a 5.0. Green needs a 5.3. Seven minutes, 25 seconds remaining. All right, just watching that replay of K getting some work done. So one more score to draw for K. Doesn't look like it will factor. All right, last of blue, 4.8. So that doesn't change anything, does not factor in. Six minutes, 45 seconds remaining. Service in the next seat, you should be checked in, ready to go. Please pat it out in five minutes, but please stay down in the channel. That will be the final heat of the day. All right, surfers jostling, they see something happening. Green with priority at the moment. Here we go, red. He's gonna pull the trigger. But green on the outside, red with a big first turn. And green on the outside, William Heddleson on a sizable wave as red continues. And green, big first maneuver on the outside. Can he hang on to that north section? Yes, he does as red works his way to the inside. And green goes down, but green having two big turns on the outside as red finishing strong. All right. So this was third and fourth battling it out. That was a great exchange. That could shake things up. Those are the two in the bottom. First turn from red, straight up vertical. Drifts a little bit across the lip line, manages to come back down. Wrap around and try to look for a little bit more. Nice snap on the inside. Another snap on the inside, throwing the tail a little bit. Red kicks out. But we're looking at green's wave. Nice sizable wave on the outside. First nice vertical turn. Throws it straight into the white water where those two sections converge and green manages to write out. So just the two turns, but nice, lots of commitment. So back to live action, Charlie Martin, he goes down. So this is gonna be a battle between white and green. So this is a replay of white. All right, last of red, 6.73. So red goes to second. Still have a wave to drop for white and green. Yeah, white was on his way to a decent score there, but then the wave just kind of gave him a bit of a weird ridge running through it, and as he tried to cut back, caught the rail, and got thrown off. Four minutes, 25 seconds remaining. So one more score to drop for green, 4.8 for green. So green, you're currently in fourth. And we have a wave to drop for white. And then I'll update the whole situation. White in fourth priority. All right, last of white, it's not gonna factor in. So blue first, red second, white, you are third. White, you require a 6.7. Green, you are fourth, you require a 7.0. Three minutes, 15 seconds remaining. 
Let's see if the bowl's gonna serve something up so we can have some fireworks at the end of this heat. Here we go, Green up and riding. Oh, he lets that one go. Green would have given up his priority on that. So priority changed. Blue, red, white, green. Blue, red, white, green. Red, you are currently in second position. You need a 7.02 to go to first. White, you are in third position. You need a 6.7 to advance. And green, you are in fourth position. You need a 7.09 to advance. Two minutes, 20 seconds. Green showing some interest. There we go, green, up and right in. Smashes that first turn, but that's all that's gonna offer him. With two minutes remaining, he go goes in. down. Yeah, that was incomplete. So coming up, last two minutes of the penultimate heat of the day. Once again, just shout out our sponsors. BTMI, helping bring this all together, presented by Diamonds International, Tourism Development Corporation, and SLAM 103 FM. Also want to shout out Inferentals, the Barbados Hotel Tourism Authority, Zacchio's General Distributors. I hope you got some action going on in the water. There we go, Surfer in white, Charlie Martin. He's looking for a score. Took off a little behind that North Peak. He's gonna get around it though. Get out onto the open face. Working his way to the inside. One minute remaining. So he's looking for score in the good range. All right. He liked it. He got some work done there. He almost surfed down to cattle wash. So just waiting on the scar to drop for Charlie. Let's see if we can take a look at that repl replay. All right, 30 seconds. So Surfer and Blue currently comfortably in the lead, holding priority over the Surfer in red, currently in second position. We are waiting for a final score for White to come in with 15 seconds. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to enter into a score line with 10 seconds. We're going to count it in here in five seconds. In three, two, one. So, so servers in the next heat, stand by. We're on a short hold. We are on a short hold. We will let you get into position. This will be the final heat of the day. So taking the win, a surfer in blue, K Kobayashi advancing into the round of 32. And coming in second, Luke Weiler. He also advances into the round of 32. So both of these servers are in the top 20. And so far, we've only lost one surfer from that top 20 that's here. So we are setting up for an exciting day in that round of 32. But we're gonna throw this to a commercial break, let the servers get into position. We'll be right back. Please stand by. Up every single race, paradise is be named. Come over and you will fall in love. I should stay, have a special time of the year where we just get away. Most beautiful display. Go search a million ways.
Coming up in this heat, number 16 final heat of the day, Alan Cleland in red, Grayson Grant in blue, Anthony Filligam in white, and Hagen Johnson in green. While we were on that short break, no waves were ridden. So here we go with your current number one ranked surfer in this heat. So Grayson Grant drawing first blood way behind that first section. Can't make it around. So Alan Cleland is your current points leader. Placing a second in Pismo, a third in Jax, a fifth in Cabaret, another fifth at Quicksilver, and a 13th at the Coldwater Classic. So he's looking to probably throw away that 13th at the Coldwater, sitting with 5,460 points. So he's on top of the leaderboard. Here we go, in white, Anthony Fillingham out onto the open face, big first turn. That's all she wrote, and he goes out the back, surfer from Costa Rica. Yeah, Alan is always dangerous here at the bowl. He absolutely loves it. The locals love him. He rips, and he loves this wave. All right, so looking back at White's first wave, just one big turn, a little bit of a drift, and then it flattens up, doesn't give him anything to work with. But yeah, I know Alan was really disappointed last year when he went out. I know he's come back this year with fire in his belly, so. Keep an eye on that kid. Well, no takers on that wave. Here we have a view of some of the rock pools here. There you go, beautiful. Those rock pools come out at low tide. Perfect, natural little swimming pools. Here we go, blue, Grayson. Up and riding, going up in the lip, first turn, banging it, vertical, on the north section, another vertical turn, throwing some spray. Works his way all the way down to the inside. He's currently just sitting on a very small score. All right, so looking at this replay of blue, comes in, nice carving. Maneuver for the first section, tags the second one nice and vertical, third tag, force wrap and turn, almost loses it there, and then cuts out. Wave doesn't offer much more. So Blue, your last wave is just coming at a 5.5. So right now you sit in the lead with a 5.5 and a 0.5. Here you guys, for our international audience, seeing more of pictures of those rock pools, how nice and relaxing it is. You got big waves crashing 50 meters outside of you and then just little trickling white water coming in where you can sit with a beverage or your family or your dogs and absolutely relax, cool off, check out all the surf action just outside. So here we are guys, last heat of the day. Heat 16 in the round of 64 in the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro 5000, presented by Diamonds International Tourism Development Corporation and Slam 103 FM. 
Also going to shout out our sponsors. Oh, here we go. Back to live action. Red up. Coming from around the section. Nice committed turn. Big <coughs> off the lip with a blow tail. Rebound off the white water. And that's it. Doesn't see anything more. Paddling back out. On the outside, Anthony Fillingham smashed that wave. Yeah, waiting for the replay on that one. So here we go, replay of red, first wave. Lay back, carve, throws it up into the lip and throws the tail out, blowing the fins out the back. Big wrap around, rebound off the white water, and then that wave just rolls away. In the meantime, we had Green on a throwaway score on the, on the left, looking to launch, but didn't have a landing. All right, we're going to cut to the glass while these judges deliberate on these scores for the St. Luke interview with Kay Kobayashi, winner of heat number 15. Here we are at the St. Luke glass for the heat winner, Kay Kobayashi, heat 15th of this round three of the BTMI Barbados Surf Road presented by Diamonds International. How are you? I'm feeling pretty good. Waves are super fun. It's always good when you can start the heat with a seven, and yeah, I feel really good. Boards feel really good. I rode this board in the last contest on Pismo in California, so I know it works well. And um, yeah, I've been coming to Barbados for a few years now. I love this wave, and yeah, thank you to Xander's dad for everything. And um, yeah, we get to surf in Xander's name, so it's really cool and it's inspiring. And yeah, this event means a lot to me and t to all the surfers here. Five thousand, the only five thousand actually, and um, yeah, I'm just really grateful to be here. Yeah, we're glad to have you, you know, nice and healthy, looking strong over there. You want to tell us a bit more about those fins, maybe? That's an interesting setup you got there. Yeah, it's actually pretty classic. These are uh, FCS H4s. Um, I've actually been riding these for the last, yeah, like five years, three, three to five years. And, yeah, they're pretty unique. They're, like, Swiss made. And, yeah, I really like them in all conditions. I actually ride them in, you know, like three to, three to four foot waves all the way to ten feet. So they work really well. And... Yeah, I just want to give a big thanks to all my sponsors for supporting me and Chad Wells. And, um, yeah, say hi to my girlfriend, friends, family, and, um, yeah. Uh, and then, eh, to eh, to eh, to eh, to and then, 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 to and then, eh, 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 to and to all right, man. Thank you so much. Nice having you back. Thank you. Have fun. Action. <laughs> Thank you, Amaya, for that St. Luke interview. While we were away, scores dropped for red. 7.60. Also for blue, 5.5. White, 5.8. And green, 4.0. Hey, we're looking at Hagen's first wave. Second wave, sorry. Nice smack off the lip there. Comes around. Just a two hit combo. And here we're looking at a replay of blue. Grayson just one turn, kicks out, doesn't see anything, decides he wants to keep priority over green. And then we got back to live action. Alan Cleland just catching the end of that wave, him absolutely tearing into that section. Let's wait for the replay to see how the rest of that wave looked. All right, here we go. Live action, white on the outside, up and right, and Anthony Finnegan. First turn, up in the lip. Just loses the fins a bit. Comes out onto the open face. Just showing the judges that he's still in control. Little down carve. Drop the wallet. 14 minute, 35 seconds remaining. The judges are going to watch this replay of red. All right, so we got Alan coming up, just for a setup turn, attacking that first lip vertically, coming around the section, and throws it all at that incoming North Bowl. 
So as we were saying earlier, when you're attacking that ball, the key is loads of speed and momentum. And here we're looking at White, Anthony, nice wrap and turn. Almost loses the fins on that second turn. Nice layback hack on the last, and then decides to cut out. All right, back to live action. Last of green, blue, 217. So waiting for a score for red and also for white. So last of red, 783, 7.83 for red. Now we're looking at white. Seeing where this is going to come in at. Judges are giving this one a hard look. I think that little wobble. Here we go. Blue up and right in. First turn. Goes around the section. Up in the lip. Working his way to the north peak. Pushes the fins out. And white on up and right. And on the outside. Finnegan. Oh, he oh. came so close to making that. That was launched. Yeah, he just would have landed on Totley Whitewater. Let's see that one again. White just taking off into orbit. First, we're going to go with Blue Grayson coming around the section. Nice first tag. Drops back in with the lip. Comes around. Almost loses it there. Picks his speed up and manages to tag the Whitewater for a finish. Here, we're going to look at White. Permission to lift off. Here we go. Blows it around, comes down. Oh, I hope he's okay on that one. All right, previous of white, previous of white, 410. So we have one more for uh, blue to drop, but currently, white, you are in second position, but we do have a score for blue to drop. He is in third. So that may factor in, but two waves to Alan Cleland. 783-760, you are currently in first position. Yeah. White, you have a 583 and a 4.1. And green, you have a 4.0 and a 1.1. Blue, you have a 5.5, and I am waiting for your next wave. So once again, Alan dropping that 783, and the judges very consistently awarding those outside maneuvers, those big critical sections, and loads of commitment. Okay, last of blue, 503, sends you to second. So white, you're now third. White, you require a 4.7. And green, you are fourth, you require a 6.5. Eleven minutes. This is the final heat of the day. Okay. All right, here we go. We're gonna a little lull in the ocean right now. We got Alan sitting out front, leading this heat with priority, sitting with priority. So he's in a very strong position right now. Ten and a half minutes to go. Grayson sitting in second, Blue sitting in second, with a combined total of 10.53. So he's looking for a big score to get to front. We're gonna review this last. All right. Priority change, red, green, blue, white. Red, green, blue, white. Okay, after review, it was deemed white did not paddle for that wave. Check that blue paddled. So priority order is red, green, white, blue. Red, green, white, blue. 
Nine minutes, 15 seconds to go. So we're just down to the last nine minutes of the final heat. Alan Cleveland standing in a sitting in a really strong position. Grayson Grant, blue, you're in second place. White, you're in third place. You're looking for a 4.7 to advance. And green, you are in fourth place, and you are looking for a 6-5-3 to advance. All right, here we go. Live action. Green, Hagen Johnson up and riding. That wave looked like it was going to grow some legs on it. And unfortunately, it just fizzled out. Yeah, that's not going to be the 6-5 he's looking for. So priority still sitting with Valen, with red in the lead, followed by white and then blue. White, you're looking for a 4.7. Green, you're looking for a 6.53. And blue, if you want to take the lead off of red, you're going to need a 9.9. Nice to see more and more folks going down to the rock pools, having a little dip, cooling off while still supporting the surfers. Expecting to see some big crowds by the weekend. We're seeing a lot of people around and it's only, uh, it's only the day two. Weekends always get a lot busier. School's out, no excuses for having to go to work. So you wanna see a lot of support down here. Let's pack the beach. Remember as a kid coming down here to competitions, you have to step over people. All right, here we go, live action. We got white, Anthony Filligan from Costa Rica. Nice wrapping turn, flies up into the lip. He's feeling good about that one. Is that gonna be the score? We leave it to our hardworking judges. Just a quick reminder to all the free servers, guys. Please, please give these guys respect. Let them finish this last heat. So please give them the respect and let them finish the last heat. Thank you. Six minutes to go. Looking at the replay of Anthony. Here we go. Deep bottom turn. Comes on off the top. Keeps his speed up. Nice wrapping turn. And then throws it up into the lip. And he's feeling good. Here we go, Blue paddling in, live action. Grayson Grant coming around the section first, tags the lip, uh, and completely slips off his board. Slips off his board, and that's that. Go back out, reset, still five and a half minutes. Here we go, first turn, nice and vertical. Chest as he's coming around. All right, last of red, white, 6.73, puts you to second white, so grit, Blue, you now need a 7.06 to advance, and green, you need an 8.56 to advance. So white to second, green, blue to third, green to fourth. Four minutes, 50 seconds remaining. All right. Last five minutes of day two. Are we gonna get some fireworks to end? Let's see what the ball throws at, throws at us. Cleveland still sitting with priority, being very patient, only two waves ridden, but he's got two good scores. Allen really knows the ball, and he's just willing to be patient and pick out those waves he knows are gonna give him that scoring potential.
All right, here goes Red. Up and right, and Alan Cleland, your current heat leader, sitting on a 7.6 and a 7.83. He goes out the back, and look what just popped up for this surfer in green, Hagen Johnson. This is a bomb of a wave. Goes up in the lip. Looking at the north section. Completes the north section. Can he hang on? No, he can't. That's the north section I was telling you about all day. Surfer in white. Finnegan completes the maneuver. Whoa. Big reverse. Out onto the open face. Once again, showing the judges he's in full control. Working it all the way to the inside and finishing strong. Nice. So trying, to, trying to answer back green. Free surfer, free surfer, please turn and go back. So here Come we're on, looking Ryan. at green on the replay. Nice big first section, tags it, comes around, goes up into that north bowl and just doesn't manage to ride out. Too much turbulence. As long as you're sitting there, everybody's going to come and sit right next to you and you guys are too close. And then he, the surfer in green, after missing out on that section, has to turn around and watch the surfer in white throw an inverted air reverse and right out. So waiting on a couple of scores to drop for white and green. Two minutes 40 to go. Just look and see who that is. Look and see who they are. All right, blue. Up and riding. Still waiting. Um, Blue using his priority for that one, but that wave did not give him any scoring opportunity. Still waiting for that score for White to drop. Free surfers, stay in the channel. Stay in the channel. Don't come any further, please. One minute, 50 seconds remaining. Still waiting on this score for White. Okay, White, your score comes in at a 6.17. So, Blue, you now need a 7.4. And Green, you require an 8.9. One minute, 40 seconds. So, Blue is going to pull the trigger on this one. Up and over that first section. Out onto the open face. Working his way to the inside. Throwing buckets of spray. He's looking for a score. One minute, 15 seconds remaining. All right, that's Grayson Grant from Sweden. A green up and right in. Nice wrapping cut back, Hagen Johnson. One minute to go. Working his way to the inside, gonna leave Alan Cleland. How many of these top seeds are in the lead and with priority when the heat ends? 45 seconds, White, 45 seconds. Your last wave was a 6.17. Last of blue dropping in. It's gonna come in right around the scores he's holding, so it may not increase anything. All right, so just looking at the replay of blue, first lip, nice, smooth. Keeping all his speed up, but then that wave doesn't offer a lot after that. Going to make one more cut back, rebound off the white water, look for one more hit on the inside. And another small hit. Don't know if that's going to be the score. Let's see what the judges decide. And here we got green up behind, first maneuver. Second maneuver is a nice right, rapid turn. Count it down in three, two, one. All right, so that ends the heat. All right. Okay, so officially taking the heat win in red, Alan Cleland. In second place, Anthony Fillingham, Fillingham from Costa Rica. Alan representing Mexico. Third place, Grayson Grant from Sweden. And in fourth place, Hagen Johnson from the USA. All right, we're going to make the call for tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. 7.30 a.m. call for possible 8 a.m. start. We're going to kick things off with the women's QS round one of 48, heats one through eight. Those will be 20-minute heats. 
And we're going to go right into the women's QS round two. Um, 32. Heats one through eight. Those will be 25 minutes. Then we're going to do the junior men's round one. So women's QS round one and round two. And junior men's round one starting at 8 a.m. tomorrow. So rounding out this heat, coming in first, surfer in red, Alan Cleveland, and second, Anthony Fillingham, both advancing into the round of 32. So for those of you on the broadcast, stay tuned. We're going to have an interview with the winner of this heat, Alan Cleveland, and also the end of day recap. So stay tuned.
Here we are by the San Luis Glass for the last interview of the day with Alan Cleland from Mexico, who just won the last heat of the day. He number 16, round three of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro, presented by Diamonds International. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Stoked to be back. The waves are pretty much as good as it gets for this contest. And uh, yeah, there's some good swell and there's a lot of level of good surfers. So yeah, stoked to make it through my first heat and I uh, can't wait for the next. Yeah, I mean, you're looking strong as usual over there. Subo really suits your surfing for some power turns. Yeah, I know. Happy to get some power waves. You know, this is probably the better uh, site that we have around the no whole North America contest. So, yeah, super happy to be back. Super happy to be getting some good waves. And, uh, yeah, can't wait for the next couple of days, see what it brings. And, uh, yeah, hopefully just keep doing some power turns because that's where my surfing's best. That's where the money is too. <laughs> That's for sure. I think tomorrow might be a late day, maybe more surfing on on Thursday. What are you gonna do? Yeah, probably it'll be like the juniors or the girls tomorrow. So yeah, probably just cruise, eat some good food, hang out with friends, and uh, maybe go to the other side of the island, go check it out. I haven't gone yet, and I heard the waves have been pumping over there. So I mean, just go check around, go explore, and uh, yeah, have fun. Kind of keep the good routine going, and. Uh, yeah, I just can't wait for the next heat. Hopefully, just keep going and um, yeah, keep the mindset strong. Yeah, I can't wait to see more for sure. You want to give a little shout out to friends, family, or maybe sponsors? Yeah, un saludo a todo México, un saludo a toda mi familia, todos mis amigos. Aquí andamos pasando la primera ronda y vamos con toda la siguiente. Las olas están buenas, entonces a darle duro. Thank you so much. Keep it up, man. Thank nice you. having you. <laughs>
Fine surfing by the youngster, Jacob. This is Weider Hasberg, also going up excellent. This was well in the nines right here, that wave, two wave, major maneuver culmination. He likes it. We all liked it. Charlie Martin going up in the lip. Nope, that's not Charlie Martin. That is Reed. Sam Reedy. He took the heat win. Both first and second place had two excellent scores. So Sam Reedy taking the win, moving on. This is Levi Slauson. Such beautiful technique, fine form. Also well into the excellent range on his two scores. So this wave just offers so much for these surfers. Surfers with excellent technique. And this was his second big turn, big score. So we got some explosive action coming up in the round of 32. So tomorrow we're going to be into the round of 32 women. Sorry, rounds one and two for the women. And also the juniors, junior men. So we'll be shifting gears, going into the Live Like Xander Junior Pro. This is Kei Kobayashi, blowing out the fins. As I was saying earlier, most of these surfers, top seeded surfers, were finishing the heat, holding priority. And this is Alan Cleland. Such technical surfing. He's a former Live Like Xander Junior Pro champion. And this is Anthony Fillingham, surfer from Costa Rica, throwing the air reverse. Arrived on the scene last year, and nobody knew who he was, but certainly knew who he was by the time he left. I think he made it to the semis last year, doing some big airs. And that will conclude today's proceedings. So join us tomorrow morning for a 7.30 call. We're going to make an 8 a.m. start. We're going to start with the women's QS round one, straight into women's QS round two. Then we're going to go into the junior men's round one, Live Like Xander Junior Pro. And then later on in the week, we're expecting a bump up in the swell. We had a bump up in the swell last night. That's supposed to stick around. So the, swell, the, the forecast is still a bit up in the air. There is a cold front moving across the states. So we should be, could be potentially in line, line for some serious waves on Thursday evening, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that concludes today's proceedings. Thanks for joining. We'll catch up with you tomorrow. Over and out.